Counting down your top episodes of 2013. This is the Comedy Bang Bang Best of Part 2. Comedy Bang Bang, yes! Part yes. two! Yes! Part two! Part two! two. I want to take you to part two. Undo! Undo! Number seven! All right, so this is from episode 236. Mm. And this is, it's interesting that you make that noise. Why? The one that you just did. Make it again, if mm. you could. Mm. Yeah, that one. I'm an interesting person. Yeah, well, I mean, but it sounded like someone on our next... Oh, I was episode. making a grunt yeah. of thought. Yes. Do it again. Mm. Yeah. That sounds uh, – I mean, you don't know that you're doing it, but that's a great impression of someone on our next – I don't like that I don't know that I'm doing it. <laughs> it's very sinister. Well, you were just me. making a grunting noise. Yeah, it but, sounds a lot like – But you have this knowledge that, that I don't have, and I don't yes, like it. Yes. I made the list. Mm. Well, you got me there. That's right. If you knew – if everyone knew – what was coming on the list, this would not be exciting anymore. If everyone knew, yeah. Scott, you're right. You know what I mean? All right. So this is from an episode called Murderer Heaven. and um, You got Rob Cordry. Rob and I are talking, and then someone comes in and uh, interrupts us, and uh, a really interesting person who made, is, was making his first appearance on the show. Mm -hmm. So let's hear from that. This is episode number seven. A PA on a Hot Tub Time Machine, too. <laughs> Uh, could do a now everybody can do a Christopher Walken right pretty much everybody has sure. their version of a Walken he had the best one just this PA named Chris the mm -hmm. best best one I'd ever heard and I don't remember Christopher Walken ever saying this but it sounds very Walken and that's what you really got to find mm -hmm. if you're doing a Walken and his Walken was just a couple words good for you <laughs> good for you <laughs> <laughs> soup is good food how would he say that I wonder soup is good food. <laughs> I think he'd say, like, he just puts periods. Yeah. Well, that's what he does, Rob, is he takes a script and he erases all punctuation, yeah. including periods. Really goes through Which, it. in my opinion, that's the most important punctuation on, on the page. Mm -hmm. I agree with in you. any sentence. I agree Commas, with you. take them or leave them. Period, I need to know when to stop. It was the 70s, man, right? That's true. Good punctuation point. Punctuation is for children. When did punctu by the way, and when did punctuation, when was it invented? Is that like a 1950s thing? No. No. Punctuation? Yeah. That was either, that's probably Ben Franklin. Benjamin Franklin mm -hmm. invented punctuation. I'm Another sure. one of his, the bifocals. This the, guy the, did it all, man. The semicolon. He, this guy did it all. This guy. Yeah. You a big Franklin guy? Yeah. Big Franklin guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The whole deal with him. The whole look, the whole, the food, uh, yeah. the, uh, the syphilis. You 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 won't the, uh, even carry anything statesmanship. less statesmanship. You won't carry anything less than a hundred dollar bill because of Franklin, isn't that right? I will. Well, that's I only carry one hundred dollar bills because mm -hmm. they don't have hepatitis on them. Right. Yeah. Yes, because the the one dollar bills those are the worst because those are disgusting. Been disgusting. They've been so many poor people have been oh, who handling knows those. How many crushed up pills oh. have been snorted Did you oh. that? through one dollar? Oh. What is that? Boo. <laughs> that's a, that's, Boo. Wait, Clank, Rob, clanking chains. Wait, Rob, do you the hear? Sound, the sound of clanking chains. Do you hear what I hear? Yeah. Boo. yeah. I'm that's not a, talking about a little drummer boy. I'm talking about it. Like I think it, I, it's a heckle, right? I, I don't. It's a heckle. I'm not sure because I also hear clanking chains, which isn't a traditional heckle. Clanking, clanking chains. That's more of a ghost. Thing. Oh, it's just a creaking door. Boo. Boo. <laughs> Wait a minute. Really? Let me let me turn my head to the left and see if I can see some sort of apparition. Do you Go mind? Yeah, Normally, yeah, yeah. I I prefer to stare straight into my guest's it's eyes. Been, I would love the break. <laughs> okay, well I'll do it then. <laughs> Go ahead. Here I go. Ready? Yeah. And boo. The, there's some sort of a a ghostly apparition to my left here. Please forgive my haunting of you. <laughs> boo. Now, R Rob, I'm only getting half of this gentleman's face. Are you seeing the other half? I, 
I think you sh- you really got to take a look at the other half of this guy's Excuse face. Excuse me, spirit. Yes, hello. Do you mind turning towards me? It's going to be very unpleasant for you. It's very disarming. That's the nicest I've ever heard it described. Thank you. <laughs> ah! Yeah. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Look you at, have look. half of a mask on your face, covering up half of your face, much akin to the Phantom of the Opera. I've received that comparison before. <laughs> Boo. Wait, now, you're a ghost? That's correct. And as far as I'm concerned, you look a little like, and this maybe is impossible, you look a little like the character on Boardwalk Empire. Yeah. The sort of uh, the assassin. Uh, I believe his name is War Hero. Richard Harrow. Present. <gasps> wow. This is Richard wow. Harrow. I'm the ghost of him. Boo. You're the ghost of Richard Harrow. Well, Boo. of course. That's, yes, you must be dead Spider by now. Web. You can stop saying. Spider web. You can stop saying creepy Halloween things. <laughs> We've established you're a ghost. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Yes, you I are. wasn't sure that it was apparent. <laughs> What are you doing here, spirit? Are you, wait, before we begin, are you a bit of undigested potato? No. Okay, thank you. All I'm right. a ghost. <laughs> Please proceed then. I'm coming here from murderer heaven. To what? Tell you. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Wait. Yes. <laughs> you got to break that down. Did you have a question? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hold on. As far as I'm concerned, in my America, murderers go... Straight down to H-E double hockey sticks. Hell, my friend, what is this you're talking about? I am just telling you what I know of the life beyond this, which is that there's a special heaven for murderers who <laughs> are sad. Oh, Wait, sad murderers, murderers who are sad and, and repentant? Self-conscious sad murderers. Penitent? No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they're just sad. That's, uh, the, just that's sad, the threshold? Sad, sad self-conscious, self-conscious. Self-conscious. Murderers. Oh, go to murderers heaven. My goodness. Because uh-huh. they like children, even uh-huh. though they shoot people in the throat. <laughs> Wait, so you're sad about what you... I've seen you on the show murder a lot of people. Yeah. It's true that those TV shows are based on actual events. That's true, yeah. It's a historical right. docudrama. It's fun. And you seem very... Uh, sad. You most are of the sad. time. Yeah, yeah you, you're admittedly I sad. I think probably because I only have half a face. And that is what makes you self conscious. Wait, so you're not sad about the murders? <laughs> the murders, to be honest, make me feel a little bit better. So <laughs> you slipped into murderers' uh-huh. heaven on a technicality? The I'm, fact that you're sad about your face? A little bit better does not mean happy. I still no. have. Half yeah, a but face. murderer heaven in my America is for murderers who are sad about the murders they committed, not murderers who are happy about the murders they committed and who happen to be sad about their half a face. You'll forgive me if I feel I know a bit more about murderer heaven than you do. <laughs> um, do you know anything about the... I, I, I imagine there, there could be an infinite number of heavens now. Do you oh, know yeah. anything or are you just... There's just, 12. There's 12 heavens? There's 12. Oh, wow. For, one for each of the... Wait, there's seven deadly sins, so each of those and then five more? Pretty much. <laughs> what are the other five? Wow. Dog heaven. Oh, okay, uh-huh. yeah. Okay. All dogs do Man, go to heaven. That makes sense. Yeah. Regular heaven. Okay. okay. Oh, okay. That Jewish brings, heaven. Ooh. Oh, okay. That brings us up to nice. ten heavens at this point. Yeah. Two more to go. <laughs> yep. Yep. Beach heaven, which is like heaven, but it's all a beach. <laughs> that's well, the one I want to go to. Good. Who Very goes popular. there? It's too popular, really. How do you get, do? You got to grease the wheel somehow to get in yeah. there. It pays to know someone. <laughs> mm. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, hell. That's not That's a not heaven. A it is. It's what? Yeah. I'm not supposed to tell people. <laughs> Who's who? <laughs> <laughs> Please don't repeat that. But hell is just another heaven. Who's going to hell if we've covered all the seven deadly sins and they're going to their respective heavens? It's a spillover from beach heaven. <laughs> What? Wow. So basically, when Beach Heaven is too full, they don't come back as zombies. They just get moved over to hell? That's right. Huh. Interesting. It's not so bad. This doesn't sound bad at all, any of this. The music is great. In in hell? hell. That's right. Or in Beach Heaven? Well, both, really. Can I ask, and I've been dying to know this ever since the program in started. In Beach Heaven, the music is played by the best musicians, but all they play is Kokomo by the Beach Boys. Huh. 
<laughs> now, but here's what I'm dying to know. Is the guy who laughed at the surfer wiping out, where did he go? He went to the actual hell. Mm-hmm. He's the Fine. only one there. Yep. <laughs> what? Wait, Wait a minute. You just said spillover. There's another... <laughs> You devil hell under under the hell that's the heaven that's the spillover from beach heaven is an actual hell, which is solely <laughs> occupied by the guy who laughs at the server wiping out in the song wipeout. Wow! And he, you, know you say laughs. Why meaning... did you even mention that guy? That's strange. <laughs> it's that strange. That came up. Right? It's weird. It you say laughs. Strange. Is he continuing to laugh? That's all he he wants to stop, but he has to laugh for all of eternity. Uh-huh. Wow, that's his punishment. That and, makes sense. And uh, and what he sees is a surfer standing on a surfboard, not wiping out, but and looking at him like, "Why are you laughing?" Uh, uh, Brutal. Oh, God, that's ter- Brutal. terrible. He's terribly embarrassed. Well, he deserves it. Hmm. Well, Mr. Harrow, may I call you Mr. Harrow? Please. Or should I call you the ghost of Mr. Harrow? What is uh, does ghost have kind of like a please call me prefix Mr. that you like? <laughs> please call me Mr. Ghost. Mm-hmm. Wait, not even Harrow? Please Harrow? call me the former Richard Harrow. Okay, the former Richard Harrow. Uh, Richard. <laughs> what What brings you here to the studio? I mean, we're not haunted by ghosts often, but when we are, they usually have some sort of purpose. I'm coming to Earth to tell children, don't put your teeth under pillows because it's unsanitary. <laughs> Wait, the whole tooth fairy thing? Yeah. Is there a tooth fairy? Of course there is. <laughs> cool. Wait, so you okay. want children not to put their teeth under pillows, even though there is an actual tooth fairy. By the way, where does tooth fairy live? Tooth fairy. In one of those he- heavens? In Jewish heaven. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, the Figures. money thing. Yeah, Figures. I got it. Oh, you really <laughs> twisted my words. <laughs> now, yeah. now she must regret uh-huh. leaving those pennies under uh-huh. the pillows. Uh-huh. Oh, you know what? I think I'm mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> Come to think of it. Tooth fairies in beach heaven. Yeah. People are constantly wiping out and knocking their teeth out. <laughs> Tooth fairy okay, replaces thanks. them. Thank you for amending that. That I was a close that. one. Yeah. Whew. <laughs> so, but even though the tooth fairy exists, you don't want children to benefit from this? What kind of a monster are you? The tooth fairy has instructed me to instruct children not to put teeth on top uh, under pillows anymore. Because it's unsanitary. Oh. It's, the tooth fairy knows when children lose their teeth and will collect them <laughs> when it's time. There's no need to go through that old rigmarole. But look, here, here's part of my problem with this. Like, when I was a kid and I lost teeth, I'd be out in the middle of a field somewhere, and all of a sudden, you're, gah, 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 it's loose, and then there it is. Like, what? I'm supposed to go back to the field the next day to pick up my, you know, my quarter? Where did you grow up? Uh, you know... Well, I don't see why that's germane. I don't understand. You lost your tooth in a field, but how does that prevent you from... I don't understand your issue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying kids don't put teeth under pillows anymore. You're saying you lost your tooth in a field, <laughs> and now you... <laughs> what I'm trying to say is... Uh, the tooth fairy is just going to come to wherever the tooth happens to be. Where are children supposed to put it? In a plastic bag? The tooth fairy is not coming for the tooth. The tooth fairy doesn't want teeth. What? It just wants to give money. Then why does the tooth fairy care just, yeah. if the tooth is unsanitary? This doesn't make any sense, the former Mr. Harrow. Children have gotten it wrong, and parents have told their children the wrong thing. Why? And I hate when parents are mean to kids. And so I've come to uh-huh. Earth to tell kids don't put teeth under pillows and also to murder their parents. <laughs> well, now I feel like we've gotten to the yeah. real center yeah. of your mission. Art. And if the kids don't get the message about the teeth, that's okay. <laughs> well, now, Rob, Just murder their your parents, parents will pay. Rob, you're a father. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How are your kids' teeth? Loose? No. Yeah, there's a couple Do loose your ones. kids have loose teeth? Braces? We were just in the dentist the other day. It's, it's, a, it's a nightmare. You I'm a prime candidate for murder right now. Yeah. Mm. Could you repeat that, please? Don't please don't don't repeat that. Do you do you think your children have ever wanted to murder you, Rob? Yeah, probably, probably in their in in an elementary sense. Yeah. And but luckily they don't have a ghost of a of a sad uh, self conscious hitman and a mm-hmm. fucking fairy they telling do them Teaming up. to do so. They so do that's now. my problem. So how are you trying to get the message out? Just are you starting on my? Particular well, he starts program? with boo. I'm starting. Boo. I, I imagine. Clank change. First, I, first I say boo. 
Then I say clanking chains. Wouldn't that normally then scare I'm off? Done. I'm not done. Then I say squeaking dog. Spiderweb. I say spiderweb, and that usually gets people's attention. Sure, but doesn't it scare off the children? Your intended audience? I'm about to find out. My plan is this. First, I go to a podcast where I assume a lot of tiny children listen. <laughs> then I will visit these children in the middle of the night, shaking them roughly awake. Wait, so you're, them, you're hoping... That show me your teeth. Show me your loose teeth. You're hoping the children listen to the show, and then how are you going to get to these children who have listened to the show? How, you know, you see what I'm saying? How are you going to find them? How are you going to find them? I'll just hover through the walls of homes. Willy-nilly. I got time. Uh, hmm, Okay. So I mean, then, it's hard plan to poke a hole in. I guess. <laughs> I guess it not. sounds yeah, it terrible. Makes, it, it makes sounds sense. like a terrible a house where there are no children. I will very quickly kill the occupants <laughs> and then move on. Huh. You seem more like an angel of retribution. Yeah, like just on a murder spree. It seems like a strange conclusion to draw. I'm just a guy who's very self conscious about having half a face. <laughs> you do seem very health as uh, self conscious as well. Not I health yeah. conscious. Yeah, you look. I try to eat you right. Look great. You look great. <laughs> you know. Wait, is there exercise in heaven? In all, any heaven? all kinds. Yeah, a lot of cardio. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope that when you get up to heaven, you don't have to do cardio. Anymore. No one does. It's just fun. Really? So they've we heaven, finally get it. Heaven the turns yeah. cardio we fun. Finally get it. Yeah. Oh, that's why it's heaven. Plus, everybody has an iPad, so you can just watch your shows. <laughs> get up there on the old elliptical. Yeah. Catch up on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh, that sounds wow. nice. You always meant to watch it. Now's your chance. <laughs> well, this all makes sense to me. Yeah. Rob, do you have any questions? No episodes uh, of Firefly in Heaven. Mm. Uh, There's more episodes? Just a second season. Oh, okay. Even in Heaven, it got canceled Even after two? Even in Heaven, not enough people watched it. <laughs> <laughs> That's too bad. But I'd take another season. Only. Th do you have any spoilers? <laughs> That's right. After everyone's been speaking... <laughs> Random Chinese words for a while in the uh, final episode of season two, a Chinese person appears <laughs> and says, hey, guys, hey, wouldn't you think there would have been more of me <laughs> seeing as every seeing as Chinese is so pervasive that everyone is speaking it in the future? You think there would have been a Chinese person sooner than this? Hmm. Everyone has a good laugh. <laughs> yeah. And then just freeze frame. High five, free free. <laughs> <laughs> number six. All right, number six. Paul, this is from episode 199. Ooh, so we're going way back. This We've been way in the back 200s for a lot of these. Mm -hmm. You're Mr. Peabody. <clears throat> That's right. We I'm mentioned... Peppermint Patty. <laughs> 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 Who else is in that? Little Abner? Probably. Hi, Lois. Hi, me. Drabble. Travel, <laughs> all of Doonesbury. That's right. Um, this is episode one ninety nine. Is this ringing any bells? This is right before episode two hundred. One ninety nine. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> this is an episode called Gary Unmarried. Oh boy, am I familiar with this one? Gary Unmarried. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Scott. <coughs> I will. Does, I'd be glad to. Do, well, don't be thrilled about it. Oh, boy, I cannot wait for you to be I'm wrong. I'm asking you as a favor. I'm not, this is not like me asking I you to am. slap me hard on stage. <laughs> Rubbing my hands together. <laughs> this is the first meeting of Gary Marshall and Gillian Jacobs. I believe so. We, I believe, <laughs> I said that really weirdly. I believe so. I believe. Your so. sign off. <laughs> Good night, America. I believe. <laughs> Just like Obama. Um, no, uh, earlier in the countdown, we heard what happened after this episode. Mm -hmm. But this episode, we hear the meeting between these two. This yeah. is, of course, Gillian Jacobs. It's like Memento. From Community. Right. <clears throat> and our good friend, Gary Marshall. This is their first meeting. This is how they... Got do together. Yeah. This is how they do it. Um, we're going to hear just a chunk of this episode. The whole thing that goes on several twists and turns. But yes. we're going to hear a good chunk of this episode. This is a really funny one. You voted it as your number six. So let's hear that. This is Gary Unmarried, Gillian Jacobs, and Gary Marshall. Number six. So what happened? I want to hear from both both sides here. Who wants to start? What? I'll I'll start. All, All right. right. Well, All right. as always. 
As always, I like to start. She likes to start. <laughs> <laughs> That's part of the problem. Every time we go out to dinner with another couple, uh, you know, uh, you know that point when the two couples sit down across from each other and somebody says, who's going to start talking? <laughs> I usually know, you draw straws. Usually, you ask the waiter for yeah, three but, regular straws and one uh, straw that's a little shorter. Yes, but with old he takes friends. His scissors. Like, yeah. Old being the operative word. Yeah, well, old. We, All his friends are old. We'd, we'd go out with uh, Jack Jones and his wife. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who these people are. He's a singer. He's a famous singer. Stephen Eady. Stephen Eady. Steve. Jesus. Steve, Steve Lawrence, Lawrence Eady Gourmet. Gourmet. Jinx. <clears throat> You should have married him, Scott. You'd get along great. Maybe I should. Do we, it. We, not in Bel Air, though. Not in no Bel Air. No gay marriage in Bel Air. Gillian, what do you expect when you marry a man who's that much older? Do you, I mean, he's not going to have young friends. Come with me. Go raves. Sweetheart, with me. I'm set in my ways. Ugh. What I can't. I don't. I ha- got you to murder your wife within knowing you for 30 minutes. I thought at least I could convince you to you know, go to Sayers with me. Well, this, <laughs> I might as well tell you now. I faked Barbara's death. What? Yes. what? She's not really dead. It was a it was a a form of non lethal curare that I ejected her with. She is not- she 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 was just put to sleep. Oh, Gillian, you are. Br- what is happening here? She is uh, in a state of suspended. <laughs> Wait. So you are you telling me you Romeo and Julietted her? Yeah, except they're just Julieted. <laughs> Fucking Christ. So wait, so we were never even legally married. Uh, what are the laws on that? In Bel Air, you- yes. I'm not entitled to any of your money, is what you're telling in me. In Bel Air, no. Oh, God. You so shouldn't the- have married me in Bel Air. Oh, the my laws God. on that is if, if your first wife is in suspended animation, you cannot marry a new person? Yeah, it's covered under no. Well, that's that's the law of the land. Okay. But the law of Bel Air, I'm entitled to as many wives as I want. <laughs> okay, I didn't know oh, that about well, Bel Air. Never mind. Then if bigamy is allowed in Bel Air, then I'm legally married. To no, you. we're divorced. <laughs> I did the ceremony when you weren't when you weren't looking. <laughs> what is that ceremony? The Bel Air divorce ceremony. Yeah, how does that go? It's uh, you. You have to go to Denzel Washington's house. <laughs> okay, sure. You say, hey, Denzel, get Paul Reiser to get... And he says, <laughs> my man! Oh, did Denzel Washington just walk in here? No, that was me. Oh. Ah, oh, Gary. You're a regular uh, Frank Gorshin over there. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, uh... <laughs> the Riddler. So, sure, for the... <laughs> Once again, who the hell knows who these people are? <laughs> you Learn your Hollywood history, young no, lady. No, learn my history. What is your history? Clubbing, partying. Ecstasy, staying up all night, spending a lot of money, jets, drugs. Jets. She spent More so jets. much money on glow sticks and jets. <laughs> so once you filled up an entire jet with glow sticks, didn't and you? And I coated the outside of the jet in glow sticks, oh, too, man. so it looked like maybe a UFO. Fly- yeah. I thought he'd be into it. I thought I could get him out of these monsters and maybe into some alien you know, hunting. A- so. Aliens, that's a hoax. That's the other thing. No such thing as extraterrestrials. But the Wolfman's real. Yes, he is. I'm going to find him. (laughs) That's the other thing we haven't talked about is Gary Marshall spends a lot of his free time hunting monsters. Yeah. What else am I going to do? I mean, (laughs) if there were some monsters at Teddy's, then maybe I could get into it. But Jesus Christ, am I going to go to... these places you're talking Are they even real places? Teddy's? Drawing room. What is that, like the Brown Derby? That's not... The drawing room. (laughs) Teddy's. That bar on Hillhurst that opens at 6 a.m.? <laughs> hey, I know a lot of people that are there at 6 a.m. It's a fine I, establishment. I think I know a lot of the people that are there at 6 a.m. <laughs> so uh, back, to, back to the ceremony. You go over to the Denzel's house. <laughs> I go to De- The ceremony is you must go to Denzel Washington's house. You knock three times on the door. Denzel appears. He says, may I help you? I say, Denzel. Uh, can you summon Paul Reiser? Uh, I need to divorce someone. Mm-hmm. Uh, Denzel walks across to uh, to Paul Reiser's house, taking care to shield his eyes from Sylvester Stallone's house. They mm-hmm. all live in this radius, right? Mm-hmm. Can I interject one second? Yeah, sure. You say knock three times. I-, I saw this on a James Bond movie the other day from Russia with Love. He said, he said uh, don't answer the door for anyone. I'll knock three times. Uh, knock three times sounds like this. How'd you know the secret knock? Wow, wait, that, that's wah, how everyone knocks. Wah, One, you're two, like three. A baby. What, what are you? Since when? 
What are you going to do? You're going to come up to a door and knock once? That's what I oh, do. Who just came in? <laughs> How would you hear if anyone just knocked once? You would think it was a mistake. You People would be, should I listen hear? more. Another That's thing. That's We agree on that. Yeah, I, we agree that you should listen to me more. And we agreed I wouldn't do that. Ugh. <laughs> Fucking worst. All right. So uh, anyway, you're on your way to Paul Reiser's house. Yes. So then Denzel and Paul Reiser, they get together and they say, whom do you wish to divorce? that's Denzel, one more call from Denzel. Do you need to take that? I do not need to take that. Uh, I I talk on my terms. You carry an actual rotary phone. Yeah, it's a rotary phone. That you would get from like Sardo's. Wait, Sardo's? Sardo's. What what am I thinking of? Sardo's? What are you You mean Sardi's? Sardi's, yeah. What am I saying? Sardo's. Sardi's. He's uh, the Green Lantern's foe. (laughs) <laughs> so uh <laughs> so uh denzel and uh paul riser say in unison they count down from three to one and okay. then in three unison, two uh, do they do three two one and then the thing or do they like three nose one or what do they do yeah i think it's three nose one <laughs> and then the thing and okay. then they say whom do you wish to divorce i say oh such fancy grammar <laughs> they say come on this is serious this is part of the script this is all part of the script right, yes okay. this is this is an ancient ceremony so then uh i say i got this wife she's a pain in my neck <laughs> They say, I hear you. Mm-hmm. You are now divorced from her. You didn't even have to give him my name? Nope. I just got to be thinking of it. <laughs> Who's the mayor of Bel Air? Uh, it's more of a council. Right. Uh, and it's a, it's, it's a, a council of elders. Yeah, it's a council. <laughs> yeah, yeah 13. old. Read old. Yeah. Yeah, the elders. <laughs> yeah, what I do you expect the elders? I think there would be more people my age in Bel Air. In Bel Air, you thought there would be young people. What a yes. naive child. How are young people ever going to afford property there in Bel Air? Did, do what I do. Marry a rich old man. Who put his wife in suspended animation. Yeah. That's right. Go back to that. I want to hear a little bit about what? that. Oh, you find that interesting? Where is she? <laughs> She's in an undisclosed location. Under Disclose Disneyland? it. It's under Disneyland. That's right. I knew in it. That one, in that one restaurant where they serve alcohol. I knew it. That's I where wanted you to take me there. He wouldn't club take me there. Not even a Club 23? No. Wouldn't do it. That's uh. why I have to go to the drawing room at 6 a.m. <laughs> That's well, wh- you're still awake from the clubbing. Yes, exactly. That's why the drawing room is the most useful bar in L.A. Is that the only suspended animation facility in the United States? That's why I guessed it, because that's it's where one Disney of, is. It's one of three. Oh, okay. Where are the other two in the U.S.? The original... Continental. Chi- yeah. The original Chia's Bar, the Bull and Finch. Oh, okay. Under there? Uh, or or under just there. inside there? But, under the bar? I can't remember if it's above ground or not. It might be in plain view. Okay. That's a big thing about these uh, secret suspended animation locations, is uh, nobody g- can process it with their mind, so sometimes they just stick them right out in the open. Oh, really? You mean if you look at it, you can't actually... You uh, Your mind will uh, make up an excuse for what it is. Mm, okay. That's why the other one's <laughs> on uh, Lincoln's lap in the Lincoln Memorial. <laughs> what? Yeah. Lincoln's lap? Yeah. Just oh laying gosh. across his lap. <laughs> really? And he's like stroking it, like petting it, like a cat? No, he's still just a statue. I know, but I mean, his hand is in that position. No, his hands are on the chair. His hands are on the on chair. The arms in the chair. Okay, but are they, or are they on the on the thing? Because I've I don't know. I I know what I see. <laughs> How did you become so attuned to being able to see these things? Oh, I'm one of the Illuminati. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, we are getting some major revelations I here. Know we yeah. already knew that. That's news. I think people assumed it. Right. Maybe you guys talked about it Slow on one on of the your over here. one of your dinners with Stephen Eady. So who else is in the Illuminati? Uh, boy, a lot of people. It's actually there's more people that did it than on in it. As oh, a matter of what? fact, in the United States, yeah, right? it seems like it's an exclusive society. There's like six, but, uh, tons six of people. Uh, uh, billion or million people in the United <laughs> States. <laughs> Why don't I know? Billion Neither. People. I don't know. Neither. Neither. How many? Thirty-two. Are you million. going by the McDonald's hamburger sign? <laughs> I'm trying to remember because I looked it up the other day. I hate I when remember. you make me laugh. <laughs> if there's any consolation, that sounded like a polite laugh. <laughs> I'm looking it up. How many people in the United States? Yeah, this is great uh, podcasting. Too yeah. many. You guys just hold on one second. All right. Too many? <laughs> there's another thing. We talked about genocide all the time. It was unpleasant. I would just like to have, you know, no traffic in Los Angeles. And if that means killing millions of people, I'm fine with it. I was way off. 311 million. Yeah. That's a lot of There's people. Like six I million thought it was people either, in Manhattan. I knew it was three something. I thought it was three billion or three million. That's China. <laughs> three million Turned out it was people. 300 
and 11 million. I don't know. Come on. I'd... 11 million people are in the Illuminati. 11? Wait. Yeah. Wow. But that leaves 300 million who aren't. Yeah, that's right. It seems fair, right? But I thought you, you said, said that there more were more. In... It was a figure of speech. All Let's right. not crucify Gary Marshall. What would happen if we did crucify you? Well, uh, you'd find out in three days. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that... I either come back or I don't. <laughs> I'm just as curious as you, but please don't crucify me. It's like I wonder I wonder if I'm bulletproof. Do you? I do, but no one's ever shot me so I have no idea. Maybe that will be found out by the end of this episode <laughs> of Comedy Bing Bong. <laughs> I wonder. Sorry, my blood sugar is dropping. You know, just being around him sends me I to a diabetic have, shock. Have a okay. score bar. Yeah. It's not a score bar. What, is what that are you exactly? eating? It's what are you a eating? think thin divine. Yeah, is that what a Hollywood actress has to eat? Think thin? It's smart decadence, like me. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> um, okay, so community coming back, and you don't know what the plot is, and. Uh, <laughs> You don't what, care. What's up with the Halloween episode? Is that that's going to be the? That's going to be one of our best of the season. And yet, putting it's, it out there, you're, you're switching it over to. Uh, is it still going to be Halloween or is it Valentine's Day? Now? No, it's all, we're doing Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas, and they'll be airing in March and April and May. How come you didn't do a Valentine's Day? You know what? Get out of here. I, I'm sorry. I, can I get my lawyer in here? I don't want to have to sit in a room with him anymore. You know what? Well, I think it's okay because when you watch a movie, say you're watching a nice Shane Black movie, okay? Like love uh, a Shane Black movie. Like, Iron Man 3. I can't like, wait. Uh, Kiss Kiss Bing Bong, right? <laughs> sure. And, and you're watching this movie and it's set at Christmas. Okay, usually you're watching it, what, in May? It, 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 you could be watching it in any of the 366 the of days of a leap year. That's right. It exists forever. You can enjoy it any time. Yeah, trans- tell me yes. about cinema, Gary. Tell me your thoughts on cinema. Hey, he is a great... Mr. Marshall is... I'm sorry, I called you Mr. Marshall when you told me to call you Gary. Uh, please continue to call me Mr. Marshall. All right. Mr. Marshall is a great director. Mm-hmm. Frankie and Johnny. Ugh. That's right. Really, you don't like Frankie and Johnny. Ugh. Pretty pa- Woman. One of Pacino's of, greatest all headbands. All of you young actresses love Pretty Woman. My mom wouldn't let me watch it. Why is that? Because it romanticized prostitution. And what's wrong with that? Nothing for men. Could you chew right into the <laughs> microphone, please? <laughs> Your divine decadence. This is what divine decadence it didn't sounds so like. It's so much romanticized prostitution as it exalted it and exonerated uh, the Johns. That's right. They're just guys that are looking for companionship. Please, Gillian. I would think turn you'd, your head. you would relate because you ma- you married me just because I was rich. I married you first, and then I got your money. Wait, so how much money Wait, did you end up with of I guess Gary's? that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's usually how it goes. What, you don't think that... Listen, uh, when I found out that he was going over to Denzel Washington's house, I tried to grab as many valuables as I could, put mm-hmm. them in my car, and drive away quickly. Would you make uh, some office equipment? The stapler? <laughs> I got a fax machine. Okay, good. And I got a, one of his hundreds of rotary phones. That's all I could grab. Everything <laughs> else is nailed down. Nail down, really? You nail everything yeah, down that's other right. than your fax machine and rotary phone. What would you do? <laughs> that's true. Well, I also know things about, uh, you know, thanks to being in the Illuminati, uh, about things that are going to happen to the Earth in the coming years. Okay, and so you want your stuff nailed down in case. I would say nail your stuff Tornadoes down. and Take stuff. Take it from an Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you'll wish there were tornadoes happening. Oh, my gosh. You should uh, put out a PSA. Take it from one of the Illuminati. <laughs> Nail your stuff down. Tie the your shoes tight, you kids. Know. Yeah. Um, Talk to a policeman. You ever do one of those more you know things, Gilly? They don't want me for those, no. What? You're yeah. one of the bright, shining crown jewels of NBC. <laughs> Are they? St- <laughs> oh, my goodness. Are they still doing them? Yeah, the they're more doing you them. Knows? Yvette Nicole Brown from my show has done them. They've just, they don't want me for those. What's going on? What's wrong with your attitude? Listen, I've First of all, it year. may be that you say listen to people, which is kind of a rude thing to do. <laughs> okay, fine. Maybe if you feel like it, listen to what I'm about to say. If not, go about your day. I'm saying you don't need any it's kind of... a little of, long. Yeah. What? It's a little long. Okay. It's I've had a really rough year. Now. Okay, I... Okay, listen to this. Right. Listen to this. Listen to this. Yes, master. Listen to this. I marry a man. I think I'm set for life. Sure. Community may or may not be ending. No, listen to this. You're not listening to this. Listen to this. I'm worried, you know, I'm worried about my future, okay? I don't have as much money as I'd like. I have very expensive needs, tastes, desires. Divine decadence. 
I'm into divine decadence. I am divine decadence. I marry a man I think is very wealthy. He's going to be t- able to take care of me. I am, by the way. And he's going to die soon. So That's also to, true. Or is it? Question mark. And he's going to come back three days later. Yeah. Maybe. Allegedly. Maybe. Allegedly. We'll see. But then I'll have crucified. superpowers, and that'll be even better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'll have a rich husband with superpowers. Right. Okay, not only do we get divorced, my show gets pulled off the ear. Y- ear. <laughs> My show was going to air on an ear. They were going to project my show on Mel Rushmore. Yeah. That's not happening anymore. It's not on ears or television. They got sued by the uh, Alfred Hitchcock estate. Yeah. I get divorced. I have no money. He owns money. Mount Rushmore just from North by Northwest? Uh, yeah. just He doesn't own Mount he Rushmore, but doing stuff on it. Oh, the scale film rights. model of Yes. It. That's right. Okay. I, I got nothing now. My show's coming back, yes. Very happy about that, excited. And all of a sudden, you'll get the paychecks from that. You do, By the way, a lot of people don't know, you don't get paid until your show actually airs. So you've had no money for almost a no year now. Also, money. I should tell you now, uh, under Bel Air Law, I'll be garnishing your wages. See? <laughs> Who knew? Do you Who have a lien on knew? her car as well? Uh, I let that go. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, See? it was yeah. too shitty. He didn't want it. That's true. I, I, I don't know what to tell you, Scott. I'm in a bad place these days. You're in a bad days. place. What? Yeah, I was flying high the last time I saw you. Everything's gone to shit now. Well, here's what I suggest. I think that we should uh, have some sort of a contest to be your next husband mm. here on the show. You That's know? a great idea. <laughs> People love to get involved. It's interactive. Yeah, right. I think that we could put up some sort of a, uh, a thread on the Comedy Bing Bong message boards uh, where basically people sort of woo you yeah. and, and give a resume and could they now, provide bank statements that I mean yes, I don't absolutely. need a good idea. Yeah. Let me ask you this: mm-hmm. Is there any possibility people would react to this in a creepy way? <laughs> I don't think no, so. I no. don't see how that would happen. Uh, I don't even know why I said that. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, probably not. What is it you like in a man? Other, other than okay, other than money, what Richness. do you? What? I like. A man... Wealthitude. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love a terminal illness. Okay. I, I die for a terminal illness. Okay. Um, creeping senility I also enjoy if, okay. if he's not going to die. But they, they have to have... Fresh. They have to have young friends, though, according to you? Just be open to going to, you know, clubs. Why can't me. you go do your clubbing by yourself? Why do you need to drag poor Mr. Marshall? I get really drunk, and I don't want to get a DUI, so I need someone to drive me home. Get uh, a driver! I, uh, I had a young friend. She didn't enjoy him. What's... A, oh, who's this? Thomas what? Gibson. <laughs> Wait, from Dharma and Greg? From Dharma and Greg and, and Criminal, Criminal Minds. Minds. Criminal Minds, more importantly. He's a fun guy. Young, he keeps me young. <laughs> he is kind of young. What is he? Maybe about 45 at this point? Yeah, close a, to 50, I think. Close yeah. to 50, yeah. I mean, that's not bad. Yeah, that's a step nice. in the right direction. He was nice. You seem kind of in, uh, like you softened a bit when you Remember thought about Thomas Gibson. Remember that time he asked Gibson, you if you like nice. uh, baseball? He's got two shows in syndication. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. He or, was nice. He's yeah. older than you. Thinner than you. True. He's not sick as far as I know. He, no. He seems could get fit sick. as a fiddle. He could get sick. Could well, get sick. What would you think if, if Gillian here started dating Thomas Gibson? Are you more of a bros before hoes kind of guy? Would that affect your relationship with I don't with know Gibby? what those words mean. Uh, I would say uh, Tommy is a, is a good guy. Uh, his life is his own. Uh, I'm not going to stand in the way of two people who uh, are potentially happy together. Uh, I probably would say, uh, hey, don't let her talk you into murdering anyone. Mm. Who would I need to murder with him? He's not married. I think he's single. Yeah. Yeah. That would be f- that would be a smooth transition. He's got mm. an ex-wife. I don't know if oh, uh, that God. matters to you. Mm. Alimony. Like- Ugh. No, see, that's what I liked about murdering your wife is no, no divorce alimony, settlement. Yeah. You didn't have to split up your estate. You don't get half of the half. Yeah. <laughs> you get half of the of the pot. How, wait, what do you get for like Dharma and Greg like syndication checks at this point? What, what do you think he's getting a month? What are you getting for those, Dharma uh, and Greg? I do, uh, because checks. of uh, ABC, uh, yeah. I made a deal with them, very smart, back in the day when they said, uh, hey, you got to make your show a uh, multi-camera show instead of a single camera show. I said, okay, I just need, in return for that, a cut of every future sitcom you ever produce. Right. So... Uh, out of Tommy's check, this is how we became friends, by the way. He's, he confronted me. He said, who are you to take my money? I said, I'm one of the Bel Air Illuminati. <laughs> right. So he shut his mouth. Um, I get, I get a, a roughly a quarter of every check that he makes. 
a quarter of every check he makes. Yes. Oh, interesting. 25 cents. So I you're... still think that I got to kill you. I mean, really, for me. Hey, you're welcome to try. <laughs> Why would you kill him? Because I. You're that divorced. Way, yeah, but if I marry Thomas Gibson, I don't want to be giving a quarter of his checks to my ex husband. It goals you, doesn't it? Ugh, uh. Everything about you goals me. Don't you... marry anybody from the ABC uh, TGIF family. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my favorite shows. Who, who They're everybody's mar- favorite don't, shows. Don't marry let's Urkel. Li- let's list them now. <laughs> Family Ties. Family Ties. No. Wait a minute. That's, no, a, that's NBC. NBC. Oh. We talk Thursday night NBC. Oh. In your old time slot. Your new time Family slot. Matters. Family, Family Matters. Family Matters. That's what we're saying. We got Family that's Matters. That's right. I get a quarter from everybody. Full Urkel. House. Full House. That's right. That's about. That's all I can think step of. Step by Step. There, sure. Yep. What about uh, do you get do you get stuff from new shows like Don't Trust the B in Apartment Twenty Three? I still don't know what that B stands for. Uh, I think it's Bitch. the actual B. Wait, no, no, no! Please don't curse on this show. Bitch. <laughs> um, oh, I don't like the way you looked at me up from under when you said that word. <laughs> I'll use it in a sentence. It was chilling. You. Bitch. <laughs> Wait, how about uh, a... <laughs> That's not really a sentence. You can't say. How about a sentence like Don't trust the bitch in Apartment Twenty Three? <laughs> no, I like just you. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so you get some of that, that though. Yeah. Okay. All right. Great. How about happy endings? Get some of that. That's right. All right. Pretty much any. Hey, NBC by show. the way, yeah. did you ever consent to uh, appearing on that show? I remember Casey Wilson <laughs> asked you. Yeah, if I would be if on that be show. Interested. Has not happened yet. Yeah. As of yet, but we will see. It's, we nice, will see. it's nice that the writers were speculating <laughs> that uh, you might be willing to appear on a television yep, show and have not got got that call. This <laughs> guy. Have you, do you know this guy named Paul F. Tompkins? I do. Who's he's that? A, he's a pretty good comedian. Yeah, pretty good. He was on Community. Yeah, that's episode. right. I yeah. remember that uh, in a bar, right? Yeah. 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 How did he do? Was he asked back? Nah. <laughs> do you? How much control do you have over that? One hundred percent. One hundred. Ah, interesting. Um, I, why don't you make your own money? I don't want to. It's do you have hard. Bad investments. You're a well-paid I'm very actress. tired. Okay. I just want to sit back. <laughs> listen to this. It's true. She does. Oh, please have, just stop telling no me to energy. listen to things. Listen to her. I'll listen, listen to anything you have to say without you commanding me to. Let's. I, I, Gil- I'm Gillian, that Gillian, what? I know we've had our differences, but if you want him to listen to you, I will prompt him to listen to you. I right. think he'll respect it more. Okay, yeah, from I probably me. will. So, hear me, hear me. I'm tired. <laughs> Scott, listen to this. Oh yes, yes, sir, Mr. Marshall. What the? You guys are sexist. That's what this is about. You won't listen to me because I'm a woman. That's why I have to say listen look, to look, this. I grew up in a different time, so that's my excuse. This guy is just a jerk. <laughs> he should know better. Rosa Parks and so forth. What? Um, uh, Mr. Marshall, I did want to ask about Barbara. Please she was in... Oh, thank you. Uh, Gary, w- what happened with Barbara? Is she still in stasis or is... She's still in stasis laying Why haven't across... you unfrozen her now that we're divorced? Uh, it's nice to have the quiet around the house sometimes. I got the house to myself. Mm-hmm. I can watch all my sporting events. At what point do you think you'll wake her up? I think what I miss her. I think, uh, I think probably... <laughs> when you miss her. Well, when I really miss her. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? When I feel like, all right, enough of the boys' night out. It's time to have... Boys' my... night out! Good old Barbara back with me. Boys night out. More like you know, boys night out. Right? Here's Denzel my Denzel Washington and Euchre. Euchre? Bob Euchre, that's right. <laughs> Sweet Denzel and Bob Euchre. <laughs> Bob trio. Euchre is very rich. He was grandfathered in during those uh, Tastes Great, Less Filling that's commercials. That's right. And he then, was... of course, Mr. Belvedere. I earn a quarter of every check that he gets for that. Yep. Of course. Oh, boy. Well, you guys, I, I wish that you weren't going to go to sleep angry tonight with each other, but it, I, I don't He's know. not mad. Look at him. He's happy as a pig in shit. I'm the one who's this on the street. This is how I am. That's right. On the street. <laughs> I've got, I'm going around pawn shop to pawn shop with a rotary phone and a fax machine. That's what I've got. What is your situation? Where do you live? Where, in where? my car. That's right. Oh. She's the only <laughs> working sitcom actress living in a car. <laughs> wow. What did you spend your money on? Listen, my wedding dress was very expensive, and he wouldn't pay for it, and I really felt like I had to look great on that day. I so thought it was every girl's dream to buy her own expensive wedding dress. That's true. What was yeah. it like? It had diamonds. It had a lot of glow sticks sewn into it. Oh, very wow. expensive. A couple Swarovski crystals. Some shot glasses that I stapled to the back. Mm. I was like a shot dinosaur, you know? And yeah, a shot yeah, dinosaur. Shot, yeah, we all yeah, know what that is. You don't have to explain it. Come yeah. on. Stop right a there. A shot-a-saur. 
Uh, <laughs> it was a fun party. I mean, people were just, you know, yeah, it was all right. drinking shots off the back of my dress. Went on too long, if you ask me. <laughs> I'm sorry. How long 20, did it go? 20 uh, minutes. We're up there until 9 p.m. <laughs> well, like, I got to be up in three hours to start my day. <laughs> I feel bad. He wakes up at midnight. Wake up at midnight. Greet the day. Ask him what he does from midnight to 5 a.m. Ask me. Okay. What's Listen to this. Mr. Marshall, what's what's going on from midnight uh, to 5? I continue to write scripts for Laverne and Shirley. Why? I'm interested in seeing these these characters are still alive. They're for still me. living with you, yeah. yeah. And yet you don't talk to Penny, which is the real life Laverne. You can find out for yourself. You know, Scott, I guess in a way. I write these scripts as a way of talking to Penny. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Hey, can I? Uh, please, Gillian, please. Sorry. We're, we're getting nauseated. to the good stuff here. We're getting to the good this stuff. This one always making that noise and saying, gag me with a spoon. Uh, it's like you married Moon Zappa or something. Who? Okay, so. Valley Girl. You have, you, have you ever thought that maybe your problems with women are a result of the relationship with your sister, Penny? Ding, 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 ding. You know what? I haven't, but it sounds uh, sounds like you're right. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. So maybe that's the first step in order to... Uh, I'll call Penny tonight. How much money does Penny have, just to go back to... Oh, it? she's filthy rich. All right. Yeah, that league of her own. Their own, her own. League, own. league of his there, own money. There. There was more than one woman. It was their league. <laughs> yeah, you, You're exasperated with everyone. I don't know how anyone can stand you. How would you feel if you were living out of your car and your only worldly possessions were a fax machine and a rotary phone? It wouldn't come to that with me because I'm nice to people. I'm so lucky. I'm Scott Ackerman. I live in a pile of money. You don't... First of all, congratulations on living in that pile of money. Thank you so much. Everybody's talking about it behind (laughs) the gates. Yeah, I know. I hope to make it there. Secondly, you never know what's going to happen. It's easy to say, oh, that wouldn't be me living in a car with a fax machine or rotary phone. Never say you that you know You bet it all on a diamond out. mine, next thing you know. Hmm. Wow. All right. Well, I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm that just, you, you know. I had hoped that this might be the, the first comedy bing bong marriage. You we know, all people who that. met on the show. Yeah. That's right. There's, a, there's UCB babies, people who, who meet at UCB and do improv together. They have oh, babies Oh, I thought together. UCB babies were, uh, it was like a condition where babies are born addicted to pot. <laughs> It's also a cartoon in the works with a tiny Matt Besser and uh, a tiny Amy Poehler, and you just see uh, the mother's shoes and legs. But, um, uh, yeah, I had hoped that maybe... The mother is played by Viola Spolin. (laughs) (laughs) That's a deep cut. Yep. I had hoped that you guys would be the first, uh, you know... (laughs) Comedy bing bong marriage that lasted, you know? I mean, The Bachelor has uh, Trista and Ryan. It's true. They're still together. Gillian's crying right She's now. literally weeping. What's wrong? What's going on, Gillian? What's the matter, honey? I can't do it. What's, What's the happening? matter, honey? I can't do it. I'm What's going on? in my car. What's happening here? Carrie, I made a huge mistake. Would you have me back? Listen, the best I can do, because my wife is coming back any <laughs> week now. The best I can do, the best I can do is you can stay in the guest house. Really? Yeah. You'd have me in the guest house? Now, the guest house, you should know, it's a modified car. Okay. It's up on blocks. Okay. And it's behind the Hollywood YMCA. Oh, that's so better than what I got now. It's got a toilet in it. Oh, what is it? A, hollow, right. a hollowed out car it's with a, a toilet in the, in the rumble seat? In the rumble seat. That's right. <laughs> Oh my yeah, it's an old packer. That's where uh, the real rumbles are coming. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Gary didn't like that one. <laughs> my grandkids sure like this. Yeah, they love it. I, Your grandkids love me. They do. You, not so much. You know, they talk about you. Ah, you're a good kid. Come uh, on. Thanks, I, look, I got, thanks I was, so much, Mr. Murray. I was a young, please call me Gary. I Will was do. a young guy once, and uh, yeah. it was fun to, to, you know, say things you weren't supposed to say. Back in, when you were with the outsiders, with the... Uh, That's right. We used to go around stabbing each other. Yeah, you know, yeah. the the Essie Hinton uh, Rumblefish years. <laughs> yeah. You know? Boy, the, the woman author. Yeah, the woman author. We know that's a woman author, yeah, of course. Of course it is. Yeah. I don't even know why I said that. Of course why wouldn't we know she's a woman Everybody author? Because you two pricks don't a... think that women can write books. Sorry. Have you ever written a book? Yeah. What's your book? How to Get By. <laughs> With four Ys? <laughs> well, look for that on audible.com. Who narrates that one for the Audible uh, audio Bellows. book? Gil Bellows. Gil Bellows. Bonus!
clip. Um, this is probably one of the hardest times I've ever laughed on this show. Wow. And this is from uh, episode 230, which uh, came out right before season two of the Comedy Bing Bong TV show. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had my good friend Reggie Watts on the show. Mm -hmm. And I had Neil Campbell, who is our head writer. Neil Campbell. Campbell, yes. Camptown Bells. And um, we decided to have a freestyle rap contest. Mm -hmm. And um, we all knew Reggie would do really, really well because this, this is, is his thing. It's what he he makes up songs all the time. He, it's what he does for a living. None of us knew about Neil's skills in this area. Was this the first instance? Yes, of Neil's legendary rap prowess. <laughs> yes, this is pretty amazing, mm -hmm. and I was crying laughing off mic. Maybe you can hear me during part of it, but uh, this is the freestyle rap contest from episode 230 here on our bonus clips. B -b 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 bonus! <laughs> Clip. Well, guys, we all know what uh, time it is in the show. I do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tell us. It is time to get down and feel good. <laughs> that is right, because it's time for the freestyle rap battle. Oh, my gosh. Who do you think will win? <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have two terrible white rappers. <laughs> When I say terrible white rappers, we're not white rappers. I mean, we're terrible at both rapping and being white. Yeah. <laughs> and you have Reggie Watts, who I, does this for a living. I'm, yeah, kind of. Cody, we need, uh, Engineer Cody's here with us. We need a subject. God damn, one word. All you need to think of is one word, and he gave me a look of fear, and then he shrugged. Come on, one word out of anything. Stack it for us. Vacuum cleaners. Yes, Vacuum cleaners. All right, Neil. <laughs> oh, take no, it. Oh, no. <laughs> Here we go. Vacuum cleaners. Neil Campbell. Neil Campbell. Neil Campbell. When I'm sucking up dirt in my room, I have a vacuum cleaner and not a broom. I need to get clean because my girl's coming over. I don't want her to see all the shit on the floor. All the things that will make her realize girls aren't my thing. I gotta get down. I gotta get rid of stuff and get out of town. When I'm cleaning with my vacuum, I got a girl coming over. She don't know Oh, I'm gay. <laughs> I just play it that way. <laughs> she will never know I ain't straight. <laughs> I was here last night with my mate. <laughs> and we did mate. <laughs> Suck it up. Yeah! Suck it up! Suck it up like a vacuum yeah! cleaner. Suck it up like a cleaner. Well, I was sitting in my room watching Darkwing Duck. Then I grabbed the vacuum cleaner. What did I do? Suck. Suck, 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 sucking up the dirt. Sucking up the dirt don't hurt. Because, whoa, why did this music get so loud? <laughs> music got loud from the cloud. Yeah. I store my music in the cloud because I don't like to have CDs. Nuts. I like data. I like data, cause I'm a player who likes the data. I keep all my songs in my cloud player. I suck up the cloud. What if you could use a vacuum on songs? Boy, that would be really cool. You'd have a ton of songs in your vacuum cleaner, and then you'd empty the bag <laughs> and throw out all your songs. Empty the bag, throw out all the songs. <laughs> Reggie Watts! <laughs> Yo, I'm a kind of guy who likes to keep clean. But no one ever knows because I try to not be seen. I always got my vacuum cleaner on the clean, clean. Everyone sees me pull it out of my trunk. I take it out of trunks and I bring it in the houses. Vacuum all the crumbs and all the little mouses. I'll do it just for free because I love to vacuum. Everybody knows I like to come with vacuum. 
Thank you very much, Mr. Mr. Vacuum. I think I'm going to try an Auric today. Or maybe I'll try a Dyson today. Or maybe I'll try another off-brand thing. But I got an old dirt devil's up in my bitch. Because I never knew this thing is what you flip in my flitch. And you feel my thumb, damn it, if you're flicking my clitch. You got to do it everything because the vacuum is right. Yo, yo. <laughs> Yo, you has got a handle and a stem, and it's got this thing that has a rotating brush that keeps lots of things out of its way, but it specifically grabs an engineer to get everything on your floor except for the things that you hold dear, like gold rings and necklaces and earrings. They definitely won't suck that stuff up because it's got an intelligent system that can kind of filter out the types of things that you prefer in its preference through an application you download to your phone. And that's how vacuums work, how they always worked all the way from the 50s. Applications ruled the content of the vacuum cleaners and people knew that shit yo witch hazel whatever you gotta use that shit as you can be witched is not enough so you gotta stick to the plan because the sams the two sams i couldn't tell the difference but all i knew is one thing that kept them both together it was the flume the plume the gloom yo it was a motherfucking vacuum yeah yeah let's hear from neil again <laughs> all right here we go i use my back to suck up coins. I use my mouth to suck up groins. And I'm in, if I get rid of the dirt, you know I get rid of my shirt. And then I'm getting real dirty, and it's because I'm getting real flirty with all the boys at the pool. I go there every day after school. I'm not in school, I'm 33, but I like the boys who are much younger than me. So after they get out of school, I head on down into the pool, and I see them with just their trunks on, and I say, damn, that's one long schlong. I want in the locker room, so... You can do the nasty boom up my butt and in my face. I will do it, no disgrace. I like the way you sweat, and I like feeling your wet little mouth on my. So much younger, but you look so fine. Nah, 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 when I take you home, and your mom doesn't know where you are now, no. She was trying to pick you up, but you're at my house, and I'm making you up, up, up. Up it goes, you make it, learn to grow. Then I teach you how to do the same to your own body. Ooh, that's my name. You're gonna keep saying my name. My name is Neela Dude, that's my name. Say it real loud, don't be ashamed. <laughs> that's amazing. Wow. That's really amazing. That's oh, no, 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 we're done, we're done. That's, that's, you don't have to start it over. That was the best. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the winner? That was the best. I can't tell. I think Neilathan, for Neil sure. rhymed a lot, I yeah. have to say. He did, he rhymed, he rhymed the most. I'm going to award this to Neil. Yeah, Congratulations. it's got to go. It's wow. got to go. I'm kill myself now. Number five. All right, number five. This is from episode 219. All right. And um, this is an episode... <laughs> the pre- please choose your words carefully <laughs> the previous installments of this episode mm-hmm. have been on our best of countdown the previous two years mm-hmm. and the first installment of it was number one in our countdown two years ago but this is an episode called farts and procreation three farts and procreation now 3. a lot of people said it couldn't be done twice then they said it shouldn't be done thrice. After they heard it. That's right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but you said, no, we're doing this. We're doing it. No uh, one wanted to do it. Earlier, I, b- I believe <laughs> I believe a day ago, Chelsea uh, Peretti, who is in this episode, uh, tweeted to Harris Whittles, who is also in this episode, hey, did you vote yet? And gave him the link. And Harris said, I don't think people should vote for it. <laughs> <laughs> Harris! <laughs> Was he not pleased with his performance in the show? No, we had a good time. I mean, if you listen to this episode, it's a really good time. We're just having fun. We're just goofing around. You're just having fun? That's Heavy all. bit saturation. Adam Scott from Parks and Recreation is also on this episode. And we we tape them late at night. We don't plan anything, and they're really crazy. Were they all taped late at night? They all were. Was the first one taped late at night, and then after that, you were like, let's tape? Yes. Yes. Okay. We, we said we have to recreate the exact experience each How time. How late at night are we talking? We're talking about as late as this. 
Um, because we're doing it late at night here. It's uh, 1 a.m. right now. <laughs> Usually Adam uh, will get off of the set around 8.30 or so, and then we'll come over here and we'll do it like, you know, 9, 9.30, somewhere around there. So this is Farts and Procreation 3. Look, we're just having fun here. People... <laughs> I will say these are divisive episodes. Such a disclaimer. These are very divisive episodes. Mm -hmm. People, uh, after this came out, said, guys, knock it off. (laughs) And just as many people say, you know what? They're having fun. This is fun stuff. And uh, we we have great chemistry together. Are there any people that say this should be the show all the time? No. And none of the participants either. Of course not. (laughs) It's it's like lightning in a bottle. You try to recapture it. Sometimes you can. I think they're all really funny, but I I do think that each has been less funny than (laughs) the previous ones. But at the same time, this is good stuff, you know, and we're all having fun. So you know what? If you don't like if you don't like it, seek to talk to the bursar for a full refund. (laughs) That's right. So we're going to hear a good chunk of this, and um, you're going to hear a couple of things. You're going to hear just uh, the beginning when we're just warming up, and then we're going to go to a section towards the end where typically Adam and Harris debut new characters, (laughs) and so we're going to hear some of their new characters. This is your episode number five on the countdown. Number five. Can I ask something? If if, uh, Ebert... Like z- zombified and um, came back to life. Wouldn't it be funny if like two thumbs came through the dirt <laughs> instead of like a hand? Is that phone corner? <laughs> I guess yeah. It could be considered should, phone. Yes. Should we hear the theme? I guess. Well, by the way, I need to introduce you, but l- let's get to the it theme just after be I introduce one, you. It should just be one thumb though, and then skull. <laughs> Siskel should be the one. Do you think they're buried next to each other? I know that they're buried next to each other. This is the theme song to Harris's phone corner. It's a phone corner. Say it again. Well, it'd be funny if Ebert, if he zombified, and then instead of his hand coming up through the dirt, two thumbs came up through the dirt. (laughs) Yes, it would. What if, um, and like if... Who's a, who's a dead guy with a dick? Uh, <laughs> all of them? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? Uh, other than guys that were killed by getting their dick taken off. Yeah, so... <laughs> Wait, that, now that, that monkey did tear off someone's dick and the guy died from it. Yeah, so, so you're not talking about him. Not that okay. guy. Process of elimination, we have everyone else left. Okay, so it'd be funny if any of those guys, like their dick <laughs> Wait, came up through any, the dirt. Any, anyone any, else? Every, any human being. Male who is dead. <laughs> so it you're just saying funny. you'd like to see a zombie dick come out yeah. through a grave. Yeah. <laughs> sure. What you about know? like a porn star that was famous for his dick? Wouldn't that exactly? Yeah, I guess sense? that is more apropos. Uh, yeah, yeah what's his face? Yeah, like yeah that Holmes. dead guy with a dick. No, not uh, John Holmes. No, John Holmes. <laughs> Clark Gable. Who are you thinking of? The guy who's known for his big dick. But he has to be dead. Oh, but he will Milton be. Mer- Milton oh, you're, you're talking oh, so like Ron Jeremy or something. Yeah, yeah, you're talking about Ron Jeremy. You think he's, he's going to die soon? I hope so. <laughs> oh God! What? Jesus. <laughs> what? He's a human being. Well, this is a comedy with a big show. Dick. Oh, that's true. That's true. So. It was funny. <laughs> joke clause. <laughs> let me let me explain who you guys are. Unless Adam, Santa you wanted to say something. I just wanted to say, has it really been ten moths since <laughs> since we got together? No, last ten time? months. That you got to put oh, an ten. N in there. How many moths has it been? A thousand. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I saw. You I saw. Are I we saw allowed a moth, to say that? I saw a moth last night at my house. Really? And I was like, man, uh. it feels like it's been like twenty <laughs> moths. <laughs> Oh since, my God. since you saw that moth. <laughs> um, well, now it's been like three moths since I saw that one. I want to be a conscientious objector to that joke. <laughs> kill me. Okay. Would you, what would you, you do what if said. I did try to kill you? Like, you were at your house, you heard mm-hmm. a noise, you realized I was in your house, and I was looking at you, and I'm like, it's not a joke, man. I was <laughs> my like, th- I, if yes. this happened, I just put myself into that situation. <laughs> And I feel like I made the connection like very immediately of oh she's uh, obsessed with me like that's 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 crazy yeah like because I put myself in that situation I went oh Chelsea's obsessed with me oh no shit I got to get out of the house but like wouldn't you just be like Chels like are you all right and then yeah. you look at me and I'm like dead ass serious like I'm yeah. like clearly not all right and I'm th- holding a knife and a gun 
I th- oh, both? Yeah. I think at first I would think that uh, Kulop had let you in and she was like in the bathroom. But you see her dead on the floor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> From the knife or the gun? Both. Wait, why? Oh God. Why stab then? Or what, what, what order? Are you stabbing then shooting? Or... <laughs> What, are you asking what I would do if that happened? I've never seen an, anyone think anything is so funny <laughs> as this. So, so. Why is this so funny to you? <laughs> because it's going to happen. <laughs> Wait, did it happen already? Have you killed Kulab? This is her break. This is her mental break. Oh my gosh. Right this now. is the decision happening right now. I just right think now. it's like really funny. To ask someone, like, what if you, like, violently killed their wife and then we're going to kill them? Like, that just seems funny. And oh, then, that's what you were laughing oh, at. Oh, oh that, I get it now. <laughs> that thing we heard you say? Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> You're right. That is funny. <laughs> Please don't do it. May I request that? Do you ever think, Chelsea, that you might snap? <laughs> no. Okay, so so he, new, we just want to. So we have these new characters. New that show. Like to, yeah. Okay, great. So uh, right. how do you get into them? Uh, the traditional well, way, classic uh, uh, creek slam creek sit slam. situation. Yeah, Look, course. it's pretty basic. I mean, it's not like we have a whole like process we go through. We just like boom, we can just jump in. It just depends on you and your time and yeah. when you want. I have like I have two minutes. Time. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, we're we really can, running the gamut here. Any version. <laughs> I got. I have. I have probably another half an hour to listen to this. So. Great. Okay. Great. great. It's okay. just like ba- just like uh, just like a relaxed uh, sort of thing, you know. What you want us to relax? Is that what you're saying? We you're required to relax. Oh. Um, but we have a very okay. specific a little wound thing up. that we do. So <laughs> we would appreciate it if you just like. Uh, do you want me to sit back in my chair? Is that what yeah? You're if you could sit do? back and just relax and shut the fuck up. All right. All right. I'm way back here. <clears throat> you're not shutting the fuck up. Though. Creek. Slam. Sit. (coughs) (laughs) Starting out great so far. I love it. (coughs) You okay? Yeah, that cough is really, uh, it's still bothering me. You gotta get that thing checked out. I know, you keep telling me that, but I'm not gonna go check it out. You know me, I hate doctors. I know, but, you know, you got kids. It's not just about you. Ah, thanks. When's the bus coming? Well, it For does. Real. <laughs> seems like it's a minute late. All right, I'll sit another minute just to see if it comes. Uh, this bus, <laughs> this bus ain't never gonna come. You know that driver, <laughs> oh Boris. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, what's your name? I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, Chelsea's in this too. Caslita. 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 Yeah. Caslita. Andrews. Caslita Andrews, uh, nice to meet you. We're just waiting for the bus. Yeah. Ditto. Can you cuss leave us alone? <laughs> <laughs> Fine, fuck you. Oh, tension's running high at the bus stop. <laughs> See you on the bus, bitch. It's quite a, quite a mouth on that little honey, huh? Why are you being so mean? <laughs> it's really aggressive. But, to be fair, you're the person who asked to be cuss left alone. Yeah, that hurt my feelings. <laughs> Oh, we're talking here. Cause you came over yelling feelings. shit at us. <laughs> I was just waiting in on the bus wait. My friend is sick. <coughs> I'm sick, too. Are you waiting for the bus, too, honey? Yeah. What the fuck else would I be doing out here, you dumb motherfucker? Mm. I, uh... <laughs> just kidding. How are you? <laughs> That's a good kid. Fine, I'm not, I'm not sure where your center is. I'm not sure how to react to you. Can we get this, this homeless woman out of the theater? <laughs> is this an interactive show? Is that uh, really no, what people it's a, are... No, it's uh, scripted. This, the Caslita is scripted. Yeah, oh, yeah. Is so is scripted. this. Yeah. yeah, what I'm doing right now. Yeah. I know that because I'm reading from the script right yeah. now. All right, yeah. all right. Regroup. Regroup, re-creak, re-slam. Uh, How's... Wendell. Uh, you always bring up Wendell. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never tell me. <laughs> Do you think that's going to change today? No, it's not. The chances of that are as good as you seeing a doctor, huh? Just one day. Excuse me. 
<laughs> hey, I may be narrating this, but I can make jokes. Ex- excuse me, what, what's your name? Uh, my name? My name is Ping Pong. Ping Pong? <laughs> yes. It's great to meet you, Ping Pong. <laughs> Ping Pong Jones. <laughs> well, Jones. Dr. Jones. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm a doctor. Why do you say it like that, though? <laughs> How else am I supposed to say it? <laughs> well, like, Dr. Jones. That's right. Are you, you're a doctor. Yes, Your and last my name name's is Jones. Jones. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> hey. Sorry. I just want to be cuz left alone over here. Don't right. treat me like that. So uh, anyway, how's Wendell? Listen. I'm not going to tell you how Wendell is. Every day we fucking come here and I ask how Wendell is and you don't tell me how he is. And he's he's my two. You're, you're what? He's my two. Listen, you want to find out how Wendell is, you're going to have to wait for the bus to come, because as you know, he's the bus driver. Well, don't look like Wendell's coming today. Oh, he never comes, does he? You know, you know what I would love? If we, just while we're waiting, did our characters. That'd be great. Let's do it. What? You guys have characters? What? Creek, Slong, Sovert. <laughs> Parallel universe. Hi. Oh, hey. How's it going? Pretty good. Hmm. Uh, oh, hi. Hey, Ping Pong Jones. Dr. Ping Pong Jones. Dr. Ping Pong Jones, how are yeah. you? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm great. Oh, I, uh, this guy is so much nicer than the other guy. Yeah, my name is Jason Forges. Forges. Oh, okay. My name is Clark. Griswold. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say. Yeah. Uh, My name is Sherry O'Terry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so Caslita slipped into character as well. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Uh, uh, I've, I, I don't know who this person is, but I'm very happy to meet you. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to get back to canning this gravy. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're, ooh, just... Uh, if. <laughs> We, you, should we put on the uh, rubber gloves to s- finish the canning process? Absolutely. <laughs> Why is there a woman that you've never met before in this cannery? I just assumed she was uh, the boss's daughter or something. Yeah, or a health inspector or something like that. We Are you either of those, of those things? The boss's daughter or a health inspector? You wish. Are, wait, are you the famous Sherry O'Terry? <laughs> yeah, right. Huh. Miss, um... If you'd like to participate in... I would. It, maybe you should speak into the microphone. Fine. Here you go. How you oh. like that, you little silly Billy? Well, I like it a lot more because I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a doctor. I'm a nurse. Oh, we got to stop. I think the bus is here. <gasps> uh, okay, let's... No, nah, just <sighs> that was just a guy on a skateboard. Oh, oh well. What I love about with California anything. is you can skate in the afternoons. <laughs> Then and you can, like, do take an eight-hour drive, depending on where oh, you're skating. Oh, look, the bus is here! The bus is here! Nah. No. Just a guy boogie boarding. Just a boogie, guy boogie boarding down the street. Yeah. <laughs> so we work at the cannery. Oh, back in. Back, back in the cannery. Cool. Well, uh, what do you guys do at the cannery? You, uh, 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 what was your name? Clark? Clark. You, uh, you actually can the gravy. I can the gravy. And uh, what was your name again? Jason Vorges. Jason Vorges. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Pleased to meet you. I'm pleased to meet you as well. Thank you. What do you do here in the cannery? Well, you maybe so uh, bold as to ask. Uh, Clark Griswold and I uh, are in charge of the actual... Okay. Um, wh- what happens is you have a can... And this is a canned gravy factory. Sure. Uh, We're in uh, Dubuque, Nebraska. Okay. A lot of good info. Just to give you a sense of where we are. I mean, I know where we are, obviously, because I traveled here. Yeah, just shut up for a second. And Uh, the the can stops in the the conveyor belt. Clark fills it with gravy, and then I seal the top of it. But what you're forgetting is that sometimes there's what we call drippage. Mm. And you need to take a towel <laughs> uh-huh. and you gotta you gotta wipe away the drippage. The drippage. And whose responsibility is that? Your mom. <laughs> that actually is your mom's responsibility. My mom? <laughs> yep. Yeah. And we've been waiting Ms. on Ackerman. her for half an hour. We have a lot of dirty cans of gravy. I mean that a is why I'm here at the stuff. factory. 
to tell you that she is no longer with us. Oh. Uh, <laughs> the company. She's no well, longer with the company. Oh, oh. oh, okay. Well, people still got to get their gravy, so. So what, are you just going to hand out drippy cans of gravy? Or no. are you guys going to come up with a solution? We need someone to take care of the drippage. Might I suggest, because this is a woman's job. Yeah. Someone Sherry right O'Terry? Over, someone right over here who could maybe towel off this drippage. Mm. Do you have any experience this toweling off some job? drippage? Yeah. What the hell does that mean? No. I've never been sexually excited in my life. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sherry? <laughs> I think you're jumping to conclusions, but I appreciate it. Well, I felt he was doing blatant double entendre, and I'm not the type to play games. Okay. You I've know. never had an orgasm. Oh, no. And we it's such... <laughs> I refuse to engage in double entendre because it only makes me feel less than. We have to solve this problem for her, guys. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Clark. <laughs> solve this problem. <laughs> Clark, um, while we have some time waiting for the drippage. Uh, <laughs> what are you waiting for? My mom's not coming in. Do you want to try out a couple uh, our characters? Yeah, I would love that. Um, All right. Okay. Grunk. <laughs> Slong. Oh, my God. Slong. <laughs> Uh, Evan? Uh, How's it going? Hello. How's it going? Hi, hi Vance. Hey, how's it going today? <laughs> I'm fine. How's window? How's window? <laughs> how's, oh, the window is clear. Perfect day for looking out at them. Oh, it's very beautiful. <laughs> Ah, look at all that <laughs> wasteland. Mm -hmm. The world was such a nice place before it ended. Well, let's go scavenge for water and beware of the scavengers. <laughs> Squirp. <laughs> There's a, a, a scavenger in our midst. <laughs> Who goes there? Who is it? It is I. <laughs> yes, oh, state, your, state your name and purpose. My name is Sherry O'Terry. <laughs> I'm, ah. I'm the grandmother of the famous Sherry O'Terry. <laughs> you have lived <laughs> in the future. Have we traveled to the past? <laughs> oh. I'm immortal. Oh. Mm. Well, tell us, Sherry, how's the window? <laughs> the window is magnificent. It has never been touched. Okay, you can pass. <laughs> Thank you. So wait. Bye. Hold on. In this apocalyptic wasteland where yes. you're watching out for scavengers, <laughs> yes. your one security measure is asking how the window is. And if, the, if they respond that the window is fine, you let them into your house? Well... Times have changed. This isn't your world as you know it. The world can't have changed that much that you're not fearful of scavengers. Well, windows are the life force that the entire world <laughs> and what we used to know of as Amarika mm. depend upon. Depends. And if Lord Shit <laughs> <laughs> if Lord Shit Queef gets his hand on one, it'll be it. It'll be the end of us all. <laughs> now hold on one second. I I have to ask about the name of of your ruler. I'm I'm taking it, Lord. <laughs> yeah, well, the Lord of the Dark Side. We are the good ones. Lord, well, what was his name though? Lord Shit Queef. Uh huh. He's the ruler of the Dark Side of the Force. How did he get his name, or is that his his Christian name? Uh, it was his, it's his Jewish name. Oh, I see. There's no such thing as Christianity. Only Judaism. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I knew those assholes would take over one day. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys are sort of fighting against uh, the, the, the evil Jews. Jews? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're trying to uh, exterminate them. <laughs> oh, I see. How many of them are there? Uh, you know, give or take six million. I'd oh, say. okay. But they're bad. Sure. We're good in this future. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, it's yeah. quite ironic. It's almost like a Twilight Zone yeah. situation. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Georgian. Yes. Now that we have some time, would you like to try out some characters? I would love to. How much time do you guys actually have? You guys were, like, going out to scavenge. Creek, slum, 
Shh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> really? <laughs> Who are you? I. <laughs> They're obviously window loving dogs. And who are you in this situation? Oh, I had stepped out of it. I was Chelsea. Oh, okay. You're Chelsea again. Oh, okay. I'm still Ping Pong Jones. Ooh. Doctor. Ooh. Ooh, Adam's still in it. Harry's still in it. <laughs> <laughs> they seem to be. That's Oh my what? god. Let's, let's go back. Okay. This is like real acting. Lord <laughs> Shitqueef. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, are you Lord Shitqueef? You just said yes. Yes. Oh my god. So in this scenario, I thought that you were who were you? We were well the the dogs are living in twenty years past the time of the second Holocaust. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what you guys call it in the yeah, future. Lord it's the Holocaust. Shitqueef actually won. Okay. So the Jews survived. Oh. And dogs and humans have cross pollinated. Yeah. Oh. So it's just a bunch of like dog men roaming who, the earth. Who started that? Who was the first person to actually have sex with a dog? Harris Whittles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's still alive then? <laughs> no, the this was like 10,000 years ago. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many times did he do it? Constantly. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Starting in the year 2010. Can I Seriously. ask you, was this as a result of a wife swap? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the first dog, uh, yeah, it was Rocky. Holy shit. What yeah. are you doing to my dog? So wait, everyone in the future is a half Boston Terrier, half like yeah. Jewish sitcom writer? We should be so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a How great, about hearing yourself reduced down to Jewish sitcom? Writer? Oh, I thought I was the Boston Terrier. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, should so we go back uh, to the previous where, characters? Yeah, who we were? were we? I think we're at the dogs. We're now. in the dogs. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, we can't just go back to Harris and Adam. We right. have to kind of no, go, go back, back all through. The way through. Yeah. Okay. okay. No, take your time. Do it as much <laughs> as you need to do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Can I have a sip of your milk? <laughs> Is this the... <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> hey, Rich, come. <laughs> Wait. Wait, the Ew. dog just Ew. ate Ew. the other dog's cum? Huh? Sorry. <laughs> 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 Wait, now the dogs are farting? You Guys, just, I thought you were getting uh, out of these characters. You just fart screwed me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? F fart screw me twice. Shame on me. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait. Come here. I want you to take a look at something. Just get your face right up to this thing. Okay, better be milk. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, why do you keep falling for this? Uh, well, what can I say? My brain is more dog than man. <laughs> oh, I'll say. Now, should we go back? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> How do you keep falling for this? I get all the dog mans in the world, I'm stuck with his asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can say that again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. So now you're <laughs> now now we're oh, back in Let's the... go. Wait, we have to click Slam Sling Sling. Oh Lord Hello. Lord Shitqueef is over there. We better get back. Yes. Sit Cr Slam Creek. Oh, this gravy uh, gravy's not gonna wipe itself. Yeah, we're still waiting for that person. Should we go back? Yeah, looks like a woman's not gonna show up to do a woman's job. No, oh, well. <laughs> let's so go, what? Let's what go. else is new? You know. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Well, let's go back to the er, creek. Creek. Sit. Creek. Slam. Or something. Hmm. Uh, hey, how's it going? Uh, it looks like this 
bus is never gonna. Uh, I don't think so. Screech! <gasps> the buzz is here. <laughs> no, <laughs> just a surfer. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, a surfer. <laughs> hey man, I love my motorized surfboard. See, I told you. <laughs> Look at him go. I love wasting gas and throwing it in the ocean. Well, we'll never find out how Wendell is or who he was. Never. Let's go back. Slam, Sart, Clark, Griswold. Harris. Wait. Now we're Harris. Oh, wait. What was that? <laughs> we almost went through the portal. <laughs> Do you, is that Kazlita? Who's you, there? Kazlita! The bus is here! The bus is here! The bus is here! Let's get on. <laughs> oh no. It's a uh, coyote. Let's still get on. <laughs> okay. Do you want to come with us, young lady? Sure. I'm bored out of my mind. <laughs> so you guys are all going to hop onto a coyote and just... <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Let's get on this fucking thing. <laughs> you get in the front, though. I'm scared. Okay. Does it matter where the coyote's going? <clears throat> no. We uh, Wherever the coyote's going, we all want to go. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Woo! Yeah. He's walking. He's walking. Woo! Woo! If, if you jump on this coyote, you may never get out of uh, Karak, though. Is That's that a, true. You know? Mm. We're already going. I don't ever want to get out of Karak. <laughs> Me neither. I love Karak. <laughs> <laughs> Karak is will, not whack in this uh, case. <laughs> Karak is not whack. Seriously. Yeah, <laughs> I guess I, maybe we just play it safe and get out no, of here. No, stay on it. Stay on it. <laughs> stay on it. Come on. Stay, stay on it, sir. Stay on it. Stay on the Wait, coyote. Let's take the coyote and, and can leave it. Back in Candelabra, back into regular times. Just to prove to everybody that we did this? Yeah. All right, here it is. Come on, guys. Crark, slam, sniff. We made what? it. Yeah. Oh, my God, what is this world? Oh, it's hot Wait, are you here. still in here? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I, thought we went, I thought we went through the portal. Adam oh. Scott doesn't exist anymore. Oh, no. Hey, who are you people? Oh, Wait a minute. So, are you going to take over Adam Scott's lifestyle? You've just switched places with a really famous uh, Hollywood actor who is a bit of a poon hound from what I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind switching places with him? <laughs> yeah, sure. That sounds good. Yeah? yeah. Okay. It does. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you have a pretty sweet deal. <laughs> Meanwhile, what was your life like back there? Oh, I hadn't quite figured that one out yet. <laughs> well, poor Adam. <laughs> <laughs> He's mostly waiting at a bus stop. <laughs> yeah. That's all I Not really seen knew. Doctors. <laughs> Bonus <laughs> clip, and this is from an episode with Bob Odenkirk. Does he say his signature catchphrase? <laughs> he says it in the episode, not in this clip. Okay. But if you want to hear someone scream, God damn it, I believe God. he says it in this Download episode. the whole episode, guys. It's worth it. <laughs> um, but this is a part <clears throat> of the episode where he literally... One week earlier, the Breaking Bad finale had occurred. Now, don't worry. If you have not seen Breaking Bad, you can listen to this clip. (laughs) I I believe I got one or two angry tweets about, hey, why are you spoiling Breaking Bad for us? They turned it off the minute we said Breaking Bad spoilers. This is not a spoiler. This is a comedy piece. Uh, Yes, every spoiler. "Quote unquote spoiler that is in that is, is absolutely absurd, absolutely fake. Yes, so not don't, just not just fake, but, <laughs> but clearly not true. But we had a lot of fun riffing on this, and this is just a fun little moment that I wanted to include. This is from episode two forty nine. This is Bob Odenkirk with his Breaking Bad finale spoilers. Bonus clip. Bob, let's talk briefly about Breaking Bad. It just ended last week, and yeah. no spoilers for. Uh, don't worry for anyone who hasn't uh, watched the entire series yet. But uh, how does it end? <laughs> oh, so but everybody's already seen it. No spoil. Right? Yeah, everyone's seen. It. No spoilers, but uh, uh, like, what's the final uh, image? Well, he's on the beach in Bermuda. Right. Right. He's got the sunglasses on. Uh-huh. Well, he doesn't have them on. He has them on his forehead. Oh, do, like and, Shane Tip style? Or? You know, the last that last moment is so classic Vince Gilligan. Mm-hmm. The guy shows up mm-hmm. with the daiquiri, and Walter White leans back and 
flips the sunglasses uh-huh. down, and you see that Bermuda sun and then he's reflecting like, in the sunglasses. I could get used to this. And he says, I could get used to this. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. A lot of people, I, and in the press since the final episode, people haven't been making the connection that Walter White ends up on a beach on an island, Vince Gilligan, Gilligan's Island, you know. I yeah, mean, they haven't made that connection yet, but you did, and you see it. I mean, yeah. really perceptive viewers see you know, when he's on the island, he buys that island with his meth money. Sure. And it already has that huge hotel. Because he shot all of the, the, uh, the, 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 we'll call them the antagonists. Right. Got they all, all, this meth they money all die. Yeah. The DEA essentially. They give up. Give they up. Say, you know what? Yeah. You're they the best surrender. at this. <laughs> they write him that letter. He gets that letter. We are so sorry we bothered you at all. Here's your money back. Here's some of the things we accrued from pursuing you please forgive us best of luck in the future right. the dea he goes to that island he's like that last half of the last episode where he's trying to find an island to buy just, and yeah it's, and it's and just, it's just about just like, real estate and that, and that great argument that he has with his wife who yeah. they're now back together right yeah, yeah, yeah. and she's like i don't want an island with a hotel on it don't you know me i want don't a deserted island now? and he's like can't we just get along and find the perfect island? And mm-hmm. and they picked that island, right? Which is, has a beautiful Four Seasons hotel. And they he goes in perfect. So like, Walter White is so smart, right? I'm, I'm going to run so this smart. island. He buys the island with the hotel and he rents out every room. Every so room. now they got the hotel. She's gets, he's she's making, happy. He's making money on top of that from renting out the the right. rooms, and that's smart. And, and he becomes and the that, he becomes the caretaker. And, of this hotel. And Walter Jr. is like that last shot. Mm. Baby Holly is super happy. She's speaking, mm-hmm. you know. She's like, hey, Dad. Yeah, hey, Dad. It's great. She has a southern accent. <laughs> You're really great, you know. She's a nanny. And, and then Walter White, that la- junior, Walter Jr. is mm-hmm. on the diving board, the high board, and he runs and jumps. Yeah. And he, Look you know, what I can do! Oh, splash. Perfect splash. He looks across the pool. There's his wife. Uh-huh. She gives him the thumbs up. <laughs> why is she on a skateboard? <laughs> there will be I more. Yeah. I think Vince is yeah. planting an idea. Stand it up. Oh, wait, she's another season? I think he's that skateboard. <laughs> you know, um, Skyler on the skateboard uh-huh. is that's yeah. that's a whole other story. First of all, I don't even want to start on. They that, both they both uh, start with S K. Well, Skyler skateboard. Here's the other thing. Think about another S that mm-hmm. rides. A skateboard. Mm-hmm. Think uh, about where we've seen an S on a skateboard. The uh, Simpsons. Sim- Bart Simpson. Bart Simpson. His right. last name is Simpson. And then, and then Jimmy Cliff, who he got to play that mm-hmm. Rastafarian guy who mm-hmm. sells him the hotel and is the caretaker. Hey, man. Buy my hotel. That guy's mm-hmm. a hilarious character. He's and so wonderful. Good. Jimmy Cliff, one of the best. It's just a great final. That last it's half classic. hour. I could have. I could have done with less of the conversation about. You know, islands. I don't know. I know. learned a lot about real estate and some good real estate tips, which I think was the, the main. I think he got a little too much information about tax mm-hmm. write-offs and stuff, but it's yeah. okay. Ten minutes of that stuff. Hey, it's yeah, you know what? We, we, we can sit through it just yeah. for that final scene. But man, oh man, that last moment. Mm. I could get used to this. Oh, man. So good. I and then? Do you see the monkey? Then that monkey jumps on his shoulder. I didn't see the monkey. <laughs> I close Watch my, it again. I close my you, eyes. You know, your, your DVR cut it off. After he says, mm-hmm. I can get used to this, you oh. hear, <laughs> and, and the monkey, little, monkey. little monkey, the cutest monkey ever, jumps on How his shoulder and dances that? around, and he laughs. I think I just turned it off because I was so satisfied. But if had I known there would be a monkey... Well, it's great. It's great, and uh, wow. certainly there's a lot to think about there, you know. D- and what I thought was interesting was... The line of dialogue earlier in the show yeah. when Walter White uh, says to your character, Better Call Sal, yeah. um, he says, Sal, better get Sal. Better get Sal. You gotta Sal. listen, Sorry. Scott. He says, Sal, you gotta admit, we broke some bat. Well, I know a lot of people have been wondering when are we gonna really hear the title of the show? Because mm-hmm. it's really something you owe the audience. To yeah. use the title of the show some at some point yeah. in your show. We broke some bad. And then you uh, hear and then he sings the theme song. He's like bow 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 ba do 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 do. I mean, you know, Vince is not gonna let a thing go by without giving it significance and meaning. 
And so for all these years, you've been listening to that song, you've been hearing Breaking Bad. When am I? When am I going? Right. When is it going to resonate in the show? Yeah. So having a character say, "We broke some bad," sing yeah. the song. Yeah. And then he know. says high five, and you go, "I prefer ten down low." And then you do a low ten. It was yeah. incredible. It was one of those classic. Man, moments. it all that last episode of Breaking Bad. Oh my God! It all comes together. Okay, spoiler alert off. If you've if you've not been listening because of the spoilers, you can now return to listening. Yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah. great television, man! Congratulations Thank on you, buddy. that. I mean, it's just like an incredible achievement. I don't pref- I don't really like the episodes leading up to that last one. Yeah, but that last one was like just right it, what I like to see. Everything, yeah. yeah, yeah. So good stuff. Number four. You know her as number one on the call sheet. <laughs> On Parks and Recreation. <laughs> um, camera one? <laughs> Maybe? Yep. Uh, Parks and Recreation. I'm nervous to talk before I'm introduced. Uh, please Am don't. I allowed? Okay. No, you are not. Yep. <laughs> you shall be punished for that outburst. <laughs> um, you, uh, Parks and Recreation comes on for its sixth season this Thursday, uh, probably sometime in the 8 or 8.30 or 9 or 9.30. It doesn't matter. Okay. Just block out your evening. Yep. You know, cancel all plans. Uh, and uh, her name is Amy Poehler. Welcome back to the show. Thank you for There's having me. Machine. Very, yeah, very excited to be here. Machine. Thank you, everyone. That was a good investment. Yeah. <laughs> your applause machine is just uh, like all these mechanical hands. Yes. It's, a re- it's, it's, it's actually huge. It's, it's not a little box that no. has the sound of recorded mm-hmm. applause. No, it actually is. Yeah, it's, it's as big as a refrigerator, yeah. and it's four mechanical hands. And it's not automatic. That's the other thing. I have to crank to it crank every it. single time that yeah. we do this. And sometimes you're, the, when you crank it, it's like uh, it's conceited because mm-hmm. it seems like you think you're going to get applause. Yeah. And yeah, let me do it really slowly here. Speed it up a little bit. Oh no! Oh no, it's out of control! It's out of control! Uh, That was me making the sound of an explosion, meaning I'm very excited. Um, Welcome back to the show, Neil. Oh, Oh. Oh, shit. (laughs) Uh, Amy, uh, let's talk about it. The Emmys were last night. this, This is coming out at midnight. Yeah. Uh, probably just wrapping up. You just left the governor's ball. <laughs> mm-hmm. I just, I just, <laughs> I'm just coming in for that. And I got to tell you, th- there were so many new fashion trends this year. At oh the my end. gosh! I mean, everyone. What just... colors are in? What colors are out? Well, last year it was it was really about, from what I read, clean skin, mm. long legs, and just symmetrical faces. And this year, <laughs> <laughs> this year it was all about just. Dirty mouths, like smudged, like cigarette smudged breath. mouths, okay. yeah, and crossed eyes, <laughs> yeah, and tongues akimbo, and tongues, <laughs> tongues akimbo, and a lot of lying down, which we don't see a lot of. Well, on the so people were just lying down yeah. and like pushed in on skateboards. Yeah, I was looking there was at. a lot of prone fashion mm-hmm. this year, just really beautiful poses yeah. on settees and stuff. I noticed a lot of the actresses; uh, they weren't even dressed. They just went into shops and laid down, and people threw garbage on them. Yeah. The new thing is to just act like you're a bed at a party and everybody just throws their <laughs> coat their on coats. you. Yeah, yeah, of course, and their the keys. Name. Some yeah. of their car keys yeah. get lost on you. <laughs> <laughs> Cell phones. It was just so, there were so many cool things about the Emmys this year. Like, I just thought it was great how everybody won. You know, everyone, everyone who had been year, nominated yeah. won. Yeah, that's great. That was fun, and uh, and and and, uh, and I loved uh, the in memoriam. <laughs> oh, the in memoriam. Oh, yeah. That's my hilarious. favorite one. Some it's... big ones this year. Some big names. Big names oh, man. this year. The entire cast of Gunsmoke. <laughs> everyone. <laughs> mm-hmm. Everyone yeah. from Law and Order. Yeah. SVU. I mean, crazy. Uh, crazy. I mean, I. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> an insane accident. <laughs> I blame Ice Team. And it wasn't, they weren't together. That's what's no. weird. <laughs> it was like a Rube Goldberg kind of machine. Yeah, just was, just, it bounced all around. All at but, home. It was insane. I mean, actually, scientists will be studying it for years because they all <laughs> died from so. that terrible black blood coughing disease, which is <laughs> so weird to trans- transfer. And how do you feel lines? about <clears throat> your category and what happened in it? Mm. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I feel I feel okay? Question yeah. mark. Yeah. You yeah. know, I feel mm-hmm. uh, like some of the things that I said were a little misconstrued, mm-hmm. and I feel like 
maybe things shouldn't have gotten so physical. Yeah, no, I know. That but. was weird, what happened between all the nominees. Mm -hmm. Just that orgy that broke out. Yeah. <laughs> really. Yeah, because I like my sex to be very mental <laughs> yes, of with course. no touching. Well, as George Michael once put it, sex is best when it's one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and he, he was a, a gentleman that I truly believed was straight <laughs> when I was So did up. I, until I saw him personally. Mm. I saw him personally in 1994 at a party. And I truly believed he was straight, and then I saw him in person, I went, oh, he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like a light went off in my head. I truly believed. Yeah, it was fantastic. Do you remember that period of the 80s and, and early 90s when every song that was about sex had to have some sort of condom reference mm -hmm. or just yes. do it with one person? TLC, you know, Lisa mm -hmm. Left Eye had to have a condom on her glasses. Right, and then uh, yeah. LL Cool J in Doing It, Doing It, Doing It Right had yeah. to be like, are you my lover? You wear a rubber? Mm -hmm. Who cares? Well, because we grew up in the time of we all thought we were going to die of AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> and it might happen still. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and it was like that. And it was a whole idea of like, that was sexy. It was like, mm -hmm. I'm going to take care of you. <laughs> by, <laughs> by not transmitting not my tra gross <laughs> disease into you. <laughs> the kids these days though do they use condoms i don't know, I don't know. let's Who your knows? audience should let us know yeah let, uh, call in if you can right now and yeah. uh, we'd love to take some calls <laughs> about uh this what is love line right yeah it is yeah. of course what types of condoms are you wearing what sizes mm -hmm. um and uh amy we have to and neil back me up on this we have to talk about parks and recreation this year we have to okay i have to back them up here thanks neil you're thanks, welcome neil. um season six uh, you have a lot of changes going on. It's tumultuous at this point. That's right. Uh, some ups, some downs. Yes. Things are sideways. Always. You know? You have uh, Rashida and Rob leaving after 13 mm -hmm. episodes. Are That's you going right. to go with them? I'm going to, well, I'm chaining Rashida to her bed like misery, and I'm <laughs> not going to allow her to leave. And, uh, and, uh, I think Rob, should... I've already written oh, off. Yeah, he's yeah, fine. <laughs> barely speak to anymore. Yeah. I think you should just go with him. Just be like, you know what? See you later, Parks and Rec. <laughs> vroom, vroom, car keys screech. Pull into the left lane. Yeah. Apply the brake. <laughs> I think I had pitched that Jerry... A little bit slower. <laughs> Jerry comes in Pull and over just to the right. shoots them like those characters from Lost. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> just kills them. Wait, which characters from Lost? Remember um, this, the Claudio real, the, and yeah the um, and just buries them alive. Well, they got buried. But no, yeah, the other well, guys. I've only watched a few episodes. I've seasons of Lost. I, oh, okay, you've my, only seen the last two episodes. The only two. <laughs> I've only seen the first and last episode of Lost. <laughs> <laughs> it's very cyclical. And I'm just like, oh, it makes ends and ends on the high. <laughs> yep. Uh, well, uh, Michelle Rodriguez. Remember Michelle Rodriguez? Yes. Rodriguez. Like, Walt's dad shot, shot yeah. them all. Right. Walt's oh yeah. Dad, yeah. That's right. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. How Sorry. long do you? How long is it before you? you it's not a spoiler alert. Till death, <laughs> as Brad Garrett once said. <laughs> Till death. Um, do you think he ever actually said that? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I hope he did. did I he ever? Hope, I guess. I hope he, he said must have it. said the title of his show. Right? I hope he said it. Someone laughed, and someone said, "That's a show." <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> At his wedding, Garrett, you've done it again. <laughs> <laughs> hey. That's a show! And he went, yeah, you know what? You're right. <laughs> it's weird that he doesn't talk like that in real no, life, isn't no, it? No, he does now for me, forever in my head. <laughs> <laughs> so, Parks and Rec, you have, you have Adam Scott. You got married on the show last year. That's right. Uh, is this the season-long arc of the divorce, or what? Yeah, that's right. It's going to be the slow, <laughs> slow and painful divorce. Just a real, just a lot of us um, misunderstanding each other, sure. and then one of us is going to have an emotional affair. Yeah. Because you guys got married too soon, in yeah, my opinion. You know, like I, I prefer a longer courtship. <laughs> yep, we're going to argue about money. <laughs> uh, one of us is going to let ourselves go. <laughs> so which one? Is, because you look, you look great. Thank you. Thank is it you. Adam? Really? It is he Adam. he that's gains the forty yeah. pounds this season. I heard. Yeah. His character gains it all on his ass. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, uh, yeah. No, this season, Leslie Nope, the character that, that I play, is going to have to fight to keep her job. She might get kicked out. Oh, mm. I hope she gets kicked out. <laughs> Do you? Yeah, I kind of yeah. hope she does too. It might be fun. But <laughs> um, yeah, so she they might kick her out because she's done a lot of stuff which, mm. and people don't like change okay so on the season premiere thank you for saying it right you're welcome uh this thursday what can we expect from parks and rec this thursday 
tell us the plot of this episode. I have no idea. With act breaks, if you could. Okay, so <laughs> op- we open on a dusty field. What is the aspect tumbleweed. ratio at this point? Oh, we're in we're in 1215, but what's so beautiful about shooting on these on these new reds mm-hmm. is um you can download instantly. So the whole thing is like uploaded oh, immediately. Oh, yeah, and just get it right to the editor. You download upload switch is yeah. just X5, so you can yeah. X4 the whole time. Fantastic. And then you just switch into Dolby Digital and mm-hmm. and suddenly you're you're um, analog uh, uh, dependent, which mm. is better Fantastic. for um, for uh, synchronizing your uh, residual stuff. Okay. Yes. Oh. So you get your residuals faster. Immediately, oh, really. Mm-hmm. The minute that you mm-hmm. shoot a scene, you get residuals yeah. from it? That's, That's nice. Incredible. And we're using an alien cam this year, which is just a camera that you point at people to see if they're see aliens. If they're aliens. Well. Much like the glasses in They Live? That's right. Oh, okay. John Carpenter's They Live. Use that Roddy, next-gen technology. Roddy, Roddy, Roddy Piper, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't have to believe it. <laughs> Take it on faith. <laughs> um, it's like, uh, you know, it's George like Michael once said. <laughs> <laughs> take it on faith. <laughs> you got to take it on faith, the faith, the faith. You got to take it on the cast of They Live. Take it on faith. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys remember the Freedom video George Michael did and all those um, Freedom super 90? Super models in the bathtub and mm, Cindy yeah. in the bathtub? Yeah. yeah that was, what do you think? I loved it. Yeah. I did you it. did you have aspirations of being a supermodel? I did. Yeah. But I I hurt I got hurt early. I oh, I hurt oh. my um my vagina bone and so I couldn't fuck. Oh no. You couldn't fuck couldn't as much fuck as, as many guys as you needed to. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't fuck I couldn't That's fuck so... like slimy model agents. Oh, yeah, I know. That is so so I pulled my vagina bone. Oh no. I bruised it on just a, on a in a horse horse accident. A, a horse's dick? <laughs> a horse's dick. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> I bruised oh. it on horse. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was out of modeling for a while. For a while. And then okay. I'm gonna then I'm back. Getting in. back into it now with that Emmy situation. <laughs> I'm gonna be I'm gonna I'm really interested in doing like the over forty, like kinda gray haired, like mm, yeah. twinkly eyed yeah. yogurt Just stuff. Just letting mm-hmm. your roots grow mm-hmm. out. <laughs> <laughs> Just barefoot and real, real nice pedicure. Yeah. Well, um, guys, uh, a lot of you listening, probably when you heard what the lineup is here, you guessed what was going to happen, okay? Uh, It is time for our freestyle rap battle. Oh, no. I'm intimidated to do this. A little next, backstory. Next to Mr. Thick. Well, this is don't be this intimidated is for me. Don't I, be intimidated I've... by Mr. Thick. You got to be intimidated by Neil Campbell, who recently, about a month or two ago, for the premiere of the show, laid down what many consider to be goat. You you were goat at one time of the freestyle rap battle. Neil laid down maybe the greatest verse. Uh, of all time here on the show, so wow. I want to have just a uh, head-to-head battle. We'll get involved, of course. But. Certainly, I, I'm up for new things. I mean, I'm no Usher Raymond, but I'll certainly <laughs> give it a try. <laughs> uh, Engineer Cody, I'm going to need. Uh, oh, now you Lord. froze last time I asked you for one word, <laughs> and it took a really long time for you to come up with even one. And all you did was looked at something in the corner and said that. <laughs> Clear your mind, as they say. Don't think, right? Just come up with one word. What do we got, Engineer Cody? Don't look in the corner at what's over there. They also say don't look. Don't think and don't, <laughs> don't look. Don't speak. Don't breathe. Think, yeah, don't breathe. Engineer, what uh, What do we have? Butter. 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 Very good. Mm. All right. So uh, I, I kind of want to mm. save uh, these two for the end. So, uh, Alan, what do you say uh, you start us off here? Oh, really? <laughs> Or it could be you me. Don't, you don't want to warm it up? I'll warm it up. My name is Rappin' Scott, and I'm here to say <laughs> it's fun to rap in a butter way. Creamy, creamy, creamy. Dreamy, dreamy, dreamy. <laughs> Spread it on my toast. Yeah, I love it the most because I like to get fat by eating toast every day. That's where it's at. I think that when I spread it, that is where I like to put it on my bread it. Yeah, I went on Reddit and talked about <laughs> Reddit. But you know what? I like peanut butter without nuts, because I like looking at butts. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Very good. I mean, I'm traditionally the worst at it. Right. Very good. Certainly. All right, Alan, what Ooh, do we got? Butter. There's a pain that's growing in your arteries. And guess what, guy? It's because of me. I'm butter. I'm going to kill you too soon. <laughs> you eat too much. You eat it with a spoon. Why don't you slow down? Eat a carrot, for God's sake. <laughs> 
<laughs> sort of a. Is that do you? Is that part of it? You yell exclamations. Yes, of course. Yeah, advice. Am I middle. supposed to swear? Oh yeah, please do. Hey, go to hell, you. <laughs> How do you? <laughs> You're big and round. Gonna take you to the pound where they take stray dogs. <laughs> You know, this is very difficult because uh, yeah, it is very difficult. You know, the the uh, the, the chord structures, the sure. the rhyme scheme, everything is unpredictable. And, oh, of uh, course, yeah. You know, I like things that are very predictable. Yeah, of course. Yeah, if you were to sing a song about butter, one of your theme songs, what, yeah. how would it come out? Well, I don't know if I could do that with this backing track at the same time. Mm, well, I say give it a try. All right. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, looking for something to spread on your toes. <laughs> well, this is this is very difficult. It's taking me. I feel like it's taking me to a dark, emotional place. <laughs> oh no! That sounded very ominous, and it made me afraid of breakfast. Yeah, well, this is a minor key. It is a minor key. Yeah, yeah, it? and you're you're usually not afraid of breakfast. No, I'm. No. <laughs> Does Normally, it have any effect on you at all? No, I'll, I'll wake up, uh, remember that I'm alive, uh, mm -hmm. start singing in my head the Fact of Life theme song, mm -hmm. uh, go down, make myself some breakfast. And then you'll look at it and not be afraid of it. That's right. I'll have a, a bowl of uh, sugary cereal, mm -hmm. a glass of juice, mm -hmm. uh, two slices of toast and butter, <laughs> a large glass of milk, okay, and uh, two Pop-Tarts. It's everything that you see on the television commercials. <laughs> okay, great. All right, well, great verse. Should I give it another try? Sure, why not? Well, I don't want to hog anyone's time. No, yet. we have a ton of time. Oh, is Please. that so? Yeah. The time to burn. Yes, of course. So it's not like when we were doing pains. <laughs> and here we go. Jam, fuck you. You'll never beat butter. <laughs> why don't you come out of a cow's udder? That's what I do. I'm butter. And all, all comers and come, all takers. Oh, ugh, I can't. I'm sorry. I just. <laughs> hey, it's not bad for an old very, man. Very good. It's very you know, difficult. You're no, no well, you're no Robin Thicke. Oh, no, that's true. Or Pharrell. That's true. Yeah. Who? Okay. <laughs> all right, let's go over to Amy. Oh, this is, I, I honestly have a stomach ache. <laughs> what? I honestly. You're the best feel, at this. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm with the best. Yeah, that's I'm true. I'm with the best. All right, here I we like go. I feel like I'm going to throw up. Okay. <laughs> You've had a lot of time to stew have, on this one. But that's almost worse, right? Yeah. To have time. Do you want a different suggestion? I feel as if I did, but what, how come she gets a different suggestion? <laughs> if you want, Cody can come up with something something different. I feel as if Cody had a pat Whatever of butter want. in his pocket and he was, <laughs> he was feeling he was it like the, the hobbit. Show. He was reaching into his hand, <laughs> trying to come up okay. with a stall tactic. The suggestion is butter. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Wait, are you doing a Maya Angelou poem? I'm just finding my beat here, <clears throat> getting my, clearing my space, getting into my rap battle pose. Here we go. 2013. Paula Deen's a motherfucking racist. Makes food and says, let's taste this. Dropping and bombs all over America. She's got a problem like Comerica Bank, which doesn't have any more money. No more money. Isn't that funny? You can't get your cash. You can't buy a car. You can't go to Spain. You can't travel far because you're broke. You're broke. You're broke. I spoke. I spoke words of wisdom and that's no joke. Butter and jam. Butter pecan. Butter is off. Butter is on. Butter be good. Butter be bad. Butter be the best motherfucking thing you've had. And now I'm going on a diet. I think you should try it. I'm not gonna lie, it's hard to eat healthy in America. Cause poor people can't afford real food, real food. I'm in the mood. So, Paula Dean, Queen of Me, it's not my scene to be so rude and butter and butter and butter and butter and butter. I fuck a butter face. Yeah! That was, oh. Crank up the machine. That was incredible. Shots fired. What I what I also enjoyed about that was that it had the the social commentary yeah. that is uh, common to hip hop rap music. <laughs> And I like that the Queen of Mean is no longer Lisa Lampanelli. It's now Paula Deen. <laughs> well, who inherited the mantle from Leona Helms, of course. Of course, yeah. <laughs> All right, Neil Campbell, here we go, butter! Oh, hold on. I'm coming <laughs> up with it. Here we go. Is that part of it? Comedy Bang Bang 2000. 13, 13, 13, 13. They say butter comes from milk. But I'm not of that ilk. I think Butter is a movie, and I think that it stars Rob Corddry. Milk. Hey, 
That's a movie, too. It's got Sean Penn. What you gonna do? You can rent that one with I Am Sam and watch them all night. Yeah, that's my plan. If you go on a date with me, it's a double feature with those two movies. Then you'll see me make some butter, too. I'll make it in my pants, then I'll put it on you. I'm sorry. That's not what I meant. It may have sounded sexual, but it ain't. It was just about making popcorn. I make it in my pants because they are extra warm. Out. They got too much room and I put a churn in there and a loom, a loom, like Arachne used when she pissed off Athena all those years ago in Greece. Grease in my pants, grease on my face when I learned how to dance. I did that on Broadway in the musical that I played in all these years ago. I don't know where I'm going with this song, but I remember we were talking about milk, milk and butter, and San Francisco's where it took place. James Franco was there with his face. It's so pretty, I hope it don't get roasted, but I think Rogan is gonna do it, and it'll be toasted. That's what I put my butter on. Toasty butter, and I like to keep it warm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it. I'll say goodbye. Okay. Thanks, everybody, for he and here. Bye-bye. Okay. Oh. Oh. Wow, that was good. It's tremendous. That was so good. There were yeah. so many topics. Yeah, yeah. yeah I really... Too many, some might say. Decidedly less about picking up young boys by the pool yeah, than I, last I, I time. Yeah, I decided to try to avoid that topic this time. <laughs> Some great raps, everybody. Oh, good raps. Really good, good stuff, raps. guys. I think, yeah, I think Neil's still the goat. Mm. I think you guys are tied at this point. Okay. You know, like, I, I can't come up with a winner. I think we're looking at the two co-champions. Hard to, This is a clip. And this is from episode 191, which it was our holiday episode last year. Oh, Merry Christmas. Did not make it into our top 15 nor our top 20, but that, uh, that already was a great episode. That was yeah. a, a star-studded one as well. This is a little chunk of that episode. This is uh, our musical friend Bjork dropped by. Oh, sure. From Iceland. From Iceland. And she wanted to sing a uh, Christmas carol for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, people, I think it's apropos of the season, and people uh, requested this bonus clip a lot. So let's hear that. This is Bjork singing Silent Night. B -b 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 bonus <laughs> clip. So I was hoping to play uh, uh, my rendition of Silent Night, which is a mashup of my song it's oh so quiet. quiet. You yes. know it? I do know it, yeah. I love that song. Big hit. Good video, too. Yeah. Well, this isn't going to be the video, okay? <laughs> oh, okay, we use... It it's a podcast. He was just saying that he enjoyed the video. Not every right. compliment is... Well, I enjoy someone who's not you. Oh, God. Wow. We really got off on the wrong foot here. Wow. Harris. <laughs> Fuck. Like you, it's Bjork. almost like he's heard the program before. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, or people just really hate me right off the bat. All right, so you want to sing Silent Night, Bjork? Yes, and I won't be representing it in any video visual way. I know, I wasn't <laughs> saying it's impossible. that. No audio, no AV equipment here no. at all. We know. No umbrellas. Unplugged acoustic <laughs> performance. So this is a quite a treat. Bjork with Silent Night here on Comedy Bang Bang. Let's hear it. Silent. Night, shh, holy night, shh, oh, is come, shush, oh, is bright, shut the fuck up! I do I had to do this a baby Jesus he's trying to sleep You keep making noise you stupid fucking shepherd Bunch of fucking fucking alcoholics <laughs> Fuck your sheep shut the fuck up Holy infant kingdom What the fucking problem? The baby did it! The baby did it! 
What an incredible acoustic performance. Number three. All right, number three. Here we go. Mm. This is from episode 200. Right on the 200 mark. A milestone. It is a milestone of sorts. That's right. And uh, this is an episode, Paul, called Halfway to China. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, this episode, we have Jason Manzoukas. Very funny. Um, and in this instance... In this episode, we have a gentleman named Cactus Tony. He's a curious fellow. He is. Now, um, we're going to hear a little bit about him. Um, he, in previous episodes, Don DeMello is a theatrical director. Here's a little setup. Um, he is a theatrical director who has a, uh, a children's theater in Pasadena. Mm hmm where he does shows based on Disney animated features. Yes. But um, as he puts it, there is always a little something for daddy in these, meaning he he gets the kids in there, but he gets their their fathers in there and then gives them a little part of the show for them. Can I can I rephrase? Mm -hmm. uh, because I think this is this is a more succinct way of okay. putting it. He just slaps the word Disney's in front of some old fairy tales, and then what happens when you get in there is a live sex show. <laughs> okay, you're right. That is right? a little better way to put it, yeah. a little shorter. Yeah, yeah. So now we've heard from him a lot, and he always referenced his uh, sort of right-hand man, Cactus Tony. Mm -hmm. We had never mm -hmm. met him before. Mm -hmm. This is our first time meeting him, all right? And Cactus Tony had a lot of odd jobs to do during... Um, during Don's productions, and one of them, I believe, was daycare. Yes. Um, meaning, at certain points, the kids would just kind of be shuttled off, and the uh, gentleman... This is when the live sex show would essentially <laughs> yes, begin. exactly. Yes. He would be taking care of the kids, mm -hmm. and he was negligent in some of his duties. He wasn't great at it. He was not. So uh, we're going to hear a good chunk of this episode. This is from episode 200, Halfway to China. This is your number three. Number three. Cactus well, Tony, I want I, I want to figure out exactly what's happening because I, I hadn't heard this story. <laughs> I guess what happened Which one? the story about uh, these oh, these the children, the Rottweilers. Basically, yeah. what had happened was uh, was it a different production? It they was not it Disney's the Peter papers. Pan. They huh. covered it in the. I don't think you're reading the funny papers. <laughs> by the way, I think you find horrible news funny. I think you're calling the newspaper <laughs> the funny papers. Yeah, that's that is a great that's a great point. Uh, yeah, well, because you see maybe that it has pictures or something like this, so you think, yeah. oh, this must be the funny paper. I like the funny papers mostly. I, I mean, I appreciate art and drawings and stuff like that, but the funny papers with photographs is the best kind. You okay. read about the Serbian conflict in the funny papers. That's right. So um, so you're you're watching over these children. This is not Disney's Peter Pan anymore. So the Rottweilers are no, there with you. this happened on the Wizard of Oz. Disney's okay. the Wizard of Oz. And so the Disney's Rottweilers are, the Wizard of Oz. are yeah. there with you looking after the children as yeah. you take your break. What are you doing when you take the break? Are you seeing Zippy? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, yeah Zippy came by, but also uh, I have another job where I give, uh, over at the Arc Like Movie Theater, I give hand jobs. And I was down there. Uh, right, and you were not here earlier, so. <laughs> What's that? You were not here during the first segment, so uh, that's so coincidental. That's so, you what were, are you talking about? That's interesting that you mentioned that. Yeah. Why? Well, well because, because Scott had, was making the point earlier that. That every movie theater, and, and that uh, <laughs> any movie is being played, there's someone getting a hand job. Oh, well, I don't know about that, but I had a job giving hand jobs at the Arclight movie theater. Who yep. pays you to do this? Oh, the, the manager, the night manager over there. The night, night manager? manager? Right here in Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The night manager at the Hollywood Arclight. Now, to give him a hand job or to give patrons hand jobs? Uh, anybody I'm told to give a hand job. Sometimes it was him, but all, a lot of times it was patrons. So you would just slip into the theater mm -hmm. in the middle of a movie, sit beside a man. The manager would point to someone. <laughs> Right, mm -hmm. and you would then just kind of sit next to the person. I'm, I imagine if anyone were to sit next to me in a movie, in the middle of a movie, I'd kind of be like, "Who's this weirdo?" Uh, Does that happen a lot? Or yeah, especially okay. if this this weirdo is top to bottom covered in snakeskin. <laughs> right. Sure, and then you, you well, you, then you you just have to know how to handle the situation. I'm and a it's professional, sweaty so as I'm much as you are. <laughs> I'm frequently sweating a lot at that point in the night. I say to him, "What the fuck are you looking at? I'm here <laughs> to give you a goddamn hand job." 
And then we take care of business. And sometimes it's a hand job. Sometimes I'm flipping through a vagina. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. You know, and now you were not here earlier. What's that? So you were not here. So that's so interesting that you would use the earlier. colloquialism I guess, that I, I brought that, up. I, you know what? Yeah. I guess that is a phrase. I'm sorry yeah. I questioned it. I know. See, you, you, I you guess, don't have my back a lot, Jason. No, I have you're to right. Say, you're you right. Know? Um, now, what I want to know is the Arclight doesn't have a lot of late night movies. So uh, this is an early job for you? Yeah, it's an evening, evening type of situation. Sometimes you know. they go to like 2 a.m. They'll show a midnight movie. Right, okay. <laughs> so you're you're in the middle of the night over here at your other job at the Pasadena Fairy Tale Theater. Yeah, you that's slip right. out the back jack, crawl through that window. Right. And then you go I to the... I say, Rottweilers, you're in charge. Look after your <laughs> children. And if, if, believe me, next time I will say, and please don't tear any of them apart. Now, but, I have to say that Pasadena, where the Fairy Tale <laughs> Theater is located, and the Arclight are about 20 minutes away. So this is n- an, a hand job, and I'm and I'm, I'm pretty just, sure I'm actually pretty sure you don't have a car, otherwise you would be living in it. <laughs> right, and I'm estimating a right. hand job takes at least three minutes. So add that I'd into say the mix. three to five. Yeah. Okay. So we're talking. You're gone at least in. I mean, if you're walking, well, you're probably, maybe you're hitching. It takes you a little time to get a ride. Sometimes I, I take the bus. You 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 take the bus, bus from Pasadena to Hollywood? Sure. You're gone just to give. A, how many hand jobs can you give? Or is it a what single hand job? What do you mean? How many hand jobs? I can give an infinite number of hand jobs. No, no, I mean... I, I wouldn't want to put a number on the number of I mean, hand jobs. How I can okay. throughout the, throughout the I course of my life. <laughs> no. If I gave... Let's figure it out. If I'm okay. awake... I mean, I can be awake usually 22 hours a day. I'm awake. Okay, sure. I that is give, unhealthy, by the way. <laughs> no, that's that fine. It works out fine for me. And if we're saying three to five minutes, you can You're give saying 20, three to five minutes 20 for a hand an job? hour. Maybe for an amateur. So that's... I can do a hand job in uh, <laughs> usually about... 90 seconds. Really? Just like what? Three pumps and you're out? Yep. And I can, I can flip through a vagina <laughs> in half that time. Wow. Really? I mean, it takes me longer to flip through a People magazine. <laughs> well, you don't know what you're doing. Wow. So that's hundreds a day. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, but wait. Like I guess what I'm getting at is yep. when you leave the Pasadena Fairy Tale Theater, look mm-hmm. it up, Google it. Um, I still want to figure out how many of these hand jobs I could do over the course of my life. <laughs> So well, I mean, I we're, think, I figure we'll I'll be alive to, another three years. It's, it's I was around. Gonna say we're gonna have to talk about seems life about, expectancy for you. Yeah. Three hundred a day. So okay. So we're we're talking. There's about a thousand days in a year. No, I get to. <laughs> no, there's not. Maybe <laughs> not maybe true. the way you're living there are, <laughs> but there's it three. Seem. Feels like it. I gotta tell you, it feels like it. But 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 it seems like ten thousand a year is is does my math so, yeah, check yeah, out? Yeah, that, that's about right. I think ten thousand a year. So you know. So another so so thirty thousand in the next three years. Yep. How much do you get paid for one? Oh uh, well, it depends. Sometimes I do get paid. Sometimes I just get out of there with free popcorn. Oh. oh boy! And have you used the <laughs> have you used the popcorn for the popcorn trick? How's that now? Is it a prop for you? Is oh, that... you talk about put that dick through the popcorn box? <laughs> sure, of course. Yeah, we don't play around. We don't play games. <laughs> okay, the popcorn is sacred. Every once in a while, that'll happen. And somebody's like, "Hey, let, let me put it in the popcorn." I say, "We're not here to play fucking games." <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, all right. Calm down, Cactus Tony. <laughs> so, but my point is, is this is more than a break? You've left these children alone. That's what, for I'm, hours. That's what I'm trying to get at. Here's how it's hours. a break. By the time I get back. The show is usually still going on at the Pasadena Fairy Tale. How Theater. long does that That's show last? It, it very much depends on who's in the audience. And, because when we and, were talking to Don DeMello, sometimes this show would be over within 10 minutes. Well, the show but, itself, in terms of the scripted part of the show, yeah. that is a very uh, strip, stripped down version of The Wizard of Oz as you know it. Sure. We, it is very efficient. What, Dorothy basically it? gets to Oz and then all bets are off. More or less. Once they get to Emerald City, which is real quick, and we don't mess around with that witch because she's ugly. You know what I mean? There's no way. Sure, yeah. You don't want some ugly witch. I don't think so. Harshing the mellow over there. Right. Yeah. Uh, but but Harshing the mellow? Sure. See, you, you don't have my back, but hey, you heard about flipping through a vagina. A lot of yeah, people say true. it. You're right. You're right. But what I'm trying to say is he used to say that sometimes those guys were out the window like 15 minutes after the show started. No, I don't believe that. Well, what, uh, I guess if they don't want to fuck one of the girls, but usually they do. No, yeah. but I'm saying like 10 minutes in, they start. It's interactive. Five yeah. minutes later, they're done. They're out the window. Oh, I see. You know, so. Well, that may be true. But by the time I get back from my other job at the Arc Light, sure. there's usually some action still going on. And sometimes it's sloppy. <laughs> and it gets sloppy what, at that point? What constitutes sloppy, I wonder? Well, like if somebody is a uh, little bit drunk or something like that, or mm-hmm. uh, somebody mm-hmm. probably shouldn't have been let in that window in the first place, and it's hard to get them out, hmm. you know, the, the, oftentimes the evening winds down sloppy. Yeah, it's hard to throw a patron out a window. 
That's correct. A small bathroom window. Mm-hmm. Yep, you got to get them way up in that bathroom. And Can I just say, window. Cactus Tony? There you, is, you can say whatever you want. Thank you so much. There is there is a Pasadena arc light. Seems like it would be closer. <laughs> Is it just because the manager has an affinity for you at the Hollywood one? Well, it's funny you should say that. <laughs> oh, it is. Okay, this has led to a funny story? Well, no, I don't know about that. But I've been saying for the longest time, hey, buddy, can I get a transfer to the Pasadena <laughs> Arclight? A transfer? transfer? Are you an official employee? Well, I work for this manager, yeah. But he tells me he's got the best fucking hand job guy and uh, oh, vagina okay. flipper in the world uh, down there at Pasadena. Oh, okay. you should get rid of you should. That guy needs, that to, guy go to, needs to go to China. Of course. Well, Look, you didn't hear from me, but don't be surprised if you hear about that guy going to China. Well, Where would I hear about we this? We heard it from you just now. <laughs> would I read this in the funny papers, You perhaps? might read about that in the funny papers. You might pick up the funny papers one day and find man murdered, <laughs> buried alive. In China. In China. Wow. Was known to be boastful about his hand jobs. Oh, my gosh. Well, this is this is just a... Because you're right. It would be a lot more convenient to be able to go to a Pasadena arc like. This is a terrible story. So all these, these children What's terrible were, about it? Hang on. the children! What about them? They were ripped They're apart. Left. They're left. They've They're died. left with dogs as nannies. I left those children with those dogs... <laughs> Were the dog, One time. Were the dogs at least lactating so the kids had something to eat? I, as far as I know, they were not. That would make it <laughs> better? I, just, I don't know. That man. would make it better. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Well, Maybe the dog would have maternal instincts rather than such violent. I mean, and, and they're dogs you just I found. they did have maternal instincts. Look, we don't know what happened precisely. We know exactly room. what happened. We know at least that one, one or two dogs. or three of them ripped uh, a child apart. We don't know what that child did to deserve that. Uh, nothing. The kid, the child was just there to see a, a show with his father, right? And he enjoyed, he enjoyed the show up to a point. Sure. At which point it was let's get the children the out of the City. room. Sure. Up and there would Cactus Tony. So who who is going to jail? I mean, is anyone going to jail out of this? What Have you, you been able about? to? Is Don DeMillo not? Law? Is Don DeMillo not here because he he is in hiding? Don DeMillo is laying low. Okay. <laughs> until some of this situation blows over, okay. he sent me out here to try and get generate some good press <laughs> this is not He's helping improve you're, the situation you're his, you're his good pr person that's right this is not helping the situation <laughs> you know him laying low i think i'm doing a lot of good help here getting press is antithetical to laying low i would say but he told me to come out here where's he and hiding give his side of the story Where, where's he hiding where's the he griffith laying observatory <laughs> <laughs> observatory okay see this is not laying low <laughs> <laughs> You're doing more harm than good. Where is he in Griffith Observatory? What do you mean? I mean, what part of the observatory is He's in the is planetarium. He? Oh, okay. He's living in the planetarium? <laughs> right at the moment, yeah. Is he Until doing, things blow over. Is he putting on special shows there? Sometimes he'll get up there, he'll grab the mic, and he'll do a show about the stars. <laughs> I right. wish beyond anything else... Don DeMillo is here to tell uh, us about the show well, that he does about the he's stars. He's laying low, unfortunately. Yeah, Don DeMillo laying low. Uh, he, yeah. <laughs> I'm supposed to come out here and make things better. <laughs> okay. And so. I, feel, I feel I have done that. Because, listen, <laughs> Don, Don, Don is my employer. And I, I, can't, I know he's going to listen to this. I can't make him mad. I depend on Don for my living. Mm-hmm. How much you does know? he pay you? How much is do you Don make a, Do you make a good... Uh, you don't have to tell me an exact amount, but do yeah. you make a good living working for Don DeMello? Not obviously enough to buy not. a car. Obviously, obviously not, because you can't buy a car, and you, you, have, have, to, a, you, have, to you have to have a side job where yeah. you have to buy bus tickets, give hand jobs. I mean, and it, possibly it could get lucrative, but hand jobs, they oftentimes end up in a payment of merely yeah. popcorn. And not only that, but you well, can... that's great popcorn. That's the best popcorn in the world. <laughs> yeah, you can give 300 a day, but how many are you actually giving? Uh, usually one or two. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. So. so this is this is not good. It's, but I'm saying it's a growth business because I can do up to. It's a literally day. a growth <laughs> yeah. business. Are you talking about because there's penises growing <laughs> yeah. when a man gets aroused? Yep. yep. They become bigger. Yep. Well, in that sense, yeah. <laughs> and I but would if I do my job right, they're going to shrink again. I. <laughs> that's true. I would say that you are you are doing your job in the sense of you're shifting the blame from Don DeMello sort of over to you. And well, Don hired me. And I, well, not only that, but you are the one who is negligent and left these children with some sort of. Do you feel as though Don dog? is yeah, hanging you out to dry? What are you talking about? Well, I'm, now it's now Don is putting you out here as his surrogate to admit that it is your fault, and in likely, in all likelihood, you will be arrested and go to prison. For, no. this, for this child's Are you murder. Are kidding me? They can't arrest Cactus Tony. Well, you know, I wanted to, I actually have a little secret. What? To tell you. Don DeMello called me 
Oh really? Before the uh, before the show, I actually knew you were coming on. Oh that really? Whole, the whole thing about I didn't realize you were the cactus Tony that was feigned ignorance on my part. Really good job, Scott. Thank you so much. Like, Sometimes really terrific I, acting. I'm a okay. really good actor. I can sound like a dumb idiot who doesn't know what's going on. Because in hey, all really of now. in all of the stuff I've seen you act in prior mm-hmm. to this, you've been awful. Yeah, like legitimately terrible. Actor. No, that's me trying to yep. act like that. But you just now were like mm-hmm. phenomenal. Thank as you an so actor. much. Thank you so much. Am Jason? I being pranked by that Betty White show? <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of like that, except there's no Betty White, and uh-huh. unfortunately, at the end of it, you don't sign a release and you're not on TV. You actually go to jail. Oh come on. Yeah. What are you talking about? Well, Don called me up. And, uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to recount the exact conversation, but the word Patsy was involved. Fall guy, Fall I guy, believe. yeah. And he was I not know, talking about Lee Majors. I know a girl named Patsy. Okay. I don't think, <laughs> I don't think you're taking this the right way. You, you need to actually pay attention to what this is. I've yeah. got you. Because what he wanted us to do, and I clued Jason in uh, on this, actually, is he wanted us to uh, a, kind of uh, make a citizen's arrest here. And uh, also, he wanted us to get on tape, video uh-huh. and audio, uh-huh. a confession. Which, which is these cameras are not actually streaming any of this to uh, zapstraighttoit.com at all. These are actually cameras that. That are closed circuit TV cameras for yeah. uh, the police department. This, by the way, I can't believe I fell for it, is mm-hmm. the other interrogation technique we used to use in the Croatian Special Forces. Yeah. We would tell somebody, <laughs> you're on a podcast. And for the first time ever, it's streaming online. <laughs> Go and, th- make things mm-hmm. better for me. Got to be careful. <laughs> yep. Go out there and, and make my case for me publicly. Yep. Yeah. And then a uh, couple guys in there, usually a couple guys who yeah. have worked as comedians yeah. and actors for, sure. for Serbians. Yeah. For, ser- for Serbian for, comedians. Yeah. Serbian comedians. And one of them has. Who are, worked, it is a fact, the funniest comedians in the world yeah. is the Serbians. And one of them has worked with Sasha Bababui. <laughs> Dot com. Oftentimes. Yeah. And then uh, next thing you know, mm-hmm. you have given away all your secrets. Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. This is the second time I have cracked uh, in as many weeks. Yeah. So, Under interrogation techniques, classic interrogation techniques. Yeah. One of them is wake you up in the, in the car and ask you a simple question and get yeah. the exact answer. And what was the other one? This one here. What was it? How would you describe that again? You you told your guests on podcast for right. the first time ever. It's streaming, streaming online, right. and, and it's and go hosted help by out. two comedians. Go help make my make case my case for me. me. Yeah. Classic interrogation. <laughs> yeah, technique. Okay. Well, I'm this sorry, has Cactus, so many times. I'm sorry, you, Cactus, you fell God right into damn it. it. You fell into it. God damn it. I'm sorry, we cannot let you leave. Oh, shit. We actually have called the police. During that last break, yep. we, we called the police. It wasn't the a real break. It wasn't, no. It was a police call break. Yeah. Guys. And they're on I'm, their way. I'm not mad. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. I understand. Mr. DeMello wanted you to do this, and he's he's a very smart man, and well, I understand. Well, he can't it. go to jail, you know what I mean? No, he's, I understand. he's got an empire to run. Yeah. I get that. I completely get that. And there's no Have you ever been to jail before, Cactus Tony? Is this going to be your first time to jail? or is In that... the big house, as we call it. Uh-huh. Who's the we in that sentence? Man, you don't know any of the lingo. You don't know flipping vaginas. You don't know the big house. Come All on, right. man. It just sounds like you tell you to. It seems, seems like the way you say we call it is as, as if you've been to jail. I have I mean, I've taken a couple of, I've done a dime, you know? Oh, God. Yeah. Well, I was in jail for a little while, but I was. they had a program where they were promoting from within at the jail to become prison guards, and so I just transitioned into that. <laughs> and, really? Yeah. And how did, that, great how did program. that program work out? As a matter of fact, that program did not work out so great because. <laughs> really? Yeah, because those guards who had been prisoners. I had uh, evidently too much sympathy for the prisoners and wasn't, wasn't much into guarding them. But mm. anyway. I remember reading about this. Uh, they this, covered it extensively in the funny papers. <laughs> yeah, I remember. It was uh, every prisoner walked free. Mm-hmm. At this After one. rioting. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that was the upshot of it. Yeah. <clears throat> it was, uh, yeah, it was, a, it, was a, it was a prison walkout. Prison walkout. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I've never seen one and never heard of one. And a prison walkout. I mean, yeah, usually but, you, you hear know, escape, but this was, was just fine. a prison walkout. Those guys, you know, it turned out, all, just about all the guys that left from that prison that we allowed to walk free from that prison turned out to be just, they, they became regular members of the community, and some of them did kill folks and, and uh, rob things and stuff like that. But in mm. general, they were they were good guys. A lot of them did go back to life of crime. They were good guys. Anyhow. Anyhow. A lot of them did go back to a life of crime. And they were good guys and just integrated themselves back into society all by themselves. A, a lot, lot of them, them, like you, went back to crime. Yeah, that's, yeah. well, I don't know that I've committed any crimes. Oh, no, we uh, have. 
have you, you on tape talking about it. But anyway, uh, I got a question. I just got a real quick question yeah, for sure. you guys. Yeah, yeah, sure. no problem. What floor is this building on? <laughs> uh, we're on the fifth floor. Because I understand the police are coming in through that door. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, they're coming in but right through we, there. Yeah. I actually think we, unless we've changed studios, I think we may have established that this window Oh, right it's on the first floor. It's on the first That's floor. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, we're on the first floor. <laughs> okay. It's a right. very hard to... Uh, but I think that everybody who jumps out of it... The yeah. assumption is that they have killed themselves. Yeah, it's a I very think. it's a treacherous jump. That's part of the Although, problem. Although I will say this, mm-hmm. Don DeMillo did survive the fall. <laughs> he did. That's right. He did, He's the one guy he did who's jump able out to... the window. He told me about that. He <laughs> he had fallen on a pile of dead bodies. <laughs> right. And there uh, are no dead bodies out there now. It's it's a really weird window <laughs> where if you jump out of it, you can only jump out of it uh, the wrong way, basically, and uh-huh. like you catch your neck on certain things and you break your neck. It's really it's very treacherous. It's a, it's a one floor. Jump, yeah, but, but there's various obstacles. You're yeah. either going to catch your neck on, yeah, exactly. or you get impaled, or something going to yeah. get, get yeah. you right it's, through it's the heart. Dangerous, a lot of sure. spikes, a lot of offense with those metal spikes. And right, stuff. Yeah, you right. don't you don't want to be ju- jumping out the way. Oh wow, I just the the it looks like the police are coming through the door. Okay, yeah. guys, cool. well <laughs> it's been great and uh, <laughs> no, 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 wonderful to meet you guys. You so much fun. Keep talking. talking. No hard feelings. <laughs> I completely understand what you guys did. I get it. It's cool. Listen, Tony. Yep. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do this. Don't want to do what? <laughs> you don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'm going to walk out that door and say, hey, let's go to prison. Hopefully they'll promote me within and I'll be a guard within a year. If you're thinking that yep. you will be somebody who jumps out the window and survives, you, you are wrong. You will not. No, only one person out of a hundred has ever survived. is suicide. Listen, it's a one-story jump. I understand that your neck is in jeopardy and there's sharp objects <laughs> sure. down there. I feel like I could take my chances there. No, this is suicide. Please. I feel like, well, listen, I'm going to give myself an assisted phone. <laughs> Fall out the window. <laughs> no. I'd like you Nobody to have my hat, Jason. Jason, I'd what? like you to have my hat. I am honored to have this hat. Wow, what do I get? Enjoy it. You can have my pants. Oh, Hang no, no. Oh, you can keep those. Jesus. Keep those on your way out the oh, window. No, okay. no. I don't oh, want to meet God. my neighbor. All right. Well, well, oh, for you. Enjoy it! Oh! <laughs> oh, God. I had no idea that's where this was going. I had no idea. The humanity. Oh, oh, this is like, this is, I've terrible. now been a part of too many shows in which I know. somebody jumped through the window. Well, we should say, uh, policeman, uh, you can go home. No. We have it all on tape. But I mean, He's out there. He's out there. Why are we looking out the window? <laughs> we're, well, I'm just telling the policeman yeah, to yeah, be yeah, on yeah, here yeah. that yeah, he's sure. no longer in here. Go out the window. Go out and, the, go out the, yeah, he jumped out the window. Yep, don't jump out the window yourself because you'll never make it. But gosh, boy, that is terrible. Nicely done, gentlemen. <laughs> oh, Don. Oh, Don. <laughs> Hi, Don. Don DeMello's here. I d- thank you very much for taking care of that nasty piece of business. <laughs> well, somebody, you know. somebody had to go down. Yeah. For the dog thing. Yeah, I understand. No, I mean, you know. He seemed like a nice guy and through all of it, but a troubled, a troubled man, Don. Yeah. yeah a troubled yeah. man is dead now. He was bad news. I don't know who I'm going to get to uh, poke the girls with a stick now. <laughs> <laughs> was that part of his job? That was one of his. Yeah, that was part of his job yeah. description. Don, can, Don. I, can I ask you a question? Oh yeah. Do you manage the arc light in Hollywood? I'm just a night manager. <laughs> uh, Don, I have a question for you. Uh, now that all this cactus Tony business is behind us, yes. uh, I am interested in this show you're doing at the Planetarium. I wonder if you could yeah. tell me a little bit about that. I'd love to hear about it. It's all about the stars, I hear. Yeah. Well, it looks like I'm going to be able to come out of the my I come out of hiding over there. Oh, at the so Grand it's a limited engagement now. It's a limited engagement. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So uh-huh. see it while you can, everybody. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. Now, is this a bring your kids kind of scenario? You're more than welcome <laughs> to bring your kids. Absolutely. What we do is. Uh, for every person in the show, which is pitch black dark in there, you can't see a thing. I, I get you a girl, and she'll sit on your lap. And I get on the microphone, and I talk, talk, just talk some bullshit about the stars and the galaxies and all that bullshit, just in case somebody overhears. <laughs> but the basic thing of it is you're getting fucked in a chair in a planetarium. Anyway, that's the show. show. That's it? That's, yeah. that's the show? What do you call it? And what's show? it called? <laughs> It's just, uh, it's just called Come On Down and Get Fucked at the Planetarium. Oh, okay. So, wow, come see that. Maybe so, tonight might be the so last night. Huh? Based, tonight might be the last it's night. It's not based on anything. Huh? It's, no, not it's, not based dis- on anything. it's not Disney's Come 
<laughs> Come get fucked at the planetarium. That's not a bad it's idea. It's Star, <laughs> Star okay, Wars. Hey, yeah. Tonight only. Good note. Disney's Come Get Fucked at the Planetarium. Meanwhile, I, you know, and if, if, full disclosure, just in case somebody <laughs> that works at the planetarium overhears, I am on the microphone talking about, you know, there's stars up there and there's planets, and if you, 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 you know, you can see up there and there's planets and stars at night. And it that. is educational. It's very educational. So I, don't, if, but, like, I don't think there's a lot of crossover between people who work at the planetarium and listeners. I think they're too busy watching Enlightened. I should hope so. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, if that doesn't turn you off hearing me talk about the stars, come on down and get fucked with Disney. Now, I'm going to go out the window. I think I've got a good Disney chance. Done. No, no, I need to. Done. You, don't done. you don't need to go out the window. <laughs> the police stay here. The police are out there. Where Listen, are you? I get a real charge out of going out this window <laughs> that almost you everybody get... dies when they go out and bring out the girl. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let's look out the window. Oh, look. Oh, he's, he's he made okay. it. <laughs> Well, he's scampering away off of Cactus Tony's dead body. Oh, amazing. Well, oh, Don DeMillo has done it again. Number two. Number two. Here we go. This is from episode 238. This is an episode called Marissa Wampler's Birthday Pool Party Live. Oh. Yes. Oh, I'm not done. Oh, sorry to interrupt. Oh. That, was a, that was like a, a Batman and the Ride. I hope so. A roller coaster. Yeah. <laughs> I think I made, uh, maybe that was on Analyze Fish. I made a, a vow to never say that was like an emotional ro- roller coaster. I'm just going to say that was an emotional Batman the Ride. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Did that need to be a vow? <laughs> yeah, it was a solemn vow as well. It was not made in jest. Marissa Wampler is my intern on the show. She started th- several years ago on the show. Um, she was just a kid. She was just a kid. She was in high school. She uh, She's still in high school. She was supposed to intern on the show every single week. The very first day she was there, I started the show. She threw on the cans, the headphones, and started talking into the mic. That, and she just did the whole show. She she thought that's what being an intern was. It's crossing a line. Was being on the show. No, yes, you're just supposed to get wrong. people waters and exactly. stuff. Exactly. I have an intern Keep now. Shut. An intern now, Gino, who does his job wonderfully. He gets so many waters He's for people. I love Gino. He's so great. Yeah. So now, Marissa, not only that, but she never showed up then for like another three months or so. She drops by every three months for her internship. Yeah. Um, and then just does the show. Anyway, so we've talked. I don't ta- know how she's getting credit for this. <laughs> we've talked to her many times over the years. And, um,. Her birthday is in August, and we, on a previous appearance, we talked about how on her birthday, she was going to have a pool party for everyone at her high school. Mm -hmm. She's going to invite all of her friends, and we decided it would be fun to do a live broadcast from this pool party. So we did an episode live from the pool at her condo association, and um, just a little bit about her life, She, um, she has a stepfather... Seth, mm-hmm. who is, uh, in my opinion, kind of mean to her. Mm-hmm. Um, she has a teacher, Listler, who uh, she's in some sort of, she calls it a gifted program, but I have suspicions that it's just kind of like a, a program for slower children because it's in a basement and there's only 13 of them and they don't seem to study really anything uh, of note. Um, she also has uh, a boy that she likes who she scissored, uh, and then there's the girl that he likes. It's a long, complicated story. Listen to all of Marissa Wampler's episodes to really get the background on it. But this is uh, live from her birthday party, and uh, we're going to hear two chunks. Um, we're going to hear uh, a lot of uh, uh, I guess we're not going to hear two ch- No, we are going to hear two chunks. We're going to hear uh, Make up your goddamn mind. All right, we'll hear two chunks. <laughs> all right, let's hear them. This is your number 2. Number 2. That, so, that before happens. the break, we said some very inflammatory things. Yeah, I what? feel like we should follow up. I guess yeah. we do. Now, we we talked about this a little on the Wamptacular or, or the last time we were on the show, I can't remember. Yeah, last time. We Listler, you you mm-hmm. think the baby, you I don't even know how this would work. You this think Diane's craziness. baby might be your baby? I'm just saying. <sighs> I knew from some confidential medical records that I found that Where well, Diane is right. Where'd you find these? She's a sniper. I told you there's Easy ways to get there. She has that rabbit warrens all throughout Marina Del Rey. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sometimes when you drive over a pothole, you think it's a pothole, that's one of her warrens. Diane 
supposedly had a hysterectomy, so I don't know how she's getting pregnant. Yeah, months after she gave a, birth to me, she said, take it all out. Not for a medical reason, either. B, Just, I don't want it She says, I don't want it anymore. I store secretly my frozen eggs at the same fertility place that they what go to. What do you to. mean secretly? You're not paying by the month for no, that? No, I, I go in every night and put my eggs into the... Every That's a lot night. of You're eggs. How eggs many eggs night? are you unloading? That's too many eggs. No, the same eggs. That's Wait, wait you're just taking eggs. the same. You're taking the eggs out and then putting them back. You That's take them out right. for a drive during the day. What the hell is going on? I put them in a container with dry ice during the day. I don't like to. I first of all, no one knows they're there. Well, and not, now they all, do. I wouldn't trust them during the day anyway. But at night, while I'm sleeping oh. and I have to get rest, I I need to know that they're being cared for. Okay. Well, That's you know what? I mean, so I go crawling through the heating duct. And I, and I dropped them in, and then yeah. one day, always a sniper. Aren't two you? eggs were missing. Whoa! Okay. And oh, it okay. happened to be the same day that you and Diane came in. Oh, I see. So we just happened to go in there and take your eggs. Or are you saying it's our? Well, fault? Then we know they're viable. We know your eggs are viable. I right? would Absolutely. not. I would not. One hundred percent, they're viable. I would never, never. She's had no fewer than thirteen ectopic pregnancies. And a son named August. And Ooh. a son named and a half African American son named August. I don't. Wilson. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that August I Wilson Whistler. A father has a sense of what's going on with the wife. Now I know that this is not. I, I want you to test that baby when it comes out. I don't. I mean, I guess you'll I'm know not, if it has a mohawk. It's mine with frosted what? tips. Is it? If it comes out with a, moss, a mohawk with frosted tips, you know it's Lissler. If it comes out pre-styled, it's your kid? But yep. it's your baby and my baby. It would be our, your, and my baby. And I could oh. finally have a real family. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. It wouldn't be related It wouldn't be related to you at all. So this would be actually good news for you. Okay, this is kind of a, this is, is, this is a burn on you. I just threw up a little bit in my throat. Have <laughs> <laughs> you ever heard that? I've, guy, never, I've never heard that before. That's a burn? That's your too. classic burns? Wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> you threw up. <laughs> Your uh, but you didn't. It didn't come out of your mouth. No, I swallowed onto the ground. it down a little bit. I heard a guy say that the other day, and I was like, "That's a great indication of not being comfortable." The phrase is, oh, "I God. threw up in my mouth." Do you not know my that throat. one time? You didn't one throw time, up in your throat. One time, I caught Seth with a series of flashcards that it, were human that emotions. And he goes through them every morning. Like, and this is what a person reverse, looks had, happy. the had like a, a stick figure drawing. Yes, a, like he has to girl. guess. Happy. Oh, that's right. Sad. Frustrated. So he can read people. Oh. All right. To be fair, I, at, when I was a child, I, I grew up in almost sort of like a Sarajevo, Sarajevo like environment. You grew up I, in Booton, New Jersey. I know, but I was left in my crib for days on end without <laughs> human contact, without any kind of... I, they would come in, they'd drop the they, food off. They well, we got to go work. I mean, they had to work. I get I, it. Believe me, I get it. I'm... I'm the one who's living in a crawl space. I should have those flashcards. Too bad I'm so emotionally adept. Oh, too. You are not adept, honey. You are clumsy. Wait, well, you, but you know what? I don't care about you anymore because I have a new lover. Uh, oh, he's, is here. He, is he, he's here. He's here. Yeah, he's here. I'm going to have him. him. I'm having him care. zip line in from the corner over hey, there. Hey, Kareem! <laughs> you know that the, the condo's not going to allow ah! that. God damn it. Oh, God! Oh, he's whoa, coming whoa, in too fast. Oh, oh, my God! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, whoa. my God! God damn it! Oh, God! Ow. 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 That hurt. He hit Whoa. all of us. He hit all of us. How did you get all... How my pelvis. Ah. Kareem? Are you oh. okay? I'm very okay. How are you? Oh my God. How did... Wait. Were you guys planning that it's this whole time? You. I am... I am helping Miss Lissler with the setup of the uh, stage here. And uh, oh. I saw that this uh, uh, corner over here is a bit available. To have a zipline put in, mm -hmm. okay. so we have we created it. it. Yeah, I'm, if you I got to pay for this bullshit, I am going to be goddamn mad. Because this is all this coming is out of the school's budget. No, it is. <laughs> yeah, you don't even work there. Yep, exactly. Do you, do you have, exactly. Do you have a Warren <laughs> hole into the? I have uh, access to their QuickBooks. Yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah. Anybody can now zipline straight into the uh, into the pool. Cream, can I can I say that your falafel is delicious? Oh, thank you very much. Thanks for setting up that stand. People yeah, are really doing it. it. It is, Marisa. For you, everything is possible. God, I love this guy. Kareem, now, do you sell falafel at your 7-Eleven? We should mention that you uh, you and Listler met at your 7-Eleven yes. on on a yeah. day when Listler was. Describe your meat your meat cute, if you will. <laughs> well, I walked in to fill up a, a giant co igloo cooler. I slushy. noticed her immediately. And uh, he said that. Even though she was wearing complete camouflage. Yeah. I had on 7-Eleven camouflage, so I had just taped a bunch of chips to my body. Mm -hmm. But 
<laughs> I saw it a immediately. Sun, a couple bags of sun chips. I was like, did. there is a woman wearing a suit made of potato chips. I want to track her and see what she's up to. At first, was it you were trying to figure out what she was doing with the Slurpee machine? Oh, I, she seemed very untrustworthy. Okay. Well, then she broke your slushy machine. Oh, yes. And you were real pissed. And then oh, we yes. couldn't walk by there for, I don't know, three or four months. Mm-hmm. And then you I guys... Taped, I taped a picture uh, from my security camera up uh, behind the uh, cash register mm -hmm. to say, uh, beware for this woman. Beware she of this not good. woman She's covered bad, in bad, chips. bad person. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And, and then, then you guys went on a date. That's right. How did that even come about? I can't even... I mean, you have a picture taped of, of stay away from this woman, then all of a sudden you're on a date? How, how, what happened? Well, well he has a separate... Like a... What's it called? That glass that doesn't bullets won't the go partition? through. partition? Yeah. yeah. Proof glass? Where he usually does this cashiering, which is where the picture is. Mm -hmm. And one day I just appeared in there. You'd gotten in through the air ducts mm -hmm. again. And it, and it spooked him. Yeah, because this is... Um, a place where everything is safe for me. Yeah, sanctuary. And then um, I'm not sure how she got in there. I don't know what happened. It was like, you know, in the Batman movies, when the policeman is talking to Batman, he turns around, the Batman is gone. It's the this opposite This was like of the opposite of this. Yeah. I am just sitting there talking mm -hmm. to myself. I turn mm -hmm. around and this woman is there. Mm -hmm. um, and in four questions, I broke through this, the emotional wall as well. And we were friends again. Yes. Can, may I ask what those questions were? You may not. <laughs> okay. They but are. if she ever asks them, wow. don't answer them unless okay. you want to fall madly in love with her. How will I know she's asking You're them? not going to know. You're not going to know. Oh. I so, had no yeah. idea until question number four. And uh, questions one through three, I'm not even sure if they're relevant. They're gibberish. Yeah, but question four, uh, it, I immediately, uh, started everything weeping. changed started for weeping. me. Oh, okay. I, yes, I, I, I broke down and begins crying, yeah. and but also uh, is stirring in my loins. Okay. You know, it's, what happened in that, uh, behind that bulletproof oh, glass, Oh, we made love. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, we made mm -hmm. love. Wow. And then we uh, filled out a contract. Yep. And we went Post on series. Post love making. I didn't have the papers with me, Marissa, and sometimes... Well, I thought you said you always have to get a signature before you go forward. She I don't want to do any work I until I you get a signature. She did make me sign a blank piece of paper. Yes. Oh, but it's, this oh is, and then you Xerox. This is an example of my trust in her. I knew that she would not use this for ill will. That's mm -hmm. beautiful. All right. Well, I guess I'll do the introductions. I'm Dr. Seth Wampler. Hello. Oh, sorry about oh, what you said. Somebody's jealous. Sitting here like a jackass. Yeah, somebody's I'm, jealous. I'm Scott uh, Ackerman. No, I've, I've been asking you questions. Obviously, you, you must have heard the podcast. I or feel bad because... Because I feel as though uh, I'm being rude, but I've heard mm. all about all of you guys from uh, Listener. You, yes. You, oh, so have you listened to the show? You've, you've no, just heard no, Listler no. Talk I don't. Uh, I don't listen to computers or anything like okay. this. Yeah. Uh, but she's telling me all the time we are together mm -hmm. and while get, we are mm -hmm. eating dinner. She's telling me all about mm -hmm. all of you people. And I get most of my DiGiorno's uh, from that 7-Eleven. So I'm in there three or four times a day to get my DiGiorno's, oh, yeah. my cream cheese. Hot pockets. Hot pockets. She's very... <laughs> Pop-tart. Yeah. I, I keep saying like, Yo, these the are going <laughs> straight to your thighs. Yeah. And yeah. she still eats them. Yeah. What happened in that three months you couldn't get those DiGiorno's? Did you slim down at all? Or uh, Yeah, did. I, I she, did. You looked good for once. And I, I don't... Hey, her fault. No, no. I'm, but when I, that, what I'm saying He's is that... Just trying to encourage you that yeah. maybe you could stop being so fat from down below your Thanks waist. A lot. You know what, man? I'll take that right into therapy with huh? Whistler. I'm going to have to cocoon about that for like seven and a half weeks. Stop oh, being well. so fat. Kareen yeah. says women in, in Pakistan, it's a sign of great wealth to have thighs that are... Um, sure. Oh well, times you know what you top. know what else it is. It's also uh, pretty kosher to slam some uh, uh, airplanes into buildings. Oh, okay. Where he comes okay, from? So okay. okay. 9 okay. 11, never this one over here. All right, Look all right, all right. I don't same all you guys. Everybody okay. wants to come in here. Oh my god. Hold on. I'm, so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But I have to. Can I take the mic with me because I think oh. something's going on. Yeah, yeah. No, okay. go ahead. Take the wireless okay. with you. Okay, hold on. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so careful on that. Marissa careful going down the. Instantly started breathing very heavily. Anytime I move, Marissa just climbed is climbing down the rock wall. Oh god. Okay. Hold on. Hold on one second. I just saw two I just saw two people go into um the pump the pump room. The pump um, room? Yeah, what where they that? pump where they pump all the chlorine from the Listen, from the pool. Listen, Listen, and I were in that? there earlier. <laughs> Hold on. Creek. We, we called it the pump Creek. room for a different reason. Creek. Which reason would that have been? Uh, she's doing the Listler thing. She's yeah, you don't sense. have she to make the noise Lissler. of the door as Are you your own Foley artist? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. Uh, what, what are you what, doing what are you, here? Could you please give us some privacy? What's going on in here? What? What is going on in here? Marissa, what's what? happening down there? <laughs> well, all I see is a crumpled up pair of jams in the corner. <laughs> and, um... Jams? Yeah, and there's, uh, Danielle 
and then two two Asian girls. What? <laughs> just and uh, I don't know what was just happening, but I'm freaking out right now. Wait. Eric. Yeah, Jessica Wampler, why are you doing it here? Oh my god! Oh, Jessica Wampler, you're so get out! You're what so is happening? Lame. My name is Marissa Wampler! Ah. I can't believe this! Okay. What'd you think her name was? Jessica Wampler? That would no, be absurd. I was, just, I was just invited to this party. That would be I like guess. thinking that would be like thinking Eric's name is Jason. That wouldn't make any sense. Oh Sweetheart. my god, I'm freaking out! Sweetheart, <laughs> ask her if she sells us the card I gave her. What? Hard. Ask her about the card, oh, sweetheart. What is going on? That's not important right now, Sam. I think it is. That girl's feet is tiny. This is why is everybody laughing? This is not funny. Describe what you're seeing, Marissa, because we are not seeing what you're seeing, and the listeners certainly can't either. Okay. They've made a sort of nest okay. out of towels. In detail, please, when, especially when you're speaking of Danielle. A nest out of towels. Danielle's, Danielle's tits are akimbo. Akimbo? <laughs> they're, they're separated they're flopping, from each other? They're flopping to and fro. What is the shape of them? <laughs> they're, um, they're conical in shape. Um, okay, okay. The nipples uh, uh, look like tiny silver dollars. They're perfect. <laughs> they're perfect. They're, uh, in fact, there's a bright light coming from them. I, I wish I had brought my sunglasses. Okay, and there's two Asian girls there as well? What are there they doing? There are two Asian girls. They seem to be attending in some sort of way. Oh. Yeah, uh, one of them has a hand towel over their hand as a waiter would. Um, oh <laughs> I don't know goodness. what happened in here. Gunnerballs, how could you do this to me? Eric, are you down there? Um, yeah, yeah, I'm here, Scott. What, what, what's going on down there? Some sort d of... D uh, d I, uh, d d d yeah. Danielle was here, and um, she said she wanted to talk to me about uh, our breakup. In the in the pool house, in the pump room, rather. In the pump room. In the pump room. So um, so I came in here, and then um. It hurts. Then what happened? Please and, and talk slowly. Uh, Kristen and Katie came in with us, and and, and what kind of names are those for Asian people? They're American, American names. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. They're probably third generation at this uh, point. Have we anybody yeah. like a SMT? <laughs> Which one are you? Now, what's your name? That's Katie. I kissed you. Okay. And you're serving Kimmy, tea down there? Kimmy has, pro Kimmy has produced from God knows where her, her gigantic purse what seems to be a tea setting for 11 or 12 people. Uh, it's an uh, orange blossom. Uh, it's sweet jasmine. I'll, I'll take some tea. So, you Eric. You will not have any tea. Eric. I would be up at the bed. <laughs> Eric, why are your jams off? When um <clears throat> when we got in here um when we got in here, Danielle said she wanted to see something, and then she took my jams off. I just wanted to see his jams off. Oh, you know okay. what? That I don't sense. believe. Then any she took of this. her she took her top off, and I got a boner, and she said, "See, I knew it. You still love me." Okay, that's all. Uh, that's all I needed to hear. I want all of you. I want you out wait, of my pool wait, party immediately. But wait, Marissa. But wait. But wait. What? I said I don't. <sighs> What? I said I don't love you. I love someone else. I'm just sexually attracted to you. Oh, my He did God. say that. That is one of the most romantic things that anyone has ever said to me. Wait, wait. I have to clarify. You love someone else. Who are you talking about? Katie. What? <laughs> he said... <laughs> he said, I love you very much, and I said, I love you. Oh, my goodness. So, Eric, you are burning through the ladies of Marina Del Rey High. I don't know what's happening anymore. Uh, Choctaw, I'm sorry you had to have to see me this way. You guys want I, music right now, right? As to underscore this. Just playing just the two of us. Marissa, I'm not well, seeing really, you, by the way. Well, really, it should be just the four of us. Five of... There's actually five, five of you. with Kimmy, yes. including Sweetheart, Kimmy. Sweetheart, get out of there. If it's a negative environment, get <laughs> right, out of there you, for Seth. yourself. thank you, Seth. I'm getting right? out of here. I'm getting out of here. Okay. Hey, 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 Marissa, wait. Close wait, the door behind just you. Just get out of here. I hate all of you. Come on, back up, Come on, up, on back up here. Come on up here. Should I bring here. a tea up a Nobody wants you to no, no, I'll take tea. I love a good Jap tea. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Marissa, come on, come back up here. Use one of the tramps. Oh, okay. Get up here quickly. Okay, I'm here. Wait, Please. use the water Use the water cannon. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Ow! God oh. damn it. Oh, you know what? That was actually a really great idea to use the water cannon because I kind of felt like I got reborn there for a second. You got up here real fast. I feel a lot it better. was awkward watching you climb up that thing. Oh, too. Yeah. God. I'm so sorry, Marissa. No, I, feel I terrible. I, you know what? It's better that I saw it because yeah. I need to understand what's going on. I mean, obviously, Gutter Balls is, is not in any position to be in a relationship. No. And I think we knew that. 
Can you describe he his mechanical pencil? Well, it was as it was as thin and long as I had remembered. Yeah. S- excuse me. Can I just say I something? I cannot believe. Can How I just did you say get something? Up here? When we went to the prom, I said to you <laughs> that I thought we could make a very good couple, and that I had real feelings for you. Oh boy, here we and go. And then you said that we couldn't be together because you didn't feel that way towards me. And so I, I went out oh, and I moved on. Why did you say that, Marissa? I declared my love to you and I said I would go, I would not go to college so that I could be in town for your last year of high school. But you got into Marina Del Rey community. Why would you turn that up? That's what she said. Turn, turn, it, turn it down, it down usually, sweetheart. You turn it down. You don't turn it up. Whatever. And you said that I should go and do that and that you didn't love me and you, d- you only thought of me as a friend. And so I started going out with Katie Wong. Why would you say that? We've we've talked about Eric constantly since your first appearance. I, what? I had been watching obsessively the Kate Hudson movie, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Oh, okay. And this was on <laughs> Charlotte Listler's recommendation. you got to stay away from film. that movie. I'm with you. That's a, I was surprised. I, I and, got roped into that one, too. And I had followed all nine of the steps. And the tenth yeah. step was when he professes his love to you to say that you didn't feel the same way. And that's how you would really get him. I want to take this moment and I want you guys to face each other do a couple squats and then I want you to say to each other what you really feel over this Robin Thick song I'm sorry I don't have blurred lines wait do you is, need it I can give it to you it's too late it's Let's too late to is it. this the kind of thing you do at 5.30 in the morning this sounds more like army training by the way I want you to what kind of deep are we doing a deep squat or is there some sort of yeah. tire obstacle course that you're supposed to go through as well? it's yeah, a we- garbage can run do I? Am I spotting one that. of them or what? Sure, get behind, get behind your stepdaughter. All right, I'll get behind her, <laughs> sweetheart. You know how much you weigh below your waist, so don't tip back on. Should me. we okay. get Danielle up here as well? Or? I'm here. Hey. Uh, all right, yeah. God, you pushed up like, like one of those. How much jokers. weight can this thing hold? Let's all be like clear about Katie this. Katie should be here too. Yeah, how much? We we really because we all know how we all how much we all weigh. How much do your boobs weigh? Is oh that God! Possible to, just so we not, know if this is going to collapse. Or I not. weighed them once on a grocery scale, and they're about twelve point five pounds each. Yeah, I that's hope like, you wet wiped that grocery scale because that's disgusting. Couple of bowling balls. Size of a four wet wiped. I have a wet wipe for you. <laughs> I'll Which one are you? Katie. Katie. That's Katie. That's Katie. Marissa, that's Katie. I do feel Excuse like I should me, tell you. Nara, I'll take that. I do feel like I should tell you, Marissa, that even though I feel like you are the love of my life, yes, I have been having a prolonged summer-long three-way with Danielle and Katie. <sighs> Okay. Whoa. Okay, this is tea. It's very hot. Uh, Nobody I'll, wants I'll your the fucking tea. I'll tea, take the Kimmy. tea. I'll take Nobody the tea. Wants Sweetheart, I need. I, I, this so is Japanese tea. I'm going to take some of this. Please don't burn your lips, sir. <laughs> Thank you so much. Kimmy? She's not part of the three way. She Thank just so serves much. tea during she's, it. She's our tea girl. Kimmy? She just gives us. Arigato. Tea. Arigato, All right. Domo. All right, we get it. You spent time overseas. Yes, I did. Wow. All right, continue. Please continue with the sh- sharing of the feelings. Does it feel like the platform's shifting slightly? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Eric, Eric, what I want to say to you is that I wasn't ready for you to walk into my life and turn it upside down the way you did. And now that you have, I'm going to be changed forever. And I think it's best for us to sever contact. Starting Whoa. right now. Oh no! And um, sorry, what kind of tea is this? I can't. Uh, Seth, I am in the middle of an emotional breakthrough. Oh, sorry, breakthrough. this tea is so good. Um, it is so good. I, it, this 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 platform shouldn't be swaying Guys, the way that it's swaying. Guys, I don't feel <laughs> safe right now, feel emotionally like, or physically, on this platform. This is. Well, we, we've we've had a. Wait, everybody I, should get on the zip line to get out of here. <laughs> Move and on. also, oh, I do yes. also want to just say one last thing, and this is not exactly a plug, but it is something I want to get out of the way right sure, now. Sure, sure. Miss Lisler. <gasps> what? Oh my God, oh my God happening? what's happening right now? And since you've come into my life, yeah, this has been the happiest, most beautiful period mm-hmm. I have ever experienced. Shoot what? you in the face right oh my now. God. When my wife was murdered in front of me in my country. <laughs> I swore to her that I would never fall in love and marry again. I am now willing to go back on that oh promise. Oh is she going to haunt me? She will never haunt you. She would want me to be happy is but what she said. But is she a ghost, though? Could we she let this proposal happen? This is the most beautiful uh, thing I've know. ever experienced. This guy needs impressed. more info. I'm not impressed. I have this ring, and I would like you, Ms. Lisle, to be my wife. Can we be together in this state? 
What does that mean? What? what does that mean? Is it legal for us to be together in this state? I don't think it is. What do you what mean? Do you mean? What don't. do you mean? You could marry him? No, he's a foreigner. But I don't understand. You're legal. I'm a man. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, okay, hold on. We don't have time. Ah, we don't ah, have the time the to pull on this thread. No, no, no hold on. I want to. I, I want to thank Haley Le- Lear. Haley Lear, uh, who donated a hundred dollars to CBB. Thank you so much. And, and Danielle, do you? What, what do you want? Danielle, wanna... what do your tits have to plug? Yeah, um, I'm doing the Maria Del Rey dance competition with my Asians. It's um, oh Danielle and her dirty that. dynamic dancers. Yeah, what day is that in time? Stop and writing it down. It's next Saturday. Come, it'll be so much fun for you. Oh, we okay. have so much tea for everyone. Let's close up the. Let's close. Up the plug bag. Here we go. Closing the plug bag. Yeah. Ding, dong, ding, dong, Wait a minute. Ding, ding, dong, ding, the vibrations from the closing of the plug bag are causing. This thing is shifting. Oh, this thing is it's shifting. The platform is shifting. Grab a zip line if you can. Bonus. Clip. All right, let's hear this bonus clip before we get to number four. This was really good. This was suggested a lot. And uh, this is from episode 240, which is an episode called Hashtag The World's End. Edgar Wright, Mm -hmm. who is a great film director. He's directed uh, the Cornetto trilogy. You're talking talking, uh, Shaun of the Dead. Mm -hmm. You're talking Hot Fuzz. Uh And you're talking The World's End. The World's End. Now, uh, he also has directed uh, Scott Pilgrim. Versus the world. Uh, versus the world. Great movie. And um, he w- and his friends were in the sort of press cycle for The World's End. They were doing a lot of interviews. Mm. He's a big comedy fan. and He's he, a sweetheart. He's a great guy. He wanted to come on this. And not only did he want to come on with his stars, Nick Frost and Simon Pegg, two big stars, the likes of which we do not see a lot on this show. They don't need this shit. They don't need to come on this show. No, hell no. Not only did they he shouldn't have. Not only did he want to bring them, he wanted to do it in the style of this show. Meaning he wanted them to do characters. Simon Pegg and Nick Frost are doing Sean Connery and Michael Caine, and they had a thing where they said in the middle they were going to switch characters, which they do. Clip. Comedy Bang Bang, we're back here with Edgar Wright, and uh, looks like Simon and Nick took off, but um, hey, I'll talk to you about the film. So it must be great being a director, I guess, right? I mean... It's, it's, you know, it, you get to sit in that chair. The, I mean, they have a whole chair you know built what? just for your profession. I don't actually sit in my chair that much, actually. What? I, um, you know, I... I, I oh. Oh. Are oh. they back or no? Excuse me. Oh. Is this where the podcast is happening? Oh, my oh. God. This, I cannot believe this. Two two giant stars oh. just walked into this oh. room. I was just outside with my friend Sean. Yes. Michael Caine? Good evening. I have just been to have an MRI on my shoulder. It's Sean Connery yes. and Michael Caine yes. have just walked into this. Edgar, can you believe this? I know. Ever... I mean, I've never met you're, either. Either of them. You're, like, you're uh, welcome. I don't, I think you're... <laughs> now let, let's just get some. Who are you? I'm the director of uh, a new movie that's coming out today called The World's End. Never oh. heard of it. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> um, What's that about then? One of the uh, um, another one of your um, yes? uh, James Bonds is in it. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, can I be in one? Yeah. Ye- um, Do you want to sign my cast? <laughs> yes, I'd love to sign your cast, no, for sure. What, the you entire are cast? <laughs> <laughs> why, do, well, yeah, why do you have a cast? Uh, I hurt my uh, arm playing golf. Oh, you're a big golfer. Oh, right yes, there. I'm often on a golf course. Is that what you do now? It seems like you've retired from acting. Pretty yes, much. pretty much. I just play golf. Yeah, wow, that's incredible. Well, thank you. And Michael, I haven't seen you in any film that's non-Batman related in a long time. Well, you know, you just sort of do what you can to keep the walls from the door. Uh, a lot of the time, I just stay home with Shakira fucking. <laughs> you are fucking Shakira right now? Yeah, she's my wife. I had no idea. Oh. My, I mean, you're a huge star. I don't know why it surprised well, me. Well, what happened was, a long time ago, I was leafing through a magazine, and I saw this really classy bird on page 57. I sought her out. Her name was Shakira. We got married. How's your father? <laughs> so wait, so you see her. How is your father? He's dead. Oh. oh, so sorry to hear that. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. So you see Shakira, you don't even know what she does. You don't even know her name. You just I just like saw her. Look. She was advertising some kind of booze or a diamond ring or something. And uh, I just called her up and she was like, hello, Michael. And, uh, and we got it on. Wow. Uh, amazing. Yeah. And then married how many days later? Uh, that was that day. That day? Oh. Same day. You yeah. fucked her and then you married her the it's same day? No, we got married first. I'm not a pervert. Oh, okay. I'm is, so she sorry. The, uh, is she the hips don't lie woman? 
You, which she was in the man who would be king with oh, us yes. in the end. Do you remember? Which, I think she played Roxanne. Yes, that's right. That's a good I, film, isn't it? The man who would be king. That's the only th- film that you guys have ever starred yes, in together. If I'm we... getting my movie trivia. That's correct. right. But we've never spent a day apart since we shot it. <laughs> <laughs> really? So wait, you were there the entire time yeah. that Sean here filmed Indiana Jones and the Last yep. Crusade. Yeah. I was there every day. Every day we used we, to. Uh, why weren't you in the film? I couldn't be bothered to be honest. I had stuff to do. It was mine. So uh, he's the one that came up with a line, Junior. Oh, that's right. That was mine. What what made you think of that line? Uh, I was thinking of mints, and Uh uh, I I wanted. I fancied a chocolate covered mint, and uh, I shouted out for the mint. That's the Junior. Junior. (laughs) <laughs> and uh, Sean uh, quite rightly said that's a good well, line for the well, film. Well, I, I just, I was leaving the trailer and I heard it and I said, that's that's bloody great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what if you had said Twizzler? I Twizzler? Mean, I know, it could have gone either way, couldn't yeah, it? It's Who knew? Amazing. Cinema history would have been changed. Wow. It was there on Jaws for the Revenge all yes. the time. Oh my goodness. Every day. Shouting, what? Michael, stop it for fuck's sake. <laughs> Blame it on listen. Rio? Uh, Rio, yes. Yes, yes. Rio. Yes. Yes. Dirty you rotten scoundrel. So, uh, so... You were there on set for Austin Powers' Gold Member. Oh yes, mm. yes, five days. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you did, really, Michael. Is just it was, five but days it was a very it. memorable performance. I no. thought the back of your head was really good. A lot of that was played by some little fucker <laughs> who I never got to meet. I wasn't happy with the casting. To be uh, honest. Er, uh, <laughs> let's move on. So, um, can I ask a question? Um, yeah, Edgar, uh, please. Sir Michael. Sir Michael. Yes, Edgar. Um, oh. uh, you are very famous for having yeah, a book about like uh, your guide to acting, yeah. and uh, I saw on TV when I was a little kid your kind of acting masterclass. That is right. Like, could you tell us about some of your yeah. rules of acting? Mm. There's one key to acting that I've there always enjoyed. There we go. You know this, Sean. You yourself. Yeah, yes. well, you've never spent a day apart. I would hope oh, you would no. know this. Are a great exponent of this particular method. We both of us use it. Yes, we do. We don't blink. We do yes, not sim- blink. Simply that. Just watch really? my performances. You won't see me blink, not once, not but even in Batman. Not even when I'm upset, perhaps because a young girl what a- has been stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> like in Death Trap? Or? Yes. What about, did you, how, but how uh, do you, I have a question, how do you stop blinking uh, in like a swarm of killer bees in the swarm? That was particularly difficult, <laughs> but I used a lens, couple of, had lenses, I had lenses in, anti-blink lenses, <laughs> which stops. It's like a small disc of perspex that <laughs> hangs above the iris. That Sean invented. Did, did you, oh, Sean, you invented yes, these. Yes, I did. <laughs> so when you came up with this method, Sean, you said, well, there's got to be yes. a technical way yes. to do this. Well, I was making my own at home, and uh, mm. I had a terrible uh, infection <laughs> in my tear ducts. Mm. And so I uh, contacted the company that made them for me. Oh, well, a lot of the time, we inform on each other's films. It was my idea to use the little green balls full of virus in the rock, wasn't it? Oh, yes. Oh, great, yes. great was, idea. Yeah, I, it's, I, thought it was, I thought it was like a bath bomb, <laughs> but would kill you. <laughs> Nobody escapes from the rock except me, and I did it twice. Yeah. <laughs> That's, uh, well, I wanted to improvise, but they wouldn't let me. I read that you came up with also the, uh, you're between the rock and a hard case. Uh, line. That's right. That was yeah. part of the, uh, the commercial advertising for the movie. Yeah. Uh, I've done a little oh, bit of advertising yeah. in my time. Yeah. Uh, I was actually leafing through a magazine once, and I came across a beautiful bird. Have I told this story? Oh. I don't know. I'd love to hear it again if you I'm have. not as sharp as I used to be, but I bloody try! <laughs> oh. So, are you are yeah. you guys ever going to start in another movie together? I mean, oh, I would I, love to see... I don't know. I, I didn't know you were guys were well, such they want to make. They do want to make A Man Who Would Be King too. Obviously, sequels are very important these days. Yes! Seems to be the only thing they're making in Hollywood. I just think it's a lot of furore about the royal baby. Mm. <laughs> That's what they want us to do. Yeah. Are do you they, uh, are you going for the um, uh, independence of Scotland, Sean? I haven't asked you about this. Oh, I don't care. I live here. You live in Spain, don't you? Yeah, I live everywhere. We I've live got in houses Spain. everywhere. <laughs> I'm a very wealthy man, thanks to James Bond. <laughs> can you say the famous line from James Bond? Yes. Which, yes which I, can. You, I would love to hear it. Go fuck yourself, Blofeld. <laughs> I love it. What an amazing performance. Oh, I love Thank it. You. Incredible. So, so, so Sean, so yes. Sean um, can I ask you your opinion of huh? the, the, the James Bonds that came after you? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a lot. <laughs> Let's go through them, shall we? Yes. After you, there was uh, the one, that guy that just did one. Can't remember his name. Lazenby. George Lazenby. George Laserbrain. Well, you know, I think... <laughs> George Laserbrain. I think George Laserbrain. Uh, it was a very, very brave performance, you know. And, uh, it's about two hours long. Of all, all, the only Bond to wed. And look what happened. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and it's very sad. Yes. Yeah. Did I tell you I met my wife? No. I'd love to I hear was leafing through this magazine a couple of years ago. 
I was on page 57, Ooh. and there she was. Mm. Beautiful. Lovely bird. I called her up. She just said, she said yes. And that's wow. it. And we're still together. Well, so lovely. she said yes to what? Will you marry me over the phone? No, she just picked up the phone and went, yes. <laughs> and you took that <laughs> to me. Do you know, is that not what she meant? Man, Have you not? kidnapped her? Kind of work. I might be a kidnapper. <laughs> Wow. So, uh, did they ever find out who uh, would be king at the end of that first film? I don't know. I think. I've never seen it. <laughs> well, you were in it. Did you, did know, you read I, the script? Yeah, I read, I read my bits. I re do you have like an earpiece like Marlon Brando used to have where people just say your lines to you and you repeat them? What? <laughs> okay. Hmm. <laughs> A lot of the time we were just drinking uh, and messing around with Christopher Plummer. Well, yes. Oh, Plummer. He's Pl great. Plummer's I love him. A, he's a lovely guy. He's back on top. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. well, I know Simon uh, Pegg, the actor, beautiful young man, does mm. an amazing performance in the world sense. Uh, he recently made a film with Christopher Plummer. He did? Which film is that? Called Hector in the Search for Happiness, out next year. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I've got high hopes for this. He's oh. a great young actor. Uh, do you Very do, promising. Can I ask uh, you... Uh, massive dick. <laughs> I mean, he's not, not personality-wise. Oh, I just mean, he has a his penis large is, penis? Oh, oh great. That's impressive. What, Michael, do you do any impressions? Is it blue? Yes, I do. I do an impression of uh, the actor Simon Pegg, funnily enough. <laughs> oh, really? I'd love to hear him. He All took right, off. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I've got to get the, the face and the voice right. Oh, You've got red on you. That, that was it. I, don't, got, I, I can only say the one thing. Yeah, is that a famous line from... I, I think uh, it's from his film, uh, uh, Hot Fuzz. Oh, great. Well, that's fantastic. Uh, Sir uh, so Michael, I don't, I don't think... Um, <coughs> I don't think... <coughs> oh, are you guys okay? Oh, sure, oh. yeah. Just uh, a slight coughing fit there. Just swallowed a moth. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Is there an echo in here? Because all of a sudden... Sean, can I ask you a question? Of course you can. So, uh, we, uh, we've talked about laser brain. Yes. But uh, there's Pierce Brosnan, who's in this film, The World's End. Aye. And uh, yeah. he was a Bond. As far as I know, he did four or five of these things. Yeah, I think he did about uh, 43 <laughs> of the Bond. No, he didn't. Did he not? No, he did. Which four. is Pierce Brosnan? Is that the little... Uh, the little uh, he's the, the Irish guy. He's the black one. <laughs> no, I Was he the black Bond? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Pierce Brosnan's not a white man's name, is it? No, very Jamaican. I think it was timely, though. I think uh, the, the franchise needed it by that time. I think yeah, we were no. bored of posh white boys. I am. Yeah. Aren't we all? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, did you, what, did you, uh, what did you think of uh, Roger Moore, who replaced you after Diamonds Are Forever? I thought he basically took the corpse of the role I created and fucked it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Sean. <laughs> Throughout the entire 80s, just fucked Don't it. Don't hold back. Tell us what you think. <laughs> I think... In many ways, he made a mockery of oh, the character oh, and uh, irreparably damaged it until along came Dalton, who I Polly. did respect. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah. And along came Polly, the movie <laughs> yeah. with Jennifer Aniston, <laughs> who uh, hilariously plays the part of Polly, a difficult-to-know girl. <laughs> Michael, I had, yeah. I had heard that you actually were up for the role in The Untouchables that Sean here got. Is that right? Well, you know, we don't really uh, argue about things. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Of course. <laughs> That's what we say. Who plays the goose and who's the gander in your I relationship? I play Richard Goose, a detective. <laughs> and I play Dave Gander, who is uh, another detective. A hard knock cop with a grudge. Yeah, I, I imagine the two detectives would get along really well because they have so much in common. Goose and gander. It's our new... Rated R. <laughs> it's our new film, isn't it? Yeah. Almost, uh, What's it rated R for? Rim Rubbish. jobs. <laughs> rum Did you say rim jobs? Did you say rum jobs? <laughs> yeah, I said rim jobs. Oh, right. I thought you said rum, for rim jobs. I thought you said rum jobs. Rum jobs. <laughs> what is that exactly, a rum job? Uh, it's like I, when you lick around the rim of a bottle. I think it's when you get uh, an hand job from Captain Morgan. <laughs> Well, guys, I love your friendship. Well, I, I love hearing about your lives. Thanks it's, very much. It's been great to come in here. Yeah, we why, have to why go. Did we you are going to miss our tea off time. Uh, we were just told to come in and sit down here. I thought it was a place for a prostate examination, to be honest. But <laughs> I was using your microwave to heat up some soup. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of soup, Michael? Heinz cream of tomato. <laughs> you can't get it here. I have to go down to Santa Monica. I understand. And get in the pub. All right, well, your soup is getting cold. I yes, thank you guys so Thanks much for coming much. by. Thanks very much. Thanks for having us. Yeah, why don't we take a break? Goodbye. Edgar, can you stick around? Maybe uh, Simon and Nick Good luck back. with your know. film, At World's End, young man. Oh, thank you. That's actually the name of Pirates of the Caribbean 3. Oh, fuck you. Number one. And it is an episode called Time Bobby 2. Yeah! The first Time Bobby episode 
won our countdown last year. That's right. This is the only time this has ever happened. Basically, this is uh, uh, our good friend Andrew Lloyd Webber, Lord Andrew Lloyd Webber. You heard him pretty early in this countdown Mm -hmm. uh, in number 15. He was just hanging out with us. And uh, as it happened in the previous Time Bobby episode, the reason this is a sequel is because of the people involved. The personnel. Um, I was just chatting with Andrew Lloyd Webber. You'll hear a little bit of that. And then a very special guest comes in who was in the previous Time Bobby episode. All right. So this is your number one episode, Time Bobby 2. Number one. And what has been going on with you, Andrew Lloyd Webber? Um, have you? I mean, you've been living in the merry old land of Ing. Yes, and, England, of course. Of course. Isle. And uh, it's, jewel. it's been a while since uh, we have spoken. It's been quite a while. It's been, of course, quite a while. <laughs> And uh, I, I always love to catch up with you because you're always up to something fascinatingly interesting. Oh, yes, aren't I? Yes, of course. Always up to something you, uh, fascinatingly interesting. I say, do you hear that uh, rap tap tapping upon uh, the, the... Our chamber door? Yes. Uh, it is a visitor, I suppose, and nothing more. Hello. Who's, where's that voice coming from? Hello. I, I'm looking. I'm looking in the space where a regular-sized human being, man, would be. Yes, I don't directly see across from our eyeballs. Yes, and, and I, there is nothing there. And yet, I distinctly hear a voice. You gotta look down towards the ground. What's that? <laughs> Scotrick, do you see who I spy? Oh, I, 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 oh my gosh! I think hey I guys. see it. How you guys doing? Oh, oh, no, hello. No, 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 it's a. No, no. uh, it's, uh, uh, it's dear Forville. It's, it's been a while. Oh, this thing. it's been. It's been. <laughs> Now, formally, it's you? been quite a while since we've seen yeah, you. I, it, yeah, it's been a long time, but it's good to it's good to see you guys. Well, now, I, I, am, I am paralyzed with fright. Yes. Please, you'll keep calm. Uh, do the other be. thing. I'm uh, sorry. I just wanted to start off by apologizing for stabbing you last time. Uh, last, last time you were on the show, you were, uh, uh, you, you uh-huh. were a, a, a frisky little boy. I, I yes. got a little stabby. Uh, you did uh, get quite stabby. But, uh, yeah, it's been a long time since then, so... It's been the worst experience of my life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's been... A, a long time since we've seen you. Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> dismissive Jimmy Stewart, no, of course. Didn't realize he was also dismissive. Uh, Very dismissive. Uh, I, uh, Forville, uh, the, uh, let me catch the listeners up on what is happening right now. Uh, one of the last times that Lloyd, Lord Weber, Lloyd Lord, uh, Weber Lord, and Lord, I, Lloyd Weber. Lloyd Lloyd Webber. Lloyd Lloyd Webby. <laughs> Webby. <laughs> Got together uh, a, 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 a tiny young orphan boy, Hugh. Hugh Jackman? <laughs> no, Hugh that I'm looking at oh, right that, now. Oh, I thought you meant to have. No, he's been to broadcasting school, so. Okay. Hugh uh, came into the studio uh, looking for scraps. Yeah, I was lost. You were lost, and you were looking for scraps, and then ended up looking for a father. Oh. Uh, Lord, Lord, uh, was about to... Lord, Lord. Little Lord, 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 Lord Webby. I was going to make you my ward. Yeah. Invite you to my castle. Yeah. To live in a gilded cage. On top of the world. That's, that's right. <laughs> Do you live on top of the world? Yes, didn't you know? We've never spoken about where what your actual address is. Yes. The North Pole? 500 top yes. of the world. That's right. If you, if you would like to send me some uh, correspondence, simply address it to Lord Andrew Lloyd Webber, the North Pole. I remember at one point there was a, a big court case deciding whether or not you were real. <laughs> And uh, someone from the post office came in and dumped a, uh, just sacks and sacks of letters to you. On yes. Uh, it was such a hassle. <laughs> they declared a mistrial. <laughs> of course I'm allowed did. to walk the earth as a real person. Are they retrying it, though, ever since the oh, mistrial? I hope not. Okay. What do you know? You should check in on that. <laughs> To do some web research. But first, Scott, let's not forget. Web research. You let's not forget we have a stabby orphan in front of us. Oh, I no, totally I'm forgot. Gonna, I got so sidetracked. I'm not going to hurt anybody. Un- I mean, unless you fucking go, you no, get were you, uh, This Forward. is the problem. It's the unless. exactly what happened last time. You said you weren't no, going to hurt us. And I then don't want to hurt unless. nobody. I just want love and some food, maybe some scrap. Like, if you have some flies, I'll eat those. But... <sighs> You have to, well, oh, really? Really, Renfieldian behavior from Forville. Uh, do you, can you still make the webs? I, it's been quite a while. But <laughs> Wait, how long? Yeah, it's been <laughs> since I was a child, I think. Uh, 
Engineer Frank, did we install the uh, metal detectors in the studio yet? We... Ah, no. Why yet. haven't you done that? I d uh, we have this open door policy. It's been on your honey-do list forever. It's been on my honey-do list forever, and I we still have not done it. Look, I don't want to. I don't want to start this again. I just want to be truthful this time. I am. I am carrying. How? Um, m how many knives are you? Carrying? Look, he's got. He's got a plastic knife. Oh, got a bandolier full of knives. A wooden knife. He's got knives of every. Got a, uh, yeah, butter knife. Not. F f it's actually made of butter. Oh my goodness! Really hardened yeah. butter. Yeah. My goodness, that's kind of cute. You hold it, it gets warm. And, oh, is that, well, is that an I icicle? Yeah. You have uh, an icicle in your bandolier? Yeah. It's the perfect murder weapon because the, because you the stab somebody melts. and then it melts and then nobody knows. Yeah, and but then you've so, also got a leg of lamb in there, a frozen <laughs> leg of lamb. Uh, yeah, I can't eat it because it's frozen or else I'd be chowing down. But I just wanted to let you know, I'm always packing. I can't help it because I'm from the streets. But. I do. Uh, the, if for for new listeners, yes, this is a young orphan, Forval. Yeah. And why do you call yourself Forval, or why did but you? It's like five. We'll put one less. Oh right, right, right. Of course. Uh, everything. Uh, I forget these things. I have a, my little brother's threefold. You <laughs> have family? <laughs> now wait a minute. If you've got family, dear boy, why are you running around stabbing people for scraps? Or they died. Oh, oh, I do apologize. You were speaking of him in the present tense. We, yeah, because uh, okay. I, I still carry him with me in my little my little heart. Oh, in your heart. Oh, I was yeah. afraid I he was in I, that bandolier. I also was afraid. Wait, parts of him are. We what? Just, are they frozen? No. Oh, okay. Just loose meat. <laughs> Scraps, in other words. Yeah. Relatively recent death this threefold suffered? A couple days ago, yeah. And uh, might I inquire, I say, ask trepidatiously... What might have been the cause of Threevil's demise? We, we, were, we were watching a movie, and he said he wanted to go sleep, and could you turn it down? I said, are you, are you fucking kidding me, bro? Oh, oh, no. Are you fucking oh. kidding me, bro? Oh, this is... What, what, what movie? I'm sorry? What movie? Was um, it something that had to be listened to loudly? It was the Throw Mama from the Train. Okay, okay, I understand. Loud train sounds. Yeah. Yes. Ding, 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 ding. Adds to the... Ooh, that's quite good. Thank that you so a, much. That was a good train sound. It's almost like you're watching it right now. I, th I thought there was a train coming. I was going to hop on it. Oh, that's what you do as an orphan. Yeah, a little boxcar. Can I ask you a question that I'm very, very concerned about? Of course. You say there's loose meat of your brother, Threeville, <laughs> inside your bandolier. Yeah. Uh... And and loose meat is scraps. Yeah. And you you it's heavily established that you're, trick. you're out there looking for scraps. Scotrick. Scotrick, you fucking. I I'm very alarmed at this uh, 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 conversational this line of questioning. Yes. I'm just wondering. If, Are you about to say what I think you're about to say? Ah uh, yes. Whatever happened to Jay Davidson? <laughs> oh. What what did happen to Jay Davidson? Do you I, know Forval? Yeah. You know what happened to Jay Davidson? Look uh, on the back of my bandolier. Oh my God! His Jay Davidson's penis. <laughs> this big surprise of the crying game. Spoiler alert! No wait, you recognize his on site? Yeah, of course I do. It's the most famous penis in the world. You know, that's a fair ever. point. <laughs> Why? How did you get Jay Davidson's penis? Um, I saw him. I saw him at the store one day, and I said, "Hey, you're Jay Davidson, right?" And he said, "Why? Why, yeah." What a voice he had. Yeah. Remember his melodious voice. He had a beautiful, uh, yeah. uh, akin to Jeffrey Holden. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. could have been the new Darth Vader in the new movies. Uh, he said, you look lonely. And I said, I need I need a home to stay. And he said, you can stay with me. And I said, let me see that dick. And I cut it right <laughs> off. But why? <laughs> because I don't want to live with that asshole. <laughs> you could have just said no. Well, I guess I could. But when you're on the streets, man, you got to think quick. You got to be on your toes, even if they're little orphan toes. Was his penis exposed in the store? This is what I'm wondering. What kind of store oh, yeah, is that this? Guy's a, question. That guy's a little freak, man. He walks around with his penis out all the time. What store is it's this? It's the only way people recognize him. Is this some sort of pornography store that you were at? Is that? Yeah, it was at the <laughs> pornography store. Lasex shoppy? Yeah, a latex shoppy. You <laughs> high end. Yeah, sometimes I go in there and steal edible panties to eat. Oh, oh no. now I feel bad for him again. Well, for I, 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 although you claim to me, pretty much know. my whole life is making people feel bad for me, so then I could live with them. Yeah, but so you're aware of it. It's I your, don't know the word as much as I just I know my you're place. Cognizant. Yeah, cognizant. <laughs> Correct. Well, that's um, I. I just I worry that you're out there searching for scraps, and what you're doing is carving up human beings and then eating them. Is I, I mean, never, just to lay it I out there. I never ate a human being. Don't 
don't slander me like that. I just, I mean, I keep them just in case because if, if it ever gets real bad, I might have to. But I, thank God it hasn't At gotten this point, to that you point have not. yet. No, you have yet to taste human flesh. Yeah, and it's just my brother, part of my brother, losing me and, and JJ, JJ with his penis. Yeah. That's all. That's all I got to far. So it's not like I'm, I'm a math murderer. Or Let me ask you this: if if you were, if it were to come to that, yeah. if you were in some sort of situation where there were no more edible panties to eat, mm -hmm. <laughs> shut up to think. What kind of a world would that be? That's a living nightmare. What would you eat? Alternate dimension. Which would you eat first? Would you eat your brother Threevil or would you eat Jay Davidson's Hwang? I'm not going to lie. I think I'm going for the brother because I ain't down with that gay shit. Wait, wait a minute. Forval, really? You're homophobic? A little bit, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you, you would miss it. I'm, I'm fully admitted of it. I don't understand it. I'm cool with it. They, they could do what they want, but I mean... I was walking down the street, and I yeah. heard the beautiful voice, and I thought, this is my time to come apologize. Yeah, so maybe this is the problem. Maybe but I, I shouldn't have you on the show anymore, what? Andrew Lloyd Webber. You blame me. Well, I mean, he heard your voice, and all of a sudden, here he is. You're saying I'm social, some sort of a, 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 a stabby orphan lightning rod? <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I was outside when Weirdo Yankovic was here, but I gave the respect to that man. Oh, okay. And yeah. I didn't come in, but if you don't hear from Weird Al again, that's not... Now I say, wait a minute. Why does he deserve respect and we don't? Well, honestly, because you guys fucking punked me over last time. <laughs> I, was here. Please, please, please. I think I mean, you're bearing the lead. You gave me. He, he just intimated that he has murdered to death Weird Al Yankovic. What? 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 He said if we don't hear from him again. The, do, do you have anything else in that in that uh, wait have you, sack of yours? Have you murdered the vicar of Yanks, or are you going to? This Hawaiian T-shirt didn't come from. He has a Hawaiian T-shirt made that's just covered in blood. Oh, that's what your knapsack is actually made of. Is I should have noticed it was a Hawaiian pattern. Scotrick, I need to talk to you. Uh, yeah. Do you mind? Uh, oh no, not at all. This, this yeah, I'm sure this will end perfectly. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! I'll be over here not listening, assholes. Thank you. Thank you, Forval. Scotrick. Yes. I feel as if Forval is just as dangerous as he ever was. I had hoped he would be less dangerous. It seems to me that murder is on his mind today. I had hoped that he was dead. I, he seems to be alive and stabby. I had hoped that perhaps when he had attacked the Vicar of Yanks, that yes. perhaps uh, Alfred had, had gotten the best of him, and perhaps, uh, you know, I'm sure it would be kind of an equal battle for a little while, but then at the last second, Alfred would have grabbed the knife uh, that had been kicked away and then just stabbed him repeatedly. If only his name was Dangerous Alfred Yankovic. Oh. Oh, he, really, he really missed the boat on that. He did, he did. Yeah. Well, what do we do? I don't know what... We... I suppose let's just uh, play along for now, okay. placate the boy, I'm... and uh, ride out the clock. I'm worried that he's armed, and he has so many... Uh, especially the icicle. Oh, are you worried that he's armed? <laughs> yes. yes. I, what, I'd like, what I mean to say is perhaps we could get those, those weapons away from him. Now, somehow. dear boy, yes. do you remember the last time we attempted to do such a thing? It didn't work out for us. You remember knife grab? I, well, I sort of remember it. I can't really remember what it stood for. Nor can I. Well, can I? Well, there was K. K. He's got a knife. He's got a knife, of course. And, and no, really, he does have a knife. <laughs> That's right. I, 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 I do hope he does not stab us with that knife he clearly has. Yes. F. F. Forgive me, but this knife that he has is really scaring me. Yes. Uh, e. e. Here now! He's got a knife! <laughs> Which is, we've established that when you shout, you turn cockney. Yes, and at that point, I'd certainly be shouting. Yes, of course. <laughs> then G. G. Go blimey. <laughs> You're really shouting at this point. Yes. Go blimey! Someone come get this knife away Someone from this Someone get this orphan. fucking knife! Please, don't guy rich yet. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, R. R. Really? Hey, someone go get this fucking knife off of him. Uh, now, who's that? That's you when you're when you're really, really, <laughs> really shouting. Oh, at thought, your... thought Crocodile Dundee had shown up. <laughs> Please. A. A. A shame it would be were we to be stabbed by this child and, and his knife. You're not shouting at this point because you have been stabbed and the blood is... is I'm becoming very reflective. Yes, of course. My life passing before my Of eyes. course. And then, of course, B. Boy, oh, boy. <laughs> I hope we here, don't get stabbed anymore. Here we come, God. <laughs> We're about to meet you. That's correct. Boy, yeah, that didn't work out for us. So, we, so this uh, time, yeah. 
I wonder if we might uh, come up with a different stratagem. Mm. Okay. Well, uh, for dealing with perhaps restraining him would that work? I mean, we didn't try that last time. We yes. just yes. Kind of... Perhaps rather than, rather than grabbing for the knife, mm -hmm. we grab for the little orphan himself. <gasps> orphan grab. Yes. Orphan oh, curse. Now, oh, how will we remember? I don't. The secret know. code word orphan grab. Well, we could turn it into a mnemonic device, I suppose. Oh, I say that's a clever idea. <laughs> okay. Well, let's try it out. So, O. O. Oh no, we've got to get that orphan. Yes, of course. Then R. Really, really, Lord Weber, please grab the orphan. Yes. P, phone. Someone use this phone. And call someone who is expert at grabbing orphans. Okay. okay. H. H, hello, are you an orphan who needs grabbing? I rather think you are. A. 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 The phone's <laughs> so cool. Surely he would grab an orphan. Let's, <laughs> let's emulate his behaviors. <laughs> N. N. No. No, an orphan needs grabbing. Who will do it? Us. <laughs> Gee. <laughs> Gee, your hair smells terrific. Won't you consider grabbing an orphan? R. Are you going to grab this orphan or not? Exactly. A. 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 Fonty's back. <laughs> and, <laughs> of course, B. Boy, who Boy. needs grabbing that orphan right there? <laughs> of course, okay. So... If this comes up, if anyone's, if either of us says orphan grab, yes. we're going to grab him. We'll remember. And uh, just so we're crystal clear on yes. everything, okay. orphan grab that code word, and it stands for O. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, oh gosh. Uh, what, nope. does the, what does orphan grab stand for? Is yeah, that you'll what have to tell me. Uh, <laughs> we have to make sure we're both clear on this. <laughs> I, of course, remember. <laughs> you do. Of course I do. Oh, no. Uh, oh, oh, God. Oh, You're very close. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 oh, there's an orphan boy. We must grab him. <laughs> That's, good enough. That's good enough. That's good enough. Okay, R. R, really? <laughs> Orphans? We need to. Oh, gosh. This is, you know what? I think this is going to be too much for me to remember. Maybe we should just say orphan grab. All right. I, I, I do hope we remember okay. that code word. Let's bring him back and see. What... All right, yes. Uh, Forval. Forval, hello, dear Come boy. Back. Come back over here. Put away your coloring book. Get off your little pony. <laughs> I brought my little pony. <laughs> Are you a bit of a brony? I'm sorry? Are you a bit of a brony? I am. Um, I thought you'd ask me if I was a jabroni. <laughs> oh, no, he would. No, no, no. I he didn't. wouldn't say that. No, I didn't. I, I was very confused by it. It seemed <laughs> foreign coming out of his mouth. Well, he's, I'm a huge uh, fan of the Worldwide Wrestling <laughs> Federation. <laughs> Why don't you grow? Why don't you shut the fuck up, Whoa, Scott? Whoa, 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 Oh, well, why don't good. you live with Not him? Long. What? Why? Why? Because he don't have a home neither. Oh, so he's going to perish just from uh, the conditions out on the streets? Yeah, he's got the, he's got the gout. Oh. oh no! How did he come to get the gout at such a tender age? I think from eating too much salt. Oh, okay, that'll do it. Does he have scurvy as well? Yeah. Oh, the vitamin deficiency. Yeah. Why don't you feed him some limes? I don't have no limes. I got nothing. All yeah, I got right. is all I got is the shirt on my back and this bandolier full of insane weapons. <laughs> yeah, and of course Jay Davidson's. And Jay Dave. Oh, that's right, Jay Davidson's. And penis. the loose scraps of your little brother. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's too bad for Freivolt. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'd love to meet him someday. Though. Well, I don't know if you would, because... Really? Yeah, he's got, a, he's got a worse temper than I do. Well, I say, is he close by? I think he might be. Uh, well, why would we why summon him up? Is I, he not a fan of Lord Weber here? He, well, Scott, we got a question, of course he is. I don't know how to tell you this, Andrew. What? He's not a fan. What? what? <laughs> is he actively staying away because of Lord he's Weber's all, presence? He's all about Sondheim. What? Oh! oh. I, sh I cannot... I... Oh, Sondheim has ever dropped a chandelier on any stage. Oh, how did he get his name? Sondheim? Sondheim. Yes. <laughs> the Heimer of Sons. Oh, of course. <laughs> right there in the name. Writer of songs, Heimer of Sons. Indeed. Yes. Well, uh, uh, so he would not want to come in, is that what you're saying? I mean, he follows me around sometimes, so... 
he could, we have each other's back in a literal sense, but mm -hmm. if, if he shows up, it's not my fault. Okay, yeah. You know, I'm just saying. You're saying he has talk. a worse temper than yours? Much worse. Uh -huh. um, yeah, much, much worse. What would he make of my fry vault? Well, he would get confused, I think, at first, because that's his sure, name. Certainly. Because I'd say, this is my, my fry, fry vault, and, and he, he would say, say, I'm not a slave. Like, I'm not your fry vault. Because that's what he sounds like. That's what he sounds like? Yeah. Oh, it's God. the same confusion I suffer around many uh, grills. He sounds a lot sure. like Jay Davidson. <laughs> even if he does. Yeah. Even, even the foreman grill. Well, the foreman grill, I just don't understand. How do they get the fat out? <laughs> well, it drips down into yeah. the, the fat oh, catcher. It it that's why it's at an pan. angle. Yes. Well, thank you. Yeah. Now the mystery solved. <laughs> No, I've just won a bet with Sarah Brightman. <laughs> <laughs> You're still on good terms with Sarah Brightman. Well, so look, we're on betting terms. Oh, I see. About so, grills. So really, anytime a grill-themed bet comes up, you'll yes. call Sarah Brightman. Other than that, we do not speak. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I hope he doesn't come because he sounds well, dangerous. Me too. Me too. I will say, I'll let me go on record as saying, the last thing I want to happen on this earth is for this Freivolt to show up it, in this studio. It yes. truly is, because yeah. he will... He will gut you, it'll, man. It'll be a day of reckoning. Yeah, I would imagine. Yeah. Good news that he won't be here. A okay, day you won't soon forget. Um, well, we have to take a break here in a second, but um, I do want to. Yeah. Say Orphan grab! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Hold it! Hold it! I got him! I got him! He's so strong! Get off of me! He's so You're strong! Son of a fucking oh, bitch! Okay, we'll be Put right back. Over ah! We'll be Put right back. Put this over his head. We'll be right back after this. Comedy bang bang. Oh, Lord Weber. It was tough. Uh, that was a rough go. This it was a rough some, go. This is some bullshit. This you the way you quiet. treat me. The, you, don't talk to me like that. Why you be quiet over that? Quiet, Forville. The way you treat we me is ridiculous. We got him and we, rest, we restrained him. for it. Yes. Thank God that I, I brought these handcuffs and, and these heavy, strong ropes here into the mm. studio. We yes, have him. A uh, lucky coincidence. <laughs> we have uh, Forville uh, tied to a chair here. Um, and uh, they're little tiny handcuffs, which really came in handy. Yes, they're, they're rather charming. Yeah, they are. They're Barbie handcuffs. I'm pissed off, but they are adorable. <laughs> I'm glad that you can recognize that. Why, why would they make Barbie handcuffs? Well, Barbie's into some weird shit. Yeah, man. With Ken. Yeah. Shame for the children. Ken Burns, I mean. <laughs> yeah. Oh, certainly, the documentarian. <laughs> yes, of yeah. course. Ken Burns fucks Barbies. Have we ever talked about that on the show? Uh, off mic. <laughs> okay, of course. <laughs> so... Thank goodness, but we have Forval restrained. Yes. I feel much better. Uh, we shan't have to worry that we're going to be stabbed. By we've taken away from... his uh, his bandolier full of things, yes. and uh, we we have the locked icicle. Locked it up in the vault. We locked it up in the vault, of course. You put and... it in my brother? No, no, no. So no, no. This is the, where the confusion is. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. why, yeah. The my confusing. French fry vault, where yeah. I keep all my yeah. hot fries, yeah. We put the icicle in the fry vault, which um, keeps the fries warm, so hopefully it'll melt down. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, also, uh, Jay Davidson's penis is in there, and he's getting careful. a nice browning. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, please be careful, because I don't want to cook the meat too much. Sure. But certainly, we might uh, donate it to Planet Hollywood. <laughs> sure, they'd love to have it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Put it in a glass case. That's right. Right above someone's uh, table. That's right. Uh, so, uh, 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 Forville, I guess the shoe's on the other foot here, huh? Yes. Yeah. Now, you are at our mercy. For the first time, I, I, I came here to apologize, and you guys treat me like this, but I'm not going to say I get it. I truly get yeah, it. Yes, you did a shabby job of apologizing. I don't, I know. You, the very first words out of your mouth were, I don't want to stab you, but. Yeah. That's and a terrible way to begin an apology to your boy. at least I was being honest. Uh, well, yeah, I, I guess do, we can, I do yeah. commend you for your honesty. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for your candor. Every good Thank boy you. deserves fudge. Yeah. That's right. That was part of Knife Grab, as What's I that? recall. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, now that we have you at our mercy, we can ask you some questions, and you have to answer them honestly, or else we, you know, we have some telephone oh, books I here, mean, and we, you know. Right. Oh, sack full of oranges. <laughs> you know. Bar soap in a sock, I see. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so Code red. <laughs> yes, Mountain Dew code red. Of course. Oh, shit. We'll force you to drink it. You guys are the you guys are terrorists. <laughs> well, <laughs> sorry, just, just not the sorry. cold red. Yeah. So um, here we go, Forville. You got to answer our questions, or oh, else boy. you are in for it. That's right. It's been a long time coming. <laughs> All right. So uh, uh, Forville, first yeah. off, we want to ask, how old are you? Yeah. How old are you? Yeah. You must answer. Right now. Uh huh. I'm six years old. 
I feel as if he's lying. Yeah. I knew it. Uh, even if he wasn't, I was going to hit him anyway. What I mean, it just, <laughs> he stabbed us almost oh, to you, death. That is true. <laughs> you know, I mean, this feels good. If I get out of here, you don't even fucking understand what's going to happen to you. Oh, yeah, you're not getting out of here. Big oh, soul, yeah? let's be honest. Big oh, soul. yeah? You yeah. think you're so tough right yeah, now? I do think I'm so Oh, God. How do you like that? You I stab don't, you often? I actually, I don't really enjoy oh, you it. No, oh. I don't enjoy it. It was kind of rhetorical, though, I think. No, I was sincerely asking. Oh, you were? Well, you never know. No, it's not fun to be here with a telephone book. All right, noted. Oh, stop it! You're hurting me. Getting more fun or less fun? Uh, less fun. Oh, thank you less for taking fun. my survey. I less just have two more questions. <laughs> oh, stop it! All right. Four You're more. beating a child. A stabby child. Are you a stabby? child? You're beating a little orphan. Are you boy. a little orphan? Because I frankly have my suspicions. As do I. You, you've claimed that you lived. With Vince McMahon. I've lived with a bunch of people. For 12 years. Yeah, How can you be six years like old? Like I said, on the streets, time gets long, so I don't understand time. To oh, God, that was the... Stop that. The that M first one was just to lure you into a sense yeah, of... Yeah, that was crazy. Sense of security. Do you have a sense of security now? I do not, ow, stop it. This, Four of them. That one didn't hurt much, but... Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. Give me another one. Now. <laughs> okay, here oh, we go. Oh, uh, dear. Let's see. Let me get my phone book out. Okay. I'll try to. Why did you put it back down? <laughs> well, I did, thought I was done with this. You're not here, a very here, good Foley artist. Right, here we go. Ready? Oh, stop it. Oh, a double. Yeah. You had that coming. That was, yeah, that what was, were you going to ask, Lord Weber? Four of them. I could take this, by the way. Really? You've been tortured you before? Of course I've been tortured Who's before. Who's tortured you before? I don't want to... Name five names. Bruce Willis, okay. Jessica Tandy. Of course, she was Kathy, great at it. Kathy Bates. Uh -huh. This guy, Tom. Oh, yeah, he's not famous. Wait, Tom Cruise? Yeah. Oh, okay. He's rather famous. <laughs> Kelly McGillis. <laughs> Kelly McGillis. From Witness. Yeah. From Top Gun, I say. Yeah. Oh, that one was just extra. Why yeah. did you do that? Well, you, know, you gave us the names. You just don't like Kelly McGillis. No, I don't, yeah. Uh, Forval. This is torture. You're two grown men torturing a small little orphan. You stabbed boy. us unto death, dear boy. That's true. You're a dangerous creature. And I say creature purposefully because I feel as if there's something about you that's not quite natural. <gasps> Wait a minute. Are you saying that he's some sort of supernatural creature? Yes. A akin to something Gary Marshall would chase in his off hours? <laughs> exactly. I dare say, that demented old monster hunter. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, 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 is that true, Forval? Are you are you not of this earth? That might not be. No, you might not be of this earth. Why? Why have you come here to stab human beings? I'm a time bobby. What? What? I'm a time bobby. I know. Wait a minute. I don't know how to tell you this, Scott. But are you an IA of Time Bobby? Yeah. Internal affairs? Yeah. A, a time traveling Serpico? Yeah. What have I done wrong? Everything. Oh, oh no. dear! Oh no! This doesn't no. look good, Scottrick. If, if you're just listening to this for the first time, uh, last time Corporal was on the show. <laughs> <laughs> last time I was on the show, we established that I'm a time bobby, hopping throughout uh, time. Uh, it's taking, canon. Yes, taking care of uh, yeah. wayward time travelers. Yeah, you screwed up everything. The buttercream effect. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, how did I screw it up? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to take care Scott, of everything. I don't know how to tell you this, but... Have you ever seen a baby picture of yourself? Um, I mean, let me search back using the science of memory. Certainly. Uh, search back through the recesses of my mind. Wait a minute. No, I have not. Oh, yes, I believe everyone's seen a baby picture of themselves. Well, my, I think my parents never, never took pictures of me when I was young. Is that possible? Or maybe they were destroyed for a reason. What? What, what reason could that be? What reason? Be? No! I, I don't know how to tell you this, but you are beating yourself. Whoa. What? Scorfrig! Wait a minute, this bruises is... are appearing on my body! Whoa. Look what you've done, you. Ah. Scott, you're looping, you're looping, Scorfrig! Oh, ow! God, I'm in such pain! How do you take this? Because I'm strong. <sighs> I can, Scott. 
so, because I'm you. You're me as a child? Yeah, this, I know it sounds crazy, like this took an insane turn. And it doesn't even seem to add up with all the information that we have previous. No. Well, but that all well, could have been the, a lie. It's the buttercream effect, man. You screwed everything up by going back in time. Why are the, you trying to kill me to death, then, if you... I'm just trying to hang out and be cool and live with you. You offered me a home. You said you would be my dad, yes. and then you took that away from me, so I stabbed the fucking shit out of you to Be prove a point. But now, you, uh, the reason I took it away is because you kept threatening to stab everyone. I, but I can't help it. I'm stabbing. Actions have consequences. It is like the buttercream oh, no, effect. No, all I'm... all the candies you eat in one time or what affect happens, future candies. Also, you know, actions have consequences as we saw on Downtown Abbey when... Oh, when, oh God. No, I know. I, I'm that. just saying that the servants, oh. you know, they get into these scrapes and they, you know, I mean, I it affects it the, midst, the people upstairs. I knew it in the midst of a strange... Science fictional supernatural situation. Sure. But still, it's Downton. Downtown Abbey, yes. I will exactly please, I, please. Please. I don't know what the I'm, problem I'm now is. praying for you to show. get stabbed by yourself. It's my favorite show when they are there at down and they're trying to save downtown. I, oh. And all the people live at down uh, downtown. Ah, and they go downtown all the time. Uh I don't so why am I not stabby? Why have I grown up into the way I am? Are you saying it gets better? It gets better, Scott. Oh, okay. So, Scottrick, if we are allow Forval to flourish, to uh -huh. live, perhaps to find love, he'll grow up into a fine young man like you. All I, I need to do is find a good home, and then I grow up to be a, an amazing podcast. Well, what about my home, where I, where I grew up? And which is also my home. My childhood home. Wait a minute, but you, but you don't remember You murdered that. my parents? I always wondered how my parents died. No, you murdered your parents. Oh, my God, I did. Wait, do you remember, Scott? Oh, my God, I'm remembering it now. I'm remembering everything. The cab. Pat Morita. The roundhouse kick. that dislocated his head. Oh, uh, and then everything after the first day. Yeah. Oh, my God. My life. Becoming a time bobby in internal affairs. Trying to catch myself. Closing the loop, as it were. Stabbing myself. You looped yourself. Oh, no. I didn't even get the gold bars. No. <laughs> oh, what, what is that? I remember it all. Oh, so many choices I made. So many choices. My, my little brother? Yeah. And Sixel. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no, not Sixel. Yeah. Quite a family. What happened yeah. to him? Catholic. There's hundreds of us. Oh, and well, hundreds? <laughs> And Freivalt. Oh, my God. Freivalt. What a, the what worst a terror. Of all, the the bad seed, the black oh sheep of the family. When you say hundreds, are we talking about alternate dimensions? Yeah. What? But they're all converging here in this dimension. Yeah. Wait, so are you me from an alternate dimension? Uh-huh. I see, but now that you're here, I'm remembering your past as if it's my past. Yeah, because you screwed everything up. Oh, no. We were we were both in crisscross for a period of time as well. The two of us? Yeah. You as a young boy and we me were, as an we older boy? We were totally whacked out getting all the ladies. That is familiar. <laughs> I do, re I do recall now. I remember that, you, that most you were of in all. Chris yeah. Cross, yes. That was a yeah, that good was, three weeks yeah. that we were famous. That you was made a me drop. Solid jump. three weeks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for 21 days. Yeah. A good 21 days. Yeah. A lot happened. Really you know. tight. Yeah. Really good stuff. A lot yeah. of jumping. Yeah, too much jumping. For, yeah, yeah, my arches. Way too much jumping. A yeah. great deal. No. Ah, uh, my God, I can't. I remember everything and uh, all my family. And, and boy, wait a minute. I remember what happened to the Fry Vault here. What? What happened? I rem well, I remember. Let me. See. It, it was. It's been a while ago. It's been as. as it's, it's been, been. how long? <laughs> it's been as many years as Forval is of age, minus however old I am, which I don't even know how old I am anymore. Neither it seems I. as if That's I've been why. alive forever. I remember the 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 dinosaurs. I remember the uh, the television show. Yeah, the television show <laughs> dinosaurs. Yeah. So how long have I been alive? A long time. It's not how long you've been alive. The real question is how long haven't you been alive? Oh my God! Oh, I yeah. say. I'm sorry for asking that other stupid question. Yeah. Yeah. You realize you beat me with a phone book for no reason now, right? Well, I, well, now, well, to no, be fair, I, yeah, we no, have no, arrived I, at this information. Yeah, so we got not, there. So torture works. We've proven it. <laughs> yeah, it does, it does. I'm trying to remember what happened to the Fry Vault. I'll, I, I think I'll, I'll remember at some point, and then I'll... I'll but I, I say fourfold. 
uh, all of these uh, 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 trans-dimensional uh, fourvals, fivals, sixals, uh, what have you. So many. Why are they converging on this dimension? Because it's time. Time for... I have... I have got Rick. There's a lump in my throat as I attempt to ask this question, but, but please, I fear Please ask the it, answer. my dear boy, as I am too afeard. Ta- time for what, Forval? The Lil Reckoning. Oh, dear. The Lil Reckoning. Yeah. Uh, so a so Lil let, Reckoning? L-I apostrophe L? Yeah, Lil. Let me get this straight. Like Lil Kim. Oh, okay, right. So, okay, that makes sense. No, you get it. Yeah. So you are the Forval of this dimension. Yeah. The, no, sorry, you are the, you're the Fival. <laughs> no, no, you're the Forval. The right, yes, I'm Come sorry. Fival. I'm getting the very only, confused. There's no Fival in my family. There's only the famous Fival. Oh, me. okay, so that's not a Fival from another we're dimension. We're not related to him. He's a fucking cartoon rat. Oh, okay, so sorry. I just assumed there was another alternate, alt, alternate. It is difficult it's to terrible. see. It's there's, a, there's an alternate dimension where instead of humans, the world is anthropomorphic rats. Yeah. And Fival was, is, is yeah, and your yeah. doppelganger. I say, how do you come to know so much about these ultimate dimensions? <laughs> But what I'm trying to get at is that the that you, the you from all these other dimensions are now being called to this earth and it's time for the little reckoning? Yeah, because it's time to set things straight. What I really came here to do, Scott, was to apologize and to give you your life back because you're doing so well and I want you to thrive. Even though I had a bad childhood because of all the terribleness and all the stabbings and killings. I realize now that what I've done is bad, so I came here to stop it and to to let you go free of all this and correct all the wrongdoings. But you've decided to tie me up like a little fucking bitch and hit me with a phone book, so... Oh, well, can I say that your monologue was very affecting until that last sentence? Yes. Oh, yeah, it was when, going I, when, I st- when I started to get real, when yeah. I started to curse... I was welling yes. up with tears. You're and I was going about to guns. grab my tear basin. Oh, yes. Yeah. No need for Tonight. it now. I felt it was getting a bit dusty in here. <laughs> What I'm saying is you deserve the best because you're a good man and you're true. Scottrick, your tears falling into your tear basin. It's falling into your tear basin. I'm sorry, guys. You have a beautiful life and a beautiful wife. And the only thing I want... Happy wife, happy life. Yes. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. You created that term. You don't even remember it. Happy you wife. A different dimension. Happy but. wife. <laughs> happy life. <laughs> High five. <laughs> Now's not the time. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm willing to come here and take this torture and maybe even die by your hands slash my own hands. If I kill you, though, what you'll, happens to me? Oh, I say paradox. You'll disappear. Well, you'll go to a dance and you'll play a Johnny B. Good song and then maybe... That sounds fun. Yeah, it's really fun. A song fun. by Johnny B. Good. Will yeah. Marvin Berry be off to the side? Um, his go, oh, yeah, of course. Okay, <laughs> calling his yeah. cousin Chuck. Mayor Goldie Wilson might be driving around. <laughs> sure, I bet he would. Yeah. What about that uh, uh, that guy with the three D glasses? Will he, he be oh, around? Oh no, that guy's dead. <laughs> oh okay. yeah. What happened to him? He died. He died in 1956. Yeah. Oh gosh. Rest in peace. Yeah. Terrible story. Uh, well, well, what my, I'm trying to say is yes. I'm willing to come here to apologize and give my own life so that you can live on and have a fruitful career. Okay, great. Well, let's get that icicle out of the uh, fry vault and let's kill, let's carve him up. What do you say? Wait. <laughs> Yo, what's going on here? Uh, I remember now! Yo, it's fry vault. Fry vault! Fry vault! Yeah. I remember. He comes in and then we say, hey, have you seen my fry vault? And then he gets confused and he doesn't, he thinks that, that. So what you got to say to me? <laughs> um, Freivault. Yeah. Wait, I'm confused. Uh, yes, I'm pointing at my Freivault. That's why you're confused. confused. I'm yes. sorry, I'm confused. I did not know if you were talking to me or if you were pointing at that. I'm pointing at my Freivault right now. I'm saying yeah. Freivault. Freivault, comma, your brother, or your, I guess your interdimensional. <laughs> other self? <laughs> other self's icicle is contained within. And that is a statement, <laughs> Freivault, your interdimensional Certainly. brother's high no school is contained. No one will argue. <laughs> okay. That is a statement. And Forval, is everything okay over here? I don't know. I don't think it's going okay. I don't like Yo, that. are you Andrew Lloyd Webber? Uh, oh. Who wants to know? I do, because I'm asking. I'm Freivault. Uh, no, I'm Stephen Sondheim. Yes, the great Stephen Shut Sondheim. Shut the fuck up, for real? 
Oh, sir, yeah. certainly. I'm, Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a huge you. fan. I'm a huge fan. Thank you. It's good to meet a fellow American. You hear his American accent. Of course. Of course. I'm from New York. New York City. That's oh, right. Yeah. I don't I don't like that barbecue sauce. Yeah. Um, so what an honor to meet you. This is an honor, man. I was ready to kill people. Oh, good, good. I well. was ready to kill a bunch of people. I, if you were Andrew Lloyd Webber, I swear to God, I would have cut your own throat out. I wouldn't blame you. Who likes that fellow and his terrible yes. music? Stephen, tell us about the, the creation of Sweeney Todd, if you would. That's my oh, my God. That would be musicals. a dream. Well, it was uh, quite easy, really. That's I Andrew just... Lloyd Webber. He's lying. <laughs> what the, what no, the uh, hell did you fr say? Fry Vault. That's Andrew we, we, Lloyd Webber. He's a liar. Fry Vault, Fry Vault, Fry Vault. Please don't listen here for a second. We're going to have a private conversation. Oh, so just, just don't listen for yeah, a minute? Just don't yes. listen. Okay. Oh, I'll be over here for a sec. Okay, sure. Well, sure. Sondheim, man. Fucking good to meet you, bro. Thank you. I Fucking great to meet you, All son. Right, just go off into Company. the corner for All a second. Right. I want to talk to you. I'm going to sit on top of this Fry Vault. Don't get confused. Okay. Okay. Horrible. Yeah. Come on, man. I do, I'm, I'm afraid of him, too, guys. You got to get me if in on this so one. We need a code word if anything <laughs> goes wrong. Ah, good point. Okay, well, I, I suggest a code word, possibly fry vault grab. Yeah, I think that's perfect. I don't know if that's specific Maybe enough. a shorter one. <laughs> well, I was going to go longer. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, no, okay I'm what did you have in mind? Interdimensional. <laughs> I'm in no position. Grab. Interdimensional forval grab. Yeah, yeah. I guess that we way try we know. It. No, yeah. it should be. No, don't grab me again. I'm not doing shit. No, 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 no you're the regular form. Fry vault grab. This is yeah, you're, you're, you're from our because argument. if it's fry vault grab, we might grab the fry vault. Oh. You're right. Of course. So if we say, if we make the code word interdimensional fry, fry vault, vault grab, grab, we'll know exactly what to do. Yeah, ah. then no one will be confused. I fear we may forget this code word. <laughs> well, what shall we do to remember it? Tell I have us. one idea. Okay. Yes, I'm open to suggestions. Wait, I have two ideas, actually. Okay. No, just the one. All right. Uh, I think that we could make a mnemonic device out of this. Oh, no, I see. That's a brilliant That's idea. That's quite good, yes. Okay, well, yes, yes. Uh, uh, Forval, perhaps you have some idea of what uh, the I could stand for. Yes, we'll go round robin. Okay, great. Yeah. Yes. Could you untie me first? No. Uh, no, no, I get it. Don't bother. I. Um, is it difficult for you to come I'm up with sorry that I brought all this upon you, my brother Fry Vault, who is also your brother and you. Right. That's not too hard to remember no, at no, all. No, no, no. Wait, I'm are sorry. you talking about my Fry Vault? Well, uh, the, fry, uh, the interdimensional Fry I'm a little confused right now. Yeah, as to who's oh, fry I thought you were talking is, about but, my Fry Vault that oh, no. in which yeah. I keep my fries. Yeah, Let's this, try to keep the, the, the term <laughs> and the proper name Fry Vault out of the mnemonic uh, device. Well, it. it is a proper name as a term as well because it's a it, it's a It's a brand name. Yeah, it's a brand yes, name. of course. Yeah, yeah, much true. like Kleenex. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and it's the thing that's uh, come to uh, mean any sort of vault <laughs> wherein people store fries. Yes, of course. Yes. And some microwaves. Yeah. Yes, certainly. So. Uh, I'm sorry for the eye. I'm sorry that this is about to go down. Certainly. Very simple. Okay. Uh, I'll take the N. Okay. Um, nay, it is I who should be sorry for inviting such a plague upon this studio with my brilliance that you admired in the first place. Mm -hmm. N, of course. Uh, I just did N. Sorry. <laughs> what am I thinking of? T. <laughs> this is already too hard for me to remember, and we're only three in. T. Try to remember that T is the next part of interdimensional forval Perfect. grab. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. E. Right, Craig? I, I believe so. so. I don't spell e too good because I never went to school. Oh, oh wait. wait I went to school. I'm an orphan boy. I went to school, though. Please. Huh, Paradox. Right. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I have a picture of my yearbook here. It's disappearing. That's right. Of course it is. Oh, no. Oh, no. I never went to school. Now I'm not so good. No wonder I messed up the T for the end. Gotta go to the enchantment under the sea dance and oh, correct all that at some no. point. I hate dances. All right. Go ahead. E is for erasing all of the badness and getting back some goodness in our lives. Okay. Great. Aw. Oh. Rage, rage against this interdimensional menace who is attempting to kill us. Do I have a hyphen or do I have a D? A D. Okay, great. Um, domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Perfect. 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 Okay. I was going to suggest that. Perfect. Okay, great. Yes. All right. I? I'm sorry once again oh, for doing God. all this. I'm welling up again. I, I never meant to hurt you. And your tear basin is almost full. I just want a good home for everyone. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry. I'm so touched. All right. Where are uh, we? M, M to me. Mm -hmm. May I say... I think we should do something about this murderous interdimensional traveler. 
Okay, good. And I believe I have an E. Is that correct? Is that how you spell dime engine? Yes, okay, it is. E, okay. Every good boy loves fudge. <laughs> and deserves it. And des- yes, it's, of course. Every good boy loves and, and deserves, deserves fudge. fudge. Okay, well, let's amend that. All right. Do I have this so amendment did. approved? Yes. Yeah, uh, it's pro- we need a quorum. Approved. The motion is carried. Carried. Fantastic. All right. Now N? we're N. Yes. Yeah. Never let this happen again if you ever go back in time. Okay. Never let it happen okay, I again. Will, I will remember that. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for remembering. I, I believe we're at S. S. I'm a snake reminding you that the time is now to prevent yourselves from being stabbed. Very good. All right, I I just want to say I'm sorry, guys. I know that, Forville, you're apologizing, and I feel like I need to apologize because— Thank you. That means a lot. Because I, I never realized—you know, I think sometimes we get mad at things that remind us of ourselves and yeah. our own humanity, and I, I think I, that's— yes. I say, this seems like rather a lot to remember. <laughs> okay, I'll just—I'll amend it to I'm sorry. Yeah. Is the amendment taken? Yeah. Uh, I ratify it. We already have a couple I'm sorry's. <laughs> Uh, easy to remember. Maybe we should change to it's been. <laughs> oh, okay. It's been. Great. Is that amendment Is that okay? ratified? Is that all right? so, so noted. Okay. What right. letter are we on now? Uh, oh. Oh, boy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think we have, already oh, that's have. Right. Oh, boy. It's been. We could <laughs> always use a couple it's been. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Uh, N is next, I believe. Yes. N. The letter N. Very good. Okay. Is Which it interdimensional is... or interdimension? I can't remember. Interdimensional. Interdimensional. interdimensional frivolt grab. Okay, so sorry. All right. We got so far to go. All right. A is, of course, A. <laughs> Fonzie came back a second time. <laughs> of course. Not about too soon. No. <laughs> All right, L. L for let's just. Let's just kill this fucker before he does anything. <laughs> he is sitting in the corner. We could just... He can't... He, for, yeah. We need a code word, though, to do that. No, okay. you got it. Yes. All right. So we're, we're at the end of interdimensional. We're doing that. <laughs> yes. <Just> kidding. <laughs> well, that's what he's here for. He's a time bobby. Oh, he's so here like, to point out these no, no, uh, I know, inconsistencies in the timeline. Yeah. It's all paradoxical, but in sure. the end, we all had fun. If <gasps> finally it is the time... To grab this interdimensional scoundrel and wring his neck unto death. All right. R. Really, we should grab this scoundrel, and we should do it now. I. I th- why? Wouldn't it be a why? Frival- oh, that's yeah. right. I'm sorry. Yeah. The brand name, Frival. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking fries. Like there was multiple cut they cut. There's uh, not I'm multiple. Thinking fries. There's a ton in there. Well, there's. I mean, there. I had yeah. a small fries, but there's a ton of fries in there. I mean, it's a. It's just you such lied to me. We'll get back to that. Later. No, I had a small fry, meaning that the bag that the fries were carried within was a small right, bag. Right. Yeah. It's not a lie. We're, no, we're on the same team now, so I'm okay with that. Even if I did lie to you, I'm going to admit I did lie to yeah, you. Yeah, I was always honest with you. I never lied to you. I did lie to you, but you can't do anything about. It because you're, you lied to yourself, Scott. I did lie to myself, and I've been doing that for so many yeah, years. It's much easier us. to live life that way. The yeah. easiest lie to tell is a lie to oneself. Mm. Ah, so true, so true. Where were we? Why? Why? Hmm. Yo, yo, yo! What's up, son? <laughs> Maybe that. Okay, yeah, Certainly. definitely that. Cash <laughs> Yeah. Okay. The victory shall be ours once this interdimensional person has been dealt with. And we can carry on with our lives the way God intended. A, of course, is for A. Fonzie came back one last time. time. He's God. He's going to save the world someday. Yeah, he will. You, mm. Ursula the Sea Witch from The Little Mermaid, know the reference. Not to be confused with the enchantment under the sea dance. No, two different things. Two totally different things. I'm going to say, Ursula, if we had an octopus lady to kill this man, we would be in a lot better situation. We would definitely be V victorious, now. however. We're just three men. Just three men and a baby. Sure. We we should talk about the baby who came in at some point. Yeah. But oh, we'll t- get, we'll turns out it was just a cardboard cutout. <laughs> All right. Everyone of William Shatner drowning his wife. Of baby. <laughs> of course. Uh, L. L to me. Mm. 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 La, 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 la. Let's grab that interdimensional scoundrel. I wondered when this would turn into music. Yes, it took, took its time. <laughs> yeah, it really just, did. Just then. Just then it We did. probably should have started with a song. Those are very easy to remember. Those but, are. Oh, yeah. Why did we think the mnemonic um, device part was... Well, you can't argue with success. You should have started with, like, a Jesus Christ Superstar song. Yeah. Oh, well. Probably. Uh, well, I guess we're at the end, right? We're at T? 
Yes. All right. T, uh, T no, of course. we still have Grab after that. Oh, no, we do. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so sorry. Indeed. Okay, so. Thank you, little Vorval. That was a close one. We, we would have forgotten this demonic device. Yeah, otherwise. I never would have gotten it straight. T stands for tendencies. We all have them, and ours is to grab this interdimensional fry vault. G. Gosh, we've been doing this for a while. We got to get an easier way. Yeah, of course, of course. Ah. Uh, Ah. Ding, ding, ding. Great. Well, now that's, I'm afraid people are going to think there's a D in there somewhere. Because <laughs> of the ding? Indeed. Uh, and then mine is, of course, A for... Hey, Fonzie came back. We thought he was done. <laughs> but he's actually he has forgot one something. last time. Yes. Forgot Grab was in here, and he decided to come back and save the world one last time. Yeah. Which leaves us now. For, with B. Yeah. Which so, I think should stand for brotherhood. Because now we are bonded together as three against one. I feel like we should do. Well said for. I love, I love that sentiment. I feel like we should do some sort of blood brotherhood between us. Yeah. You know, why so don't why you... don't I open up the fry vault and yeah. get, get one of the uh, knives out? I have out. a bunch of knives in my okay, bandolier. Okay, great. Certainly. Why don't, uh, let me just open it up here and, uh... It worked! You killed these dumb motherfuckers! <laughs> Give me that knife! I, was, Ow, no. I was a spy the whole time! What? No. He, I'm oh. gonna stab the shit out of you! You motherfuckers came in here! I won't release the handcuffs! I can't the handcuffs! No! Your Majesty, move past the Gorgias! Sons of bitches! They're in cahoots! I'm gonna kill you! You oh. guys don't understand. You ain't Sondheim. I'm no Sondheim any day. Oh, no. You ain't no fucking Sondheim, man. You never be one. You never shall be one. Here okay? come the corgis! That's what you get, motherfucker. Oh. Ah. I'm sorry. Oh, he's a dick. I'm sorry. If I die, what becomes of you? Scott, only you can correct this. Oh, I have to go back in time now. Let me get my interdimensional time watch. Okay, I'm back. I went back through time. Wait, where did Frivolk go? He disappeared. I killed every other version of myself. Scott, you did it, Scott. You did it. Everyone but you. But it worked. I came here to help you. Forval, no one's buying your story. You never could have done this without me. You're a terrible monster and everyone knows it. Andrew. Webber, you're killing me over here. <laughs> Andrew Lloyd Webber, he got rid or he got loose of the handcuffs. If you would they do the honors, they were very tiny plastic handcuffs. They were super easy to get out of. If you would do the honors of webbing him up for me, well, it's been a while, but I'll give it. How a long shot. has it been? It's been since I was a child, but I'm sure the old skills will come back to me. Here right, we go. Please web him up, if you would. <laughs> oh, oh no! Well, you know what. I deserve this, and I don't care. Okay, that's enough web, man. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm all tired. I can leave you room to breathe, of so course. Just stab through the webs, Lord Weber. Well, I, left his, I left his face uncovered. Okay, I'll Thank just cut you. up his face. It's a bit grisly, but you <laughs> can stab through the face. <laughs> well, I did want an open coffin for his mother, He's my mother. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, she's dead. <laughs> oh, that's right. Never mind. So it doesn't matter. Okay, yeah. I'll just, I'll just you could stab, stab you in the face. You want. Look, guys, in summation, I just want to say I know that our... Friendship has been a torrid affair, sure. and I know that some, some ups and downs. Well, I mean that mostly downs, mostly a lot of downs, a lot of violence. Downs. much like downtown Abbey. Oh mm. shit, he hates that. Yeah, I, I think you do that on purpose sometimes. I don't think so. I don't think so. Well, that no, can't be true. I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah, I just want to say I know that I've been a bad, bad boy mm -hmm. for so long. Yeah, but I did it for you, Scott, because I am you. I'm still going to stab you. you. I'm still going to stab no, you. No, I get fact, it. I'm, gonna, I'm fine with Let it. me grab the icicle so. that's been in the uh, fry vault for a while, and I'll just stab you to death. Got it. I hope it hasn't melted. Oh, well. Look, I understand. I know. <laughs> I here know. We, here we go. Here's the icicle. Say, uh, have you made your peace with God? I have no regrets. I came and I helped, and I'm going to die happy. And this is probably the last episode of the uh, of the podcast because I'll be stabbing myself to death. Yes. And certainly. I won't exist anymore. Stands for reason, yes. Okay, so uh, here we go. Here's that icicle, and... What? It's, it's just water. It's just now. water. <sighs> it melted in my fry vault. Those are cursed fries. That's why I never eat them. They're not helpful. Well, I guess I can't stab you with that icicle. 
Yeah, you can't. But we can take you all webbed up and cast you into the Los Angeles River <laughs> and drown you to yeah. death. Hopefully. But I would deserve it, I know. Yeah. I mean, really, if we do that, there's no way he could I mean, ever come back. No. No. He would, I would be I mean, at the bottom of the sea. And your webs don't <laughs> dissolve after an hour like Spider-Man's. Spider-Man. Sorry. Spider-Man. I don't think so. No. I've never tested it. Okay, well, it takes about an hour yeah. to get to the river. So, right. Or... Correct. So we'll probably just, he'll be, you know, in the trunk, all webbed up. And by the time we get to the river. Yes, I, I imagine river? the web will hold just as long as we need it to hold. Yeah, Until we get to the river. Yes, yeah. certainly. Or I could turn the tables right now. No, what do you, you mean? shan't. I mean, the tables have turned is what I'm trying to say. Well, how? You're all webbed up. It's nobody, impossible. Nobody beats Forvo ever because I'm from the streets and I'm smarter than everybody. I when don't understand what you stuff. mean. But you're webbed up. You're incapacitated. Am There's... I webbed up? I say, he doesn't seem to be webbed up. <laughs> oh! <laughs> ah! Ah! I can't help it. It's my stabby way. I'm turning into scraps. Until we meet again. <laughs> Come on, pony. Oh. I'm slipping into a comma. <laughs> at the very end, he, he, he slipped in a bit of the crying game in there. <laughs> he did. Expert work. <laughs> This has been an Earwolf Media production. Executive producers Jeff Ulrich and Scott Aukerman. For more information, visit Earwolf.com. Earwolf Radio Boom.com The Wolf Dead.